Hello guys and welcome to this new Tableau tutorial. In this video I'm going to create the following dashboard which is about Amazon Prime Video. As you can see here we have different charts. We're going to start by, by radial bar chart for the top ratings. Next we are going to create a donut chart for shows by type. After that we have an area chart, a horizontal bar chart, we have also a map and also as you can see we have a lot of text sheets which will give us details about each title. For example, when we select here a title, we'll get the type, the release year, the cast, description, genre, and the duration. So if it is a movie, it will give us duration in minutes. If it is a TV show, it will give us duration in seasons. But before start working with Tableau, let's first explore our data set. As you can see, we have Amazon Prime movies and TV shows. You can find this link in the description if you want to download directly the data set from Kaggle. You can also find the second link which is about the same data set in my GitHub repository. As you can see here the data set have close to 10,000 movies or TV shows up to mid 2021. And as it is mentioned in here, this tabular data set consists of listings of all movies and TV shows available on Amazon Prime with some details such as the cast, directors, ratings, release year, duration, etc. Here we have the columns, so we have 12 columns. We have unique show ID. Next we have the type, so if it is a movie or TV show. After that we have the title. Next we have the director. As you can see here we have 22% of null values. Same thing, next we have the cast. So after that, we have the country. As you can see, we have 93% of null values. Date added, release year, rating, and duration. And also we have listed in. So this is the genre and the description. So here we have some details. We have 12 columns, 10 of them with string data type. One is date time and one is an integer. So now let's start creating our charts using Tableau. So as you can see here, we have imported our data set, which is Amazon Prime Titles.csv. We have 12 fields, so 12 columns and nearly 10,000 rows. We are going to use another text file. Same thing, you can find the link to download this file in description. And this file contains two values. We are going to use these two values in order to create our radial bar chart. Same thing, for more details on how to create radial bar chart, you can check the link available in the description. So the first thing that we are going to do is we we'll click open. We we'll drag and drop the second file in here. So here create join calculation. Write one, apply, okay. Same thing in here. One, apply, okay. As you can see here, each ID is duplicated or each row in our previous data set is duplicated. And each one of them has one value which is zero and the other one is 270. So 270 represents the degrees or three quadrants from circle. And we are going to use these values in order to create our path for our radial bar chart. So go to worksheet. So the first thing that we are going to do is right click, format. And we are going to format using our color codes. For the shading, we go to worksheet, we select the following color. I click on more colors and you can use the following code in order to use it as background or as shading for our worksheets. Okay, so we click on OK. Next, we click on format and we are going to format our workbook. Worksheets, we put them in 8 bold white. And for the title, same thing, put them in 12 bold and white so the title of this sheet will be top ratings okay and now I'm going to create our calculated fields we we'll click on the down icon in here create calculated field we name it total ratings and it will be count distinct of the title apply okay Next, we're going to use value in order to create our path. So click, create, bins, we name it path. 
size of bins 1 starts from 0 to 270 okay next we are going to create my index because by default the index function in tableau starts from 1 but we want our path to start from 0 so my index will be equals to index minus 1 apply okay next create another calculated field we name it my total and it will be window max of total ratings apply okay next create my rank which will be rank unique of my total in the ascending order apply okay and now I'm going to duplicate my total and we rename it my total max as you can see here my total and my total max have exactly the same formula but my total will be used for each row whereas my total max we select the highest total ratings among all the list so we create our calculated field name it percentage and it will be my total divided by my total max apply okay since we are going to create a radial bar chart and we are going to deal with arcs so we are going to use cartesian coordinates and to do that we are going to create x and y coordinates first one is x we are going to create it using the cosine function so radiance of my index multiplied by the percentage everything multiplied by my rank okay so we copy that apply okay create another calculated field we name it y and we are going to use the same formula with the sine function apply okay so drag and drop x into the rows y into the columns path into detail rating into color we click on format workbook so we remove the grid lines and zero lines now i'm going to edit table calculations so click on x edit table calculations my index it will be along the path my total same thing along the path my total max path and rating and my rank it will be for the different ratings so do the same thing for y in the table calculations for my rank the rating for my total max path and rating for my total it will be along the path and for my index it will be along the path now we change automatic into line the path it will be the path we're going to remove null value so press ctrl key drag and drop rating into filters and we remove the null value apply okay and you want to select only the ratings which have total rating greater than 100 so start from 100 apply okay now i'm going to format our worksheet so right click we remove the header same thing in here remove the header for the color edit color so press ctrl key we select all the ratings like that double click and we write the following code 00 a 8 e1 okay apply okay and we increase the size We press ctrl key with drag and drop rating into label same thing total ratings into the label we click on label line ends we don't want label end of line we click on the text and we put it in this format apply ok right click format i'm going to add the borders so we put everything in white white 
white row divider in white and the column divider in white same thing for the title we add the border in white double click and put it in the center apply ok so like that we have our top ratings within our data set next we are going to create a donut chart so create new worksheet same thing format for the shading we put our color we drag and drop the type into the color and we select by same thing we drag and drop title into the size and we select measure count and it will be the percent of total so press control key we drag and drop the type into the label and same thing for the count double click on rows right zero okay we press Ctrl key and we duplicate the value. We go to the second one, we remove everything. For the color, we select the first one. As you can see here, we have the code, right? Okay. Increase the size a little bit. Same thing for the first one, we increase the size. And we select dual axis. Entire view. And we hide the header. We can edit the colors so edit colors we put it in blue assign apply and as you can see here we can put tv show in light blue and for the movie we can put it using our code 00a8e1 okay apply okay and like that we get our donut chart so we can change the title so we have shows by type ok double click we put it in the center and we add the border we can hide the legend same thing in here we can also increase the size a little bit And like that, we get our final donut chart for the shows by type. Next, we are going to create our area chart for shows by release year and type. So, click on your worksheet. Same thing, format. We select our shading. We drag and drop the release year into the columns. Show ID into the rows. And we select count distinct. We select area chart right and we drag and drop the type into the color double click on the axis fixed we put 2021 not reversed and we remove the title same thing on this one we remove the title we press Ctrl key and we drag and drop the type into the label. We click on label and allow labels to overlap other marks. We change the title so we have the shows by release year and type. OK. Double click, put it in the center, apply OK, right click format and we add our borders. So you put everything in white. Row divider and same thing for the column divider. Same thing for the title. We add the border in white. So like that we get our area chart for shows by release year and type. Same thing we can hide the card. Next we are going to create our horizontal bar chart for top 10 genera. So we duplicate this one. We remove everything. We rename it to top 10 genera. Okay. So Jura can drop list it in into the rows. We change it to automatic. And we drag and drop the show ID into the columns. So we select count 
distinct we sort so press control key with drag and drop list it in into the filters and we select the top 10 by count distinct of show id apply okay we select the entire view we press control key which we can drop the total into the label and we remove the title for the color we can use our color so you can see here we have the code which is 0088E1 okay right click and hide field labels for rows and like that we get our horizontal bar chart for top 10 general next we are going to create the map so duplicate this one remove everything we rename it into total shows by cache fee but as we have seen when we put for example country in here and show id into text we we'll select count distinct and you select standard we can see that we have a lot of null values and also there are some fields which contain more than a country so tableau will see that as null values but we are going to create our map for the available values so we remove everything remove this one so we double click on country we click on map background maps we select dark we click on automatic we select map for the unknown right click hide indicator we drag and drop show id into the color and we select count distinct so drag and drop country into filters and we remove null apply ok and for the colors edit color for the maximum i'm going to select our color which has the following code so we have double zero a eight e one ok apply ok and like that we get our map for total shows by country as you can see here we have the united states with 253 then we have India for 229 and we have the remaining countries with different values. Now I'm going to create our text sheets. So we duplicate this one. Put it in here. So we remove everything. We drag and drop title into the filters. Select one. Apply. OK show filter and customize we remove all single value drop down we format our filter so for the font we put it in black and we start by description so we drag and drop description into the text right click hide title for the text we put it in the center and we change the name so we put description so we copy that click on text and we put it in here ok we select everything we put it in the center apply ok we can also for example for description so we click on text one more time and for example we put it in 10 apply ok so duplicate this one second one it will be cast we select everything copy so we remove description and we put cast same thing we paste cast in here ok first one we put it in 10 we select everything we put it in the center apply ok next we have the release here so we duplicate release here same thing we copy remove release here we click we paste ok 
first one put it in 10 we select everything in the center apply ok next we have duration duplicate so we have duration we copy remove we drag and drop duration into text we click on text so we paste ok first one put it in 10 center apply ok next we have genera remove list it in for the text so we paste first one 10 select everything in the center apply ok and last one we have the type so duplicate type remove drag and drop the type click on text and we put it in 10 select everything center apply ok so like that we have created all the text sheets one thing that you can do is to remove the filters so height card here same thing height card height card height card so keep only the first one and we say apply to worksheets selected worksheets and we are going to select all the text sheets ok now we are going to create our dashboard so click on new dashboard the size it will be 1850 and 1050 click on dashboard format for the color we are going to select our color and now we are going to drag and drop the different sheets so we start by top ratings next we have the area chart after that we have the donut chart let's put it in here then we have the horizontal bar chart we to adjust the size like that this one we put it here okay all right then we add the map after that we are going to add the logo so double click on image same thing you can find the link in the description okay so as you can see here we have the same colors as our sheets i want to adjust the size like that same thing for this one like this For this one, we put it as floating and we put it inside the map. Remove, we remove the title. We format, so we add the border in white and we put it like this. Okay. Now I'm going to add the text sheets. So start from description, put it in here. So we hide the title and we have the cast. And for the filter, I'm going to put it in here. Format. So it will be in white. And it will be 
12 in the center same thing in here it will be white and the border in white okay so decrease this one a little bit same thing for this one we hide the title okay next we are going to add the remaining text sheets so we start from the type then the genre then duration and release year so high title high title high title same thing in here so decrease this one and we decrease this one so if we select the presentation mode we get our final dashboard for amazon prime video as you can see here when we change the title we get the different details you can find the link to download the file that we are going to use tutorial in the description so first we are going to import the csv file so we click on more and you look for the path where you have saved the netflix titles file so you click on file open And here we have our data so uh, we have 12 fields and more than 6k rows so each movie has a show id we have the type it can be a movie or tv show we have the different titles as string we have different directors the cast so we have the, the date added so date added on netflix and and the release year we have the rating the duration so if it is a movie you have 94 minutes 90 minutes or if it is a tv show then you have uh, the different seasons you have different categories and you have the description if we go to the worksheet so we have here uh, the different fields okay so we have the dimensions and we have the latitude and longitude for the uh, country as you see here we have the, the geographical uh, role is defined as country so we have the different countries and to start for example uh, we can plot the different tv shows and movies added to netflix by date so if we put the date added in the columns and we put the uh, so the show id in the rows and it will be a count so measure it will be count distinct okay and we bring the the type in the colors okay so we can see here tv show and we have here the movies since as you have seen uh, the year has a null value so we can filter that so we press on control key you drag uh, the years in the filters and click years next and we omit null values apply okay so as we can see here we have uh, the different we have the total movies and tv shows by years starting from 2008 until 2020 we can convert that to an area chart and we can change the color so as you as you know for netflix it is uh, with uh, shading or the background which is black and it is written in red so we first we are going to omit that so hide the field we are going to edit the axis okay so we remove the title we can uh, define it here as an entire view so we can change the title we can name it for example total movies and TV shows by for example yes by year so we defined in the middle put it in bold and we change the color so if you don't have the red you can click on more colors and you can define it in here so we put it in red okay 
we are going to change the background so click on uh, you right click on the worksheet format and here you go to sharing so the worksheet it will be in black okay so the uh, we are going to remove uh, the grid lines so you go to rows grid lines and you click on none okay and for the uh, for the text we are going to put them in in white okay and you put them in bold like that we can also change the colors of the TV shows and the the movies so we click on color edit color and we put it in red so we click on red for the movie we put it in dark red and for TV show in light red apply okay so uh, we have here the and now if we don't want to see the legend so we can click on hide card and we click on or press on control key and click on type put it in label so here we do have the tv movies the total movies and the tv shows by years okay apply okay so we can rename the worksheet we call it total movies and tv shows by year okay tv shows by years okay and then we are going to create the new worksheet okay and for example we want to create a map okay that uh, define each country by color and the darker is the color the more movies that the this country has released okay so we double click on country we'll have all the defined countries we change automatic to field map okay for the announce we click on filter data then for the title we can change it to total movies okay so we write total movies and TV shows okay by country put it in the middle in bold and we put it in red apply okay we change the background of the worksheet so we right click on the worksheet format and we go to sharing put it in black we do the same thing for the map so we click on map background maps and we click on dark okay for the color of the map we can change it to red or we can change it later on when we add the uh, the count of the show ID so we click and drop show ID into no, show ID into colors okay and when we put we are going to click on measure count distinct okay and we change the color into red okay edit colors we are going to change it to red apply okay so as you can see here we have uh, the count or the total movies and TV shows by country as you can see here uh, the United States has the highest value and the remaining they have 50 uh, up to the, the, the list value which is one okay so we can rename that total movies and TV shows by country okay we can create another worksheet that we will in which we were we are going to uh, select the, the top 10 genres okay the top 10 types of movies okay for example we have drama we have romantic movies and we have for example horror movies so we are going to click on top 10 okay so we are going to uh, select the different uh listed in okay and here we are going to show uh, to put the same thing show id in text and we put the 
the measure which is the count distinct okay we're going to order that and we select the top 10 so we click in here filter top by field so we have the top 10 by the show the count distinct of show ID so you click on apply okay so here we do have the the top 10 okay we can uh, drag and drop the count ID into the columns okay so we will have the uh, the horizontal bars we hide the field for rows we do the same thing we edit the axis and we remove the title okay we, we can give some space in here so we can change the title put it in the middle in bold and we put it in red apply okay we do the same thing for colors in here we put them in red and we change the background so the format worksheet okay we have the shading worksheet and it will be in black we do the same thing for uh, the text so we change it into white bold and we are going to remove the uh, the columns grid lines okay so we p we go in here for lines grid lines in the columns and we put it to none okay so here we have the top 10 and we can add for example uh, we we press on control key and we drag the count into label okay so here we have the different values depending on each type okay so we have the commentaries with two, 299 we have standby comedy etc now for example we can add the different so as we have seen here we have two types so we can create a chart that give us the percentage and uh, the total of movies or TV shows depending on the type okay so we call it movies and TV shows we call it distribution okay so same thing we, uh, we put the type in the rows for example okay and we put the show ID in text we put the count distinct okay and it give us the uh, the value but if you want you can change it to uh, you can change it to a visualization for example we can change change it to a highlight table for example stacked bar or for example packed bubbles okay as you can see here it give us much more information than table okay we can add for example uh, the, uh, we we press on control key and we put the label so the person the total in the uh, inside the bubbles we can also add the percentage if you want to so you press on control key you put it in detail okay and you can change it to quick table calculation okay so we have quick table calculation and we select percent of total okay we convert it to label and here we have the percentage okay we jack it to the down like that okay so we have for the movies we have 4269 which represents 68.42 percent of the total okay we can do the same thing we can change the title okay we put it in bold and in red apply put it in red apply okay we can hide the card and we select the entire view we can also format that okay so we select the worksheet okay the sharing worksheet it will be in black and here we do have the total movies and TV shows by with a percentage and the exact value.
okay so now we can add another uh, worksheet for example for the uh, ratings okay for example call it ratings okay and we put the ratings in the column okay uh, we put it in the entire view and for example we put the show ID in the rows count ID count distinct sorry uh, so we order that and as you can see here we have TVMA uh, which is in uh, in the first position and we have TV14, TVPG etc so we can add the count in the, into the labels uh, sorry so we press control key count into the labels then we change the color into red we can format that so we put the worksheet in black we put the grid lines of the rows into none and we change the text into white and bold okay so we edit the axis remove it remove the title we do the same thing for the rating hide the field and we put so uh, rating we put it in bold in the middle and in red okay apply okay so this is for the ratings and now with this five first worksheets we have covered uh, the the geographical data type which is uh, in our case countries we covered the total uh, movies and TV shows added by date we have covered the genre so we have the top 10 by genre and we have the ratings and of course we have the total of movies and TV shows with its with their percentage now for the remaining fields for example we can uh, we can select a movie and for example we can see its description so for example we first select the type okay filter for example a movie okay apply okay so we're going to show the filter type we remove all and we put single value drop down then once we select the type we select the title okay so show filter so we have we are going to remove all and we are going to select single value drop down what we are going to do now for example when we select the type movie if we don't want to see the titles of tv shows in here we can change that on to only relevant values okay so you will have only the titles of the movies the same thing when you select tv shows you will not find the titles of the movies you will only find titles of the tv shows okay what we want to find is the description okay we want to display description and we put it in the entire view so we change the title into description we put it in the middle and we put it in bold in red okay we do the same thing for the format sharing and we put it in black so for the description for the text we're going to do it in white and we put the text into in the middle okay header the same thing in the center okay this is for the description as you can see here we can also change the uh, format filters okay so the font which is going to be in the shading it is in black and the font it is in white okay so each movie or each tv show has description has a duration so if it is a movie it will be in minutes if it is a tv show it will be in seasons it has a rating it has a release year okay so what we are going to do is that we are going to rename that description apply okay so we call it description 
OK and I want to duplicate that so we right click duplicate and for example we change it to date added OK so date added we select OK we change it here to date added OK apply we remove the description and we put date added OK so we have 2019 we do the same thing for the duration so we duplicate we change it to duration OK apply OK we change it to duration and we change the text into duration OK so since it is TV show it will be two seasons so we have also the writing we do the same thing duplicate we call it individual writing since we have or only writing okay we change the title into writing apply okay so we replace it by writing for example if it is a movie TV 14 we have the release year okay duplicate we have release year okay and we change it here into release year apply okay so we have here release year and finally we are going to put it put the genre okay oh, sorry so we duplicate that so we change it here apply okay and we are going to change it here into listed in okay so we have to select that the this filter okay apply to worksheets selected worksheets so we select the last five so we have genre release year writing duration and date added okay okay so we do the same thing for the title apply to worksheet selected worksheets genre release year rating duration and date so when we put them in the dashboard we need only to put one filter and this filter is going to be applied to the last five worksheets okay whereas for the first five that we have created so total movies total movies top 10 genre movies TV and ratings this is as you know as a general description of our data set okay okay so now we are going to create our dashboard okay so we call it Netflix okay uh, we can uh, rearrange the uh, dimensions for example 12 or I put it into okay maybe thousand six hundred okay okay very good and we are going to use uh, the standard we are not going to use the floating okay as you can see here the tilt or the floating and we start by adding uh, the first one which is the total movies and TV shows by year okay we are going to format the dashboard into black as you can see here behind the title it is in white so we put it in black okay very nice then we are going to add the uh, top 10 by genre okay we are going to add the map okay like that we are going to add the total 
okay the sum and we have the ratings okay so now since we do have everything going to increase the height okay we put it 900 okay we are going to rotate the label okay it is better like that we have the map we can change it like this okay so that we will have better view for the ratings and we can decrease the height for the genre and the TV shows by years okay we can convert okay so we don't show the title since it is about the map we can convert it to flooring okay and we can put it inside the map okay like that so we have our general analysis of our dashboard okay so we increase the height a little bit to 1000 now we are going to add uh, the different descriptions of or different characteristics of individual movie okay so we have here description okay which is going to be like that then we have the uh, date added okay date added we do have the duration okay we have the rating okay the release year and the general okay so now we do have all the worksheets inside our dashboard we can change or put our type in here okay we can put the rating in here we put the same thing the title in here all right so what we are going to do is we are going to decrease the height of okay okay and we are going to change the uh, the title so we put them in 10 apply okay same thing for duration we put all the titles in 10 so that we have we will have a clear you know uh, view and analysis okay very nice so the release year and the, the added year we put them we can put them side by side so apply okay that added we put them in 10 apply okay so we put them in here all right now for the genre we have put it here very nice okay we can change or format our title uh, filters so it will be in the center okay like that and for the title put it in red okay okay the same thing for the title we edit the title and we put it in red okay okay so now we have uh, our formation for each movie for example we select movie okay and select the movie we'll have the rating the duration release year the that added description and the genre okay and here we have our analysis or our general analysis of our data set okay so we have the rating we have the total movies by countries and we can put it in here okay we have uh, the sum of movies and TV shows we have total movies and TV shows by years and we have top 10 general 
okay so here for example you can leave some space so that you will have a clearer view okay and what we can do for example we can add the netflix logo in our uh, dashboard so we can add the netflix image okay so we click on image so you can download netflix image as i can as i did in here so you can download it on google and double click on image you can add your netflix image okay and you can edit so fit image and center the image and you can put it at the beginning for example put it in here okay so here we have our final dashboard okay that describes for us the different types and different titles of movies by country by ratings and by year if you want to export that as an image so you can click on dashboard export and you can find your final dashboard in here In this video, we are going to create the following dashboard which represents COVID-19 cases in India. Throughout this video, I will first explain to you how to work with several data sources because we are going to use six CSV files plus shapefile. I will explain to you how to create a map using shapefile and how to use data blending. And also, as you can see here on the right, we have multiple line chart which represent COVID cases by state. I will explain to you how to use the measure values in order to create the following graph using dual axis. And also, I'm going to create different charts that you can see here on the following image, like donut chart, stacked bar chart, and horizontal bar charts. So let's start first by downloading the CSV files on Kaggle and the shape file. So the different links are available in the description. The first link is about the data set. As you can see here, we have COVID-19 in India. And if we scroll down, we have here three files. So we have statewide testing details, .csv, COVID-19 India .csv, and COVID vaccine statewide .csv. So to download the files, we click on the first one and we download in here. So I have already downloaded the files. I'm not going to do that again, okay? You do the same thing for the second. You download and you do the same thing for the third one okay next you have to download three other files so you go to this jupyter notebook right so covid19 explained through visualizations and the link is available also in the description and you scroll down to covid19 in india as you can see we have covid19 india downloaded state-wise testing detail downloaded and here you can download three other files so we have age group detail okay you click on download then you have icmr testing labs same thing you download it and individual details okay so like that we get the six csv files that we are going to use in our dashboard next for the shape file so same thing for the link it is available in description and you scroll down to indian state shape file okay so you click here and it will be downloaded automatically so like that we are ready to create our visualizations so first we are going to import COVID-19 India file, okay? So you click on more and here we have the CSV file, okay? As you can see here, it has nine fields, which means nine columns and 3,063 rows. So we have the date, we have the time, state union territory, confirmed Indian national, confirmed foreign national, and you have also cured deaths and confirmed, right? So we go to a worksheet. And as we have said, we want to create a map, right? So we call it map total deaths by state. Here we have state as geographical data. So we double click on it. And as you can see here, there are 40 values that have unknown geographic locations. So Tableau does not recognize the different states in India. In order to create our map, we are going to use the shape file. So you click on data, new data source. You can click on more and you import your shape file. Okay, so it has three columns. We have the name, we have the type and we have the geometry. In order to create our map, we are going to use what we call data blending, right? We go to data, edit blend relationship, custom, add 
as we have said in the first file we have state and union in the second file it is name so you click on ok ok now we are going to remove state union latitude and longitude we'll double click on geometry right it will give us the different states ok we click on COVID-19 India we drag and drop state into label right and the deaths into color as you can see here we have the sum of deaths which is represented as a map right so as we can see here we have the map of the different states that represent the sum of deaths and we have created that using shapefile and data blending we can change the color into for example red so we can change it into for example red gold right apply okay and we can change its format so format sharing we are going to put it in gray right for the map we are going to use background as dark okay and for the title we are going to edit the title it will be bold in white apply okay we are going to add the border all right and same thing for the map as you can see here it has already the border right so format border the header okay great so like that we have our map which represents the total deaths by state next we are going to create multiple line chart in this multiple line chart we are going to have the deaths the confirmed and the cured right so click on new worksheet and we are going to use COVID-19 India, right? Would you like and drop date into columns? Exact date, right? And if we drag and drop confirmed into rows, it will give us one line. Cured to the second, it will give us another row. And deaths into the third, it will give us a third row. If we are going to use dual axis, it will give us two in the same graph and one separately so we still have two rows one technique is that we can use the measure names in the filters right so we drag and drop measure names into filters and we select three values that we want so we have so we want the three values we select apply okay we take the measure values into the rows and as you can see here when we drag and drop measure names into colors it will give us three different line chart in the same graph but the same thing here we have the value of this it is very low comparing to the value of the confirmed cases right so what we are going to do is that we are going to modify our filter right we select only confirmed and cured since they have approximately the same value apply okay we take this into the rows and we click on dual axis so here we have confirmed and cured right so we write confirmed and cured right and here we have the deaths we have approximately the same shape but for the deaths it does not have the same values as the confirmed okay we can change the colors so edit color for example deaths we put it in red cured we put it in green and confirm put it in orange right apply okay we're gonna remove the title so we put here COVID cases by state and we add our state into the filters right so we select for example one apply okay so show filter single value drop down and here we are going to remove our title right go and change the title so COVID without an e and it is represented for each state okay we can select all right and we have the confirmed and queued in one axis and deaths in another axis but they have the same shape we are going to format our worksheet 
So right, shading, same thing as the first one. So we remove the grid lines for the rows. We change it for the sheet into bold, white, and then, okay. Same thing for the title. Put it in the middle, white, bold, apply, okay. Format title, we add the border. Same thing for the worksheet, we are going to add the border. So we put everything in white, right? White, very nice. Here we can change it into black, okay. So like that, we get our COVID cases by state and everything is displayed in a multiple line chart, okay? Next, we are going to create a horizontal bar chart about the first and second dose administrate. So we select new worksheet, data, new data source, more, and you import the COVID vaccine state-wise, right? As you can see here, we have updated on state, total dose administrated sessions. So in total, we have 24 fields, all right? And now we are going to visualize first and second dose administrated, right? So we write first versus second dose administrated, right? And same thing, we drag and drop measure names into filters, none. So we select first, and second, apply, okay. So we have here the measure names, we double click, and we select the measure names into the columns, right? So we can swap that, and we can change the alias. So edit alias, right? So we, we let only first, same thing in here, we let only second, okay. Here we are going to modify the title, so remove title. We can select, for example, entire view, right? The color, we are going to put it in green. We can add the measure values into the label. And we can format our worksheet, so format. Shading, put it as gray, right? For the grid lines, none. For the sheet, it will be bold, then in white. Same thing for the title. Put it in the middle, white, bold, apply, okay. We're going to format that. We add the border. And same thing, we are going to add the border for our worksheet. So we put everything in white, right? White white and white so like that we get our horizontal bar chart same thing next we are going to create another horizontal bar chart which represents the total doses administrated by the vaccine right so right you worksheet and doses administrated by the vaccine right same thing we drag and drop measure names into the filters so none we select covaxin covi shield and we have sputnik right apply okay so we have here measure values double click and we select the measure names into the columns right we go and swap that. Same thing, edit the alias, right? Second one. And the third one. Okay. Same thing, we remove value. We select entire view. The color, it will be in green. I want to sort that and we add the measure values into the label.
we are going to format our worksheet so we add our shading we remove the grid lines for the columns so the font it will be bold white and 10 we add our border right so put everything in white white and we format our title so put it in the middle white bold apply ok format title we add our order and like that we get our horizontal bar chart next we are going to import the age group details file right so we select new worksheet and you click on data new data source more and you open age group details right as you can see here we have four fields and ten rows so we have the age group total cases and the percentage so right here age group details right we select the age group into the color we select pi and we drag and drop total cases into the size we can increase the width and the height of the chart right so i'm going to create a donut chart and to do that we double click on rows we write zero we can duplicate this one we remove everything from the second so the size it will be smaller and this one we put it like bigger like this okay and here we put dual axis right okay now we can select the entire view we can drag and drop the age group into label same thing sum into label and we can create the percent of total okay so here we have the different age categories we can hide the legend right same thing in here and we are going to format our worksheet so we start by the axis title remove title tick marks none same thing in here so we remove the title tick marks none all right we click on format shading we put the worksheet in the following color and we go to the second one we change it into the same color okay next we are going to remove the zero lines right and for the borders we are going to select for the header it will be in white and column divider it will be none okay we're going to put the font in 10 right like that and we are going to modify our title bold apply okay format title and we put the border okay so like that we get the age group details as a donut chart next we are going to import the individual details file right so write data new data source more so we get here our data as you can see here we have 12 fields and we are going to only use the gender column so to do that we click on here to create a new worksheet so we write gender without missing values right we drag and drop the gender into the filters right and we only select males and females apply okay we put gender into color we select pi same thing into the size and we select the count we put it in label and gender same thing in label and for the count it will be the percent of total we can increase the width and the height of the chart right double click on rows write zero okay then duplicate that 
we remove everything from the second one we increase its size a little bit and this one we increase it a little bit like that so we have dual axis and we select the entire view so we remove hide card hide card and here we are going to modify the alias right so for the gender we select aliases so for f we write female and for m we write male okay for the color we can choose for example green apply okay and we are going to format our worksheet so we start by the axis we remove the title we remove the text we do the same thing for the second one okay we are going to format shading so we select that same thing for the color of the second one going to remove the zero line same thing we add the header in white and remove the column divider we select bold white 10 and we do the same thing for the title so we put it in the middle white and bold apply ok we add our border And like that we get our gender without missing values as a donut chart next we are going to import the icmr testing labs file right so new worksheet data new data source more and here we get our file so we have icmr testing labs and we are going to create the total labs in each state so we write here icmr testing labs in each state so we take state we put it in rows and we take the lab and put it in the column right so we have here measure count and we can sort that we can also drag and drop the count into label we can increase so we right we click on format cell size so taller we remove height field labels for rows same thing for the axis so i'm going to remove the title for the color we can put it in green and we are going to format our worksheet so format shading okay we're going to remove grid lines for the column same thing for the sheet we are going to use bold white and 10 we are going to put everything in the center center or for the pane we set, we set it as automatic right then we add our border so we put everything in white okay great and we are going to modify our title so we put it in white bold apply okay and we are going to add the border in white okay so like that we get the horizontal bar chart for the icmr testing labs in each state next we are going to create calculated field so we call it so we call this sheet title and we click here on create calculated field so we write title and we write the title of our dashboard which is COVID-19 in India dashboard analysis okay so like that we have our title of our dashboard apply okay so we drag and drop title into text high title and we increase it like that okay can also format for example we put it like in so 24 okay so shading it will be in gray and 
the color it will be bold in white so it will be in the center okay great so here we have the title of our dashboard we can also add the border for example for the cell okay great all right now we are going to import our final file which is statewise testing details so new statewise so state wise testing details and we click on data so new data source more and here we get our file okay so we are going to create a horizontal stacked by chart that will give us the total samples the negative and the positive ones right so click on statewide testing details measure names into the filters so we have negative positive and total samples apply okay and we have here the measure values in each state okay so i'm going to take the state put it in columns then swap right and we drag and drop measure names into the colors we can change the colors so edit color total samples for example in blue positive put it in red and negative put it in green apply okay or we can change it into for example total samples into orange apply okay for one null filter data we're going to modify the cell size so taller same thing in here we hide the field here we hide the title and here we remove value okay great we're going to format our worksheet okay shading we put it in this color right grid lines for the columns none for the sheet it will be bold to white 10 and we add our borders and we add our borders so we put everything in white okay great for the alignment we put it in the middle in the center same thing in here in the center we can increase it a little bit we can also drag and drop measure values into the label okay and we are going to format our title so format order okay so put it in the middle white and bold apply okay so like that we get our different samples using horizontal stacked bar chart now we can create our dashboard so we click on new dashboard we define our size okay and we start by dragging and dropping all the worksheets so we start by the map we change the so we format dashboard and change its shading into our color right next we have covid cases so multiplying chart so after that we have first and second those as demonstrated put it in here next we have the age group gender next we have the icmr testing labs we can put it in here right we can change like that next we have our title we put it in here right high title and we put it like that okay state wise we have state wise testing details right so we put it in here now we are going to format that and we arrange our worksheets so we start by death we put it as flooring right and we put it here in the map same thing in here floating we put it inside COVID cases by state and same thing for the legend
this one also we put it in float in and we put it inside the horizontal stacked bar chart all right so we remove the section of the filters okay great we increase the width of our title all right same thing in here Okay, and now we import the those administrated by vaccine and put it in here. Okay, great. We can increase its size a little bit. Okay, so we will go to the worksheet. So size increase it a little bit. And same thing for the first one, we increase its size like that. Okay. So we get here the donut chart with the required size. Okay. We can adjust it in here like that. We put it inside our chart. Same thing for the second one. Okay, okay, like that. And for this, we put it inside. Okay, we can format legends so. We add the border in white and it will be bold in the center. Okay. So here we have the this. Same thing for the one in the uh, multiple line chart. So format legends, the border we add it in white and it will be in the center. Okay. So just increase it like that. All right, so we are going to adjust like that and increase its width. Okay, okay. Same thing here, we are going to format, add the border, which is be in white. And the font, same thing, in white. Increase it like this. So we are going to adjust it like that. We're going to increase the width and the height okay so like that you get the filter and the legend uh, formatted right so here we can change the sizes for example we increase this one like that same thing for this one and same thing for the map so we move the test in here okay We can increase it like that. All right, great. So we can also modify this one. Put it in here. Format legends, right? Border, put it in white. Okay, great. We can just change, rearrange that. Okay. So normally like that we get our final dashboard and if we select presentation mode we get our dashboard you can also export your dashboard as an image by clicking on dashboard and export image In this video, I'm going to create a dashboard about data science job salaries depending on the experience level, employment type, country, and job title. The dataset is a CSV file that you can download on Kaggle and the link is available in the description. So let's get started. First, we import the CSV file which is dssalaries.csv and as you can see here, we have 12 fields which means 12 columns and 607 rows. And the columns are F1 which is like the ID we have the work year, experience level, and as you can see here, we have only letters, so we have mainly four types. Middle level, which is intermediate, senior level, 
entry level and the expert we have the employment type same thing here we have full-time we have freelance we have part-time and contract then we have job title we have the salary the salary currency we have the salary in US dollars employee residence which is the country remote ratio company location and company size same thing here we have letters so we have L for large S for small and M for medium so the first thing that we are going to do is to use aliases in order to modify the different letters so we start by the experience level you click in here and you select aliases so EN represents entry level okay EX represents expert MI represents middle level or intermediate and SE represents senior okay so we press OK then we have the employment type so same thing aliases so here we have contract then we have for FL it's freelance for FT it is full time and for PT it's part time okay then we do the same thing for the company size so aliases we have large medium and small we press ok so we select sheet 1 and here we have the different fields so the first thing that we are going to do is to create a donut chart for the total companies by size and location so first we are going to drag and drop company size into color we change it into pie okay so we have here pie chart then we have the same thing the company size into the size we select count we press control key and we drag and drop company size to label we do the same thing for the count and we hide the legend okay then we double click on row and we write zero enter you press control key and duplicate the value you create two rows and you go to the second one so the second graph you remove everything okay here we are going to increase the size all right and we select dual axis all right so we select entire view we increase the size a little bit we do the same thing here size we increase it All right so here we have our donut chart and we start by removing the zeros so you remove the title then you go to tick marks none okay we do the same thing here tick marks none okay then we change the name total companies by size and location okay then we add company location into the filters for example we select us apply okay so show filter we select all and we are going to select single value drop down okay next we are going to format our worksheet so start by shading and for the color we are going to use this one okay so in code color it is 070536 okay so we press ok then we remove the zero line same thing for the borders so for the header we select white and we remove the column divider okay same thing for the second one i'm going to change its color into 
same color as the worksheet same thing for the first one so you select the first one and you go to the count which is the label quick table calculation percent of total all right for the color we are going to change it into blue apply ok and the same thing for the title so we are going to format our title so it is white bold apply ok and you select format so we have our border okay so this is a donut chart that represents total companies by size and location next we are going to create two more donut charts one for the experience level and the other one is for the employment type so we are going to duplicate that one time we we'll change its title into experience level and you go to the first graph so we remove everything we set experience level so we put it into color and same thing we put it into size and we select count so control key to label control key to label same thing quick table calculation we have percent of total all right we remove the color we remove the legend and for the color we are going to select lightning color assign apply okay so here we have a donut chart for the experience level same thing we are going to duplicate first one and we change it into employment type same thing we remove everything we drag and drag employment type into color into label same thing for the count so drag and drop into size and it will be the count we put it also in the label and we select quick table calculation percent of total we remove the legend we remove so hide card and we select the color edit color we put same thing lightning default sign apply okay so we can change this color manually edit color for example for full time we put it in blue contract we put it in yellow apply okay so here we have a donut chart for the employment type so just for the borders so i'm going to format title and border in white we do the same thing for the experience level so format it will be in white okay so next we are going to create another chart which is top 10 employee residence okay so it will be a horizontal bar chart so write top 10 employee residence so we have here employee residence in rows and we press control key we put it in text select count we sort that and we select horizontal bar chart All right so we said the top 10 so control key we put it in filters top by field 10 count apply okay select entire view hide field label so same thing hide that delete the title and we drag and drop the count into the label so as you can see here most of the data came from 
employees that work in the US, then Great Britain, and in third position we have India. So when we select the filters, it is better to select US or Great Britain. Okay, otherwise if we select the other countries, we don't have a lot of information about the salaries. Okay, now I'm going to format our worksheet. So write format, sharing, we select our color, then we select bold white 10. For the columns, we put the grid lines into none, okay? And for the borders, go to sheet, okay? For the cell, it is in white. Select everything as white. Row divider and the column divider, okay? So for the color, we change it into this one, okay? I'm going to format our title middle white bolt apply okay and we select the title the border so we put it in white so this represents top 10 employee residence as a horizontal bar chart next we're going to create another worksheet which will be about the average salary by experience level and employment type new worksheet experience level employment type and we have the average salary in US dollars so we select the average and for example as a chart we can select the side by side circles okay which give us the following chart we can select the entire view we hide the card so hide field labels same thing for the title and for the color, we can change it to blue, sign apply, okay. Next, we are going to name our worksheet. So average salary, salary in US dollar, okay. By experience level and employment type, okay. So I'm going to format our worksheet. Shade in, we select our color. For the grid line, so for the rows, we select to none, okay? And for the sheet, we select bold and 10, all right? Same thing for the borders. Select everything in white and we are going to also modify our title okay format we add the border in white okay so here we have the average salary in US dollar by experience level and employment type and for example we can add filters like the company location we select US apply okay and we show filter right so we select so format you can put it in black select all and single value drop down we can also add the job title okay same thing for example 3d okay show filter all and it will be single value drop down okay so uh, this is side by side circle graph it represents the average salary in us dollar by experience level and employment type next we are going to create a map for the average salary by country so we select new worksheet write app so average salary by country right and we change here so we select geographic role country region double click on company location okay so we have eight unknown filter data and we select salary in us dollar in the colors we select the average 
okay and for the worksheet so for match heading it will be in this color for the map we select background as dark okay so here we have our map average salary by country and we modify our title so it will be in white bold apply okay and format it will be in white okay and as you can see it starts from 4000 to 157 k dollars and in the us for example it is 144k dollars and for that we can add for example job title as the filter okay so that for example we can select data scientist apply okay and if we show filter right so single value drop down for example in the us the average salary is 143k for the data analyst for example or pi data analyst we have 87k for the data analyst we have 107k etc okay if we select all the jobs we have the following map okay next to are going to create another worksheet which represents average salary by experience level and job title so average salary all right by job title and experience level all right so we select the job title then we have the experience level and we have the salary in us dollars right so you put the average and if we select for example the highlight table so we get the following table so we are going to remove or hide the card and we hide field labels for rows so we'll increase that same thing here we are going to format our worksheet so shading we put our color in here and for the font we put it in white like that so the alignment it will be in the center center and for the border so we have everything in white okay so here is this one like that for the title the same thing put it in white bold apply okay and we are going to format our title all right so here we have the uh, average salary by job title and experience level and if we saw that we get the following we can also add the company location as a filter okay For example we select us apply okay and if we show filter so we get the following format okay put it in black and we select all okay get the following table so single value drop down all right now i'm going to create our dashboard so first we select the size as 21 100 and here we put 1200 right so we start by top 10 employee residence so for the dashboard format we put our color then we are going to select the average salary by experience level and employment type after that we have the map then we have the average salary by experience level so we'll put it just in here all right so we delete this one and this one we put it in florin right put it in here okay then we, after that we are going to modify it the company location same thing we remove that next we are going to add the three donut charts so we put this one in here 
the second one put it in here and the third one in here okay so like that we have selected all the charts now I'm going to modify that so we remove this one company location company location and company location put our filters in the top same thing as this one all right so here for the location so so for the filter we select apply to worksheets selected worksheets so experience level employment type top 10 employer residence and the average salary by job title okay and for the job title we have so apply to worksheets selected worksheets so we have the map and also we have the average salary by experience level and employment type okay so now we are going to decrease this one like that same thing here so I'm going to rotate the label okay Decrease this one just like that, okay. Like that, so I'm going to increase this one, all right. okay like that so increase it a little bit okay and for the map as we have said we put it in here so for the title in the title put it in the middle white bolt okay and if we format so right format agent so the alignment font it will be bold and for the alignment it will be in the center okay we can also add border so format legends we add the border in for example in white right so same thing for the filters we can edit so uh, format filter it will be in the center shading border it will be in white and for the font it will be in white also same thing for the job title format center font it will be in white okay so like that we have our interactive dashboard And for example, if we select it in the presentation view, right? And we are going to work with the filters. For example, we select US. And for the job title, the same thing. If we select, for example, data scientist. Okay. So you can see these are changing. We need just to add the border for the job title. So we exit that and for the job title we add the border which is in white okay so now if we want to save our dashboard so we select export image and like that you can save it in your local as an image
In this video, I'm going to create a TripAdvisor dashboard, as you can see here in this image, from a dataset that you can find on GitHub. The link is available in the description. The CSV file contains data about 21 hotels in Las Vegas, and we are going to use this data in order to proceed our analysis and create this dashboard. So let's get started. First, we have to import our file. I name it TripAdvisor Hotels file, and it is a text file. In order to get the data from GitHub, the different steps are explained in the description. As you can see, we have 20 columns, 20 fields, and 504 rows. Our rows are user country, number of reviews, number of hotel reviews, helpful votes, score, period of stay, traveler type, swimming pool, exercise room, basket court. As you can see, here we have binary, so it is yes or no, yes or no. We have the club, we have free Wi-Fi, uh, we have the names of the hotels the stars of the hotels, number of rooms, user continent, member years, review month, and review weekday. So let's create our first worksheet. We name it Total Hotels. And same thing, we are going to create a calculated field with the same name. And it has a string that has the same name. So apply OK. We drag and drop into text. We increase the width. We hide the title. And we count the number of hotels. So drag and drop hotel names in here, text. We select count this name, right? As you can see, we have a total of 21 hotels. Now we are going to format that. So we write format, font. It will be bold 10 in black okay alignment it will be in the middle and here for the uh, shading so for the worksheet it will be in this color in order to get this color we have this code okay so I select first the color and as you can see here it has the following code so you have to copy 00 AF87 you select this green color okay and once you have created this color it will appear each time in this place so you don't need to add the code each time once you have created it will appear directly in here okay and this is the color that we are going to use in order to create our dashboard so here we have our first worksheet which is the total hotels next we have the average number of rooms so same thing all right average number of rooms we copy that we create our calculated field same thing in here we create our string just to gain space we write nb for the number and av for the average so apply okay i'm going to hide the title we drag and drop in here we increase the width and we have here the number of rooms so we put it in text and we select average so here we have the average number of rooms same thing we are going to format that the alignment it will be in the middle the font it will be bold black in 10 and the worksheet it will be in this color okay so here we have the average number of rooms next we have average score so same thing we write average score we create our calculated field and same thing we write avg score apply okay we hide our title so we have here average score we increase the width okay and we have here our score we put it as average okay same thing we are going to format that it will be in green so the alignment in the middle and it will be bold black and 10. the fourth worksheet is users 
average reviews so we write users average reviews same thing we are going to hide our title and we create our calculated field copy create calculated field same thing and we write avg apply okay so users average reviews we increase the width and we get number of reviews into text and we select the average okay so here we have the average we are going to format that alignment it will be in the middle it will be bold black and then and same thing the worksheet it will be in green so here we have created our four text worksheets next we have total hotels by additional services so right total hotels by additional services okay and we are going to select for example uh, we start by free wi-fi then exercise room then we will select a club and basketball court we select the hotel name and we select count distinct we convert it into a highlight table so we said free wi-fi then we have basketball it will be in here okay so entire view we increase the width increase the width okay and for the color we can change it to gray apply okay and for the opacity we can change it to 70 percent okay here we, we are going to hide the legend and we increase the width okay so as you can see here most of hotels have free wi-fi they have exercise room they have a club but they don't have a basketball court now i'm going to format that so the alignment it will be in the middle or the center the header the same thing in the center it will be bold black in 10 and for the worksheet it will be in green i'm going to do the same thing for the title so we write format title so the shading will be in green and it will be in black so put it in the middle it will be in black and bold apply okay here we increase this the length okay just like that now we are going to add the borders okay so it will be in black same thing black same thing for the row divider and the column divider okay i'm going to increase a little bit the height like that okay so this represents total hotels by additional services next we are going to find the total users by continent so we write total users by continent so we drag and drop the users continent into the rows and same thing we press control key and we drag it to text we select measure and we have the count so we can sort that or we can convert it into 
horizontal by chart same thing we're going to hide the field same thing for the title we delete the title we're going to sort that for the colors we're going to choose black and we select entire view we press control key we select it to label and we are going to format our title so you put it in the middle black bold apply okay we format the worksheet so it will be bold black and 10 worksheet it will be in green the borders we are going to select the borders so row divider and we have the column divider for the grid line so for the column we are going to select none and on the sheet we have axis ruler we put it in black for the same thing for axis ticks we put it in black and we select the borders for the title Okay, so it will be in green and the border it will be in black so like that we have the total users by continent next we are going to create total hotels by stars okay so write total hotels by stars okay we select here the stars okay so we have hotel stars in columns and we drag and drop the uh, the names so hotel name into the text we count distinct and we select the bar chart we swap and we sort we press control key and we drag and drop this to the label as you can see here for five stars we have eight hotels four stars we have five three stars we have four etc we select the entire view we hide the field label and same thing in here we delete the title we format our title it will be black bold apply okay and for the color it will be in black and we are going to format our worksheet so for the font it will be bold 10 in black the border we have the following so it will be in black 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 row divider same thing in black and color divider in black now we are going to format title and it will be the shading it will be in green and the border it will be in black same thing for the worksheet so format shading and it will be in green here we are going to remove the grid lines okay for the rows we select none and for the sheet axis ruler it will be in black same thing for axis ticks it will be in black so here we have the total hotels by stars next we have users by period of stay so users by period of stay so we have here the period of stay and we count the period of stay so count period stay we sort here we are going to hide the field and we select the packed bubbles all right for the color we are going to select the gray select okay and for the opacity we're going to select 70 percent okay i'm going to press control key and put it in the label i'm going to format our title bold apply okay 
So I'm going to hide the legend, select the entire view, and we are going to format. So it will be bold black 10, and for the cell, it will be in black. For the shading, it will be in green. Same thing for the title. So we have shading and we have the border. Okay. So here we have users by period of stay. Next, we have traveler type. So write traveler type. Same thing, traveler type in rows. And we put this in text as the count. We sort that and we select our tree map. For the color, we select the gray. Apply OK. And for the opacity, we choose 70%. Now, we close this, control key, and we select here the total. I'm going to format our title. Okay, border, okay. We hide the legend and we uh, put it in the middle, black and bold, apply, okay. Entire view. Here we are going to format our worksheet. So shading, it will be in green. For the cell, it will be in black. And here it will be in black 10 bolt. And for the border, as you can see here, it is in white. We are going to put it in black. So here border, it will be in black. Okay. So like that, we get the traveler type. As you can see, we have couples. Then we have families, friends, business, then solo with 24. Next, we have top 10 hotels by total rooms. Okay, so we write top 10 hotels by total rooms. So here we select the hotel name and we select here the number of rooms. As you can see, it will give us the sum. So we select here the average. So it is the sum divided by the number of times that he got the hotel name. So you can see if we order that, we get exactly the number of rooms. We press control key, we select it in filters. Top by field, so top 10 hotels by the number of rooms, apply, okay. So we select the entire view and we convert it to highlight table. So entire view and it will be sorted like that. So we increase the width. We hide the field label. We hide same thing, the card. And we select the color. So edit color, it will be in gray. Apply OK with the opacity of 70%. We are going to format our title. So it will be in the middle black bolt apply ok same thing for the worksheet format so the alignment it will be in the center same thing for the header it will be bold black and 10 for the shading it will be in green format title same thing in green with the border in black and we are going to add the borders of our worksheet so borders it will be in black black same thing for the row divider and the column divider okay so here we have the top 10 hotels by total rooms now we are going to create our dashboard so we select new dashboard we give it a size of 19 100 and 900 and we start by the total so we have here total hotels by additional services okay 
then we have total hotters by stars okay so after that we have total users by continent okay put it here next we have the users by period of stay okay after that we have the traveler type so we put it in here like that then we have top 10 hotels by total rooms we put it here okay All right, so we have here total rooms. Next, we are going to put the uh, dashboard. So we format and the shading, it will be in green. Okay. After that, we are going to import the logo of Chirip Advisor. So it must be vector okay so that we keep the same background that we have here in our dashboard so okay fit image center image all right so i'm going to use this like that i'm going to decrease this one a little bit like this Free Wi Fi, okay. Is this one very nice? So, here we have total users by continent, okay. And we are going to drag and drop total hotels. We put it in here, we hide the title, okay. Next, we have average number of rooms, high title, and same thing, I'm going to put it in here, right? Average score, we hide the title and put it in here. Then we have users average reviews, high title, and put this put it in the center like that okay Next, we are going to select floating blank. Okay, and we are going to drag and drop it in here like that. It will be just in the bottom of the logo. We select layout, and it will be background is in black okay so here we have we're going to select another one so blank it will be like that okay put it in here
same thing layout background in black so copy dashboard item put another one in here and another one in here okay so normally we get we have all the worksheets we have selected everything and once you have selected all your worksheets and you select you can adjust the uh, dimensions as you like okay select dashboard export and here we have our final dashboard In this video, I'm going to create the IBM HR Analytics dashboard that you can see here in the following image. And to download the file that we are going to use in this project, you can find the link in the description. So let's get started. So first, we are going to import the CSV file. As you can see here, we have 35 fields or columns and 1470 rows. In this dashboard and in this project, we are not going to use all the fields. But you are free to choose any fields that you find interesting for your analysis. For example, we have the age, the attrition, the business travel, daily rate, department, employee count, environment satisfaction, gender, hourly rate. We have, for example, job satisfaction, monthly income, etc. So we are going to create our first sheet, which will represent the total employees. So we call it total employees. And to do that, we are going to create a calculated field, right? We call it total employees. And we are going to create a string using the same name. All right, apply, OK. And we drag and drop total employees in the text. We are going to hide the title. We increase the width and the height of the worksheet so just and we drag and drop employee count employee count into the text okay so as we can see here we have 1470 employees we are going to format that format bold black 10 and it will be in the middle okay so here we have our first sheet which represent total employees the second one it will be the average age okay so we write average age same thing we create calculated field we call it average age and we create string call it average age apply okay i'm going to hide the title drag and drop in here so we increase the width and the height and we take the age into the text we write average okay same thing we are going to format that font bold 10 and it will be in the middle okay next we have average year at company so average years at company same thing we create new calculated field new string apply okay we hide the title we drag and drop to the text we increase the width and the height and we take here years at company we put the average we're going to format our worksheet font we put bold black and 10 and we are going to put it in the middle okay the fourth one is average total working years okay 
same thing we are going to create calculated field we call it average working years and we create our string apply ok drag and drop we are going to hide the title and we take here total working years And we select the average okay so we are going to format that alignment it will be in the middle and black ball 10 okay so here we have our four text worksheets okay next we are going to create a pie chart that represents gender in the company so we select new worksheet we drag and drop gender into columns for example because as you can see here in order to create a pie chart we need one or more dimensions one or two measures okay so we take the gender into the columns and we take the employee count into the rows okay we select the pie chart entire view and for the colors we are going to change it into blue so we select blue assign palette apply okay we're going to hide the card hide the card we press control key and we take gender into text same thing we take the sum okay and we can create quick table calculation percent of total as you can see here we have 60 percent male and 30 and 40 percent female okay the title is going to be gender in the company we're going to format that so put it in the middle in black bold and 12 apply okay we're going to format title border and we add the border we're going to format the worksheet so we select bold 10 black and we add the border okay so this is the pie chart for the gender in the company next we are going to create a table that contains the average age by department and job role okay so write new worksheet average age by department and job role right we are going to select the department job role entire view and we take the age we put it in text it will be in average okay we can also add gender for example into columns so hide field labels height field labels and we are going to select the table okay entire view and we are going to swap all right height cart i want to increase the width put it in the middle black bold and 12 apply okay we add the border okay in black it will be in black format so the font it will be bold black 10 okay and alignment it will be in the middle same thing for the header right we're going to add the border okay it will be in black 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 same thing for row divider and column divider okay so here we have the average age by department and job role and we can also sort that okay so as you can see here for example for managers in human resources we have for female the age average age is like 50 years 
old and for male is like 47.71 okay next we are going to create another dashboard which is gender and job role okay so we select here gender and job role right so we take the job role and we put it in the rows gender we put it in the columns and the employee count to put it in text entire view we hide the field labels hide field labels we select the table we swap okay same thing we select entire view and we are going to sort that we just increase the width for example like that I'm going to format the title it will be in 12 apply ok we add the border and we are going to format our worksheet so it will be bold 10 in black and alignment it will be in the middle and center same thing for the header and also for the line so for the cell put everything in black same thing for row divider and column divider okay so here we have the different values for each job role classified by female or male so classified by gender okay and we are going to hide our card next we are going to create a tree map that will represent gender and marital status okay so we create new worksheet we take gender and put it in rows we take marital status and put it in columns and the employee count we put it in text we select a tree map and as you can see here we have different rectangles that represent each category we can press ctrl key and add the sum into text or label okay and we have male married male single male divorce female married female single and female divorced right we are going to hide the card and we add our title so gender and marital status okay we are going to select entire view format title we add our border in black we put it in the middle black bold and 12 apply okay we do the same thing for the tree map so we write format we add font will be bold black and 10 okay and we are going to add our border okay so this tree map represents gender and the marital status for the different employees next we are going to create worksheet that represents the total employees by education field so we write total employees by education field and we take the education field we put it in the rows we take the employee count we put it in text and we select our table tire view so we put it like that we hide the field and we sort that okay so we have life sciences camps in the first position then medical marketing etc so we hide our cart and we are going to format our worksheet so the title we put it in the middle bold 12 and in black apply okay we add our border and we do the same thing for the worksheet so format font it 
will be bold 10 in black it will be in the center same thing for the header and we add our border right same thing for row divider and column divider okay so this worksheet represents the total employees by education field okay next we are going to create new worksheet that represents the total employees by job role and department to do that we are going to select or click on new worksheet so we select department we select the job role and we select the employee count in text okay so select our highlight table entire view okay so i'm going to sort that we are going to hide field labels for rows change the width and we sort that okay we are going to add our title we said total employees by department so department and job role right and we are going to hide out the card right and we format our title so we put it in the middle black bold and 12 apply okay we add the border right so it will be in black and we are going to format our worksheet so it will be format it will be black 10 and bold right it will be in the center center and we add our borders right same thing for the row divider and the column divider okay so this worksheet represent total employees by department and job role okay next we are going also to create another worksheet that represents the average monthly income by department and job role okay so i'm going to duplicate that and we call it average monthly income right average monthly income right we are going to remove that remove that and we select the monthly income okay put it in the label and we put it as the average right so select our table tire view and we can select the pie chart for example so same thing we select entire view and we can add here to the label so to format that we are going to change the alignment so it will be automatic okay we can increase the width same thing in here and we can remove the title like that okay so we have average monthly income by department and job role and we are going to sort that okay after that we can create another worksheet which is a line chart that represents the total companies worked for okay so to do that we are going to select the total companies worked for okay which is number companies worked okay so we put that in the columns and we convert it to dimension okay and we add the count of gender for each for each number okay so write count and we drag and drop the gender into the colors okay so as you can see here we have press control and we put gender in the labels okay as you can see here for example the total employees 
that worked for only one company is 204 for female and 317 for male. Same thing for two companies and three companies, etc. Okay, so we can remove or hide the cart, we can remove the title. Okay. And we can add the title in here. So we have number companies worked for. Okay, so number companies worked for. Okay, we can edit. So put it in the middle in bold and 12 in black. Apply. Okay, we can remove the title. Okay. And we can format our worksheet. So first add the border in here. It's in black. And we can add our font, which will be bold in black. So we we'll let it in 9. We can add our border in here. Same thing for the row and column divider. Okay, so we have here the number comp number of companies worked for. Okay, as I said, for example, for only one company, we have two hundred and four females and three hundred and seventeen for male. Okay, now I'm going to create our dashboard. So we click on New Dashboard. We're going to define the size. So here it will be. 1900 and here it will be 13 okay and we start dragging and dropping our worksheets okay so we start by the average age by department and job role then we will use gender in the company after that we will have gender and job role okay okay next we have the tree map okay so we have here the gender and marital status okay Next, we'll have total employees by education. So, total employees by education field. Okay. Next, it's the average monthly income by department and job role. So, I'm going to adjust that. Next, we have total employees by department and job role. So I'm going to put it here. Okay, so I'm going to readjust that like that. Okay, so I'm going to change it like this. Okay. All right. I'm going to decrease this one a little bit. All right. Okay. Then we are going to increase this one. This one also we are going to decrease it like that. Change it here. Change here. 
ok same thing we can decrease this one All right, like that. This one also like that. And here also we'll add the uh, total companies worked for, okay, which is in here. Total companies worked for, so we'll put it here, right? Okay. So, okay, so here we have total employees by department and job role, total employees by education field, and now we are going to add the text worksheets, okay, so we have total employees, I'm going to put it in here, we hide the title, we have average age, same thing, we hide the title, average years, hide title, and average total working years, same thing, we hide the title, all right? Okay, so we're going to decrease this one. Okay, we're going to decrease the width. Like that. Okay. All right. Okay. And now we are going to add an image. Okay. We have the logo of IBM. So IBM logo. Okay. And I will take it and put it in here. So I will take it and put it in here, okay? Then we have the age. We can put the age here and we change the IBM. Okay, so fit image, center image, then we are going to readjust that like that. Okay, okay, and like that. Going to decrease this one to here. Okay, very nice. So here we have total employees. Same thing, we have the average age. And if we decrease this one, like that. Okay, we'll just put it in the middle. All right, same thing. I have created uh, another image using the uh, using PowerPoint. So I'm going. I'm just going to add it as floating. So I choose floating image. So I created this image one, and 
I will just put it in here okay so I will decrease it a little bit and put it in the middle okay okay so I'm going to export this dashboard as export image and we get this following dashboard okay so here we have our IBM HR analytics dashboard and as you can see here for example you can adjust it for the titles and the different rectangles and the different images In this video, we are going to create the following interactive dashboard, which is about the different Airbnb guests and hosts in New York City. As you can see here, we have different filters, like for example, neighborhood group, where we have five groups. We have also the room type. We have three different types. And we can also use the legends within the two charts to get more insights. For example, if we select here all, neighborhood group select all and if we click on the different fields within the legends we get our insights from the different charts okay as you can see here, for example for brooklyn manhattan queens etc same thing for the room type if we click on the first one we get our data the second one and the third one the link to download the data set is available in the description but first let's talk about airbnb if we search in Google about Airbnb, we get that it is an online marketplace that connects people who want to rent out their homes with people who are looking for accommodations in specific locals. So Airbnb is not just about renting, but it is about connecting people from different parts of the world. It is a community that is built for belonging, where hosts offer unique stays and experiences that make it possible for guests to connect with communities in a more authentic way. So if we click on About Us, we get the following. So it is founded in 2007 and as you can see here for the facts we have 6.6 .6 million active listings worldwide 100,000 cities and towns with active Airbnb listings plus 220 countries and regions with Airbnb listings 1.4 billion Airbnb guests arrivals all time and plus 4 million hosts on Airbnb as you can see here billions are earned by hosts and on average, nearly $40,000 earned by the typical US host in 2021. Now let's explore our data set in Excel. As you can see here, first we have the ID, then we have the name. So each name has the ID and the name is about the description or the title of the home or the room. For example, we have clean and quiet apartment home by the park, the village of Harlem, New York, cause the entire floor of brownstone etc then we have the host id with the host name we have the neighborhood group as we have said we have five different groups and we have the name of each neighborhood then we have the latitude and longitude of the different neighborhoods the room type as we have said we have three different types so we have the private room entire home apartment and shared room right we have the price in us dollars the minimum nights the number of reviews, the date of the last review, we have the reviews per month, and we have calculated host listings count, and we have the availability in the year. So now let's get started. First, we are going to create a map about the average price in the neighborhoods by room type. So we click on new worksheet, and we double click on latitude, longitude, right? And we have said in each neighborhood so we drag and drop neighborhood into detail we drag and drop the price into the color and we select average we drag and drop neighborhood group into the label and we have set for each room type so we drag and drop room type into the filter and for example we select the first one apply okay show filter and we select single value list we can select all and for the title we have set 
the average price in the neighborhoods, right? Neighborhoods and room type. We can insert our room type. So we have here room type and we can put it in it like for example. So we select all, put it then in the middle, bolt, apply. Okay. For the map, we select the background as dark. And here we select density, right? We can decrease its size. And we change its color. We are going to select density multicolor light with an intensity of 80%. Okay, so like that we get our map, we can change the size. And like that we get our map. Next we are going to create a stacked bar chart for the total bookings by month and neighborhood group and also room type. So we select new worksheet. We drag and drop last review into column. And we select month, right? So here we select select month and we have set the total bookings so we drag and drop name into rows and we select count we can put it here in bar select the entire view and drag and drop the neighborhood group into the color we have set by room type so we drag and drop room type into filter and for example we select first one apply OK so show filter and we can select single value list select all and for the color we can change it into for example summer assign apply okay so like that we get the total bookings by month and neighborhood group for room type we can insert the room type, right? I put it same thing. It like okay. We select bold and we select ten. Apply. Okay. What we are going to do is that we press Control key and we duplicate the count of name. So we go to the second one. We remove neighborhood group from color. We select line, and for its color it will be black decrease its size so press control key drag and drop name into label and we can select dual axis right so like that we get the total bookings by month and neighborhood group for different room types okay so we'll just change the title in here so we have neighborhood right apply okay Next, we are going to create a donut chart for the total neighborhoods in each neighborhood group. So we click on New Worksheet and we have set donut chart. So we drag and drop neighborhood group into color and we select pie. We can increase its width and its height, right? We have set neighborhood. So we drag and drop neighborhood into the size and we select count. We press control key and drag and drop neighborhood group into label and same thing for the count here we are going to select percent of total okay and we are going to double click on rows right zero okay we press control key and we duplicate the value we go to the second one we remove everything And we decrease its size a little bit, its color into white, and we select dual axis. Entire view. So like that, we get the different percentages of the total neighborhoods by neighborhood group. So we can write here, total neighborhoods, right? By neighborhood group. put in the middle bolt and we'll put it uh, 10 apply okay next we are going to see the top 10 hosts by total reviews 
So click on create the worksheet and we select a host name, neighborhood group, neighborhood, and we can add the average price. So we select here the average, right? Measure average. We convert it into discrete. Okay. Next, we drag and drop the number of reviews into the columns. We drag and drop the host ID into detail. And we are going to filter that. So filter. We select the top 10 by number of reviews. Apply. OK. We can press Ctrl key and drag the sum into the label. We can change its color into red. OK. And we can select the entire view. So like that we get the top 10 hosts by total reviews. Put it in the middle. Bold and put it in 10. Apply. OK. We can increase its width. OK. So we just change the title in here. Top 10 hosts. Apply. OK. Next, we are going to create a horizontal stacked bar chart, which represents the total bookings by room type and neighborhood group. So click on create new worksheet. We drag and drop neighborhood group into the rows. The name into the columns. And we select count. We sort that. And we drag and drop the room type into color. So we can change the color into, for example, winter. Apply OK. Select the entire view. Height field, right? And we can change the title. So total bookings by neighborhood group and room type. Bold and we'll put it in 10. Apply. OK. Next, we are going to create the total reviews by year. So we click on create new worksheet and we drag and drop last review, so which is our date into the columns. I'm going to select year. We drag and drop the number of reviews into the rows. We select bar. We select entire view. We can change its color, right? And we can also press control key and drag and drop the sub into the label. We can remove the null values, so exclude. And like that, we get our bar chart. So we'll add the title, which is total reviews by year, right? So middle bold 10, apply OK. Next, we are going to create a tree map for the average price by neighborhood group and room type. So click on New Worksheet. We have said neighborhood group. And we have said the average price. So we select average. Room type, we put it in the filter, right? Apply OK. Show filter. And we are going to select single value list. And here we can change it into a tree map, right? We can change its color into red. Apply OK. We can add the average price into the label. We can select, for example, here all. OK. And for the text, we can format numbers currency standard right and we can change its title so we have set the average price 
by neighborhood group room type I'm going to insert the room type right put it same thing in it like okay then apply okay if we change the room type so we have the price which will be changed and we select all next we are going to create a horizontal bar chart for the average price in each neighborhood by neighborhood group so click on new worksheet neighborhood into the rows neighborhood group into the filters for example select one apply ok and show filter and we have set the average price so we drag and drop average price into the columns we select the average we sort and here we can select single value list for example if we select all we have the following and for example if we select Brooklyn Manhattan etc we can press control key drag and drop the average price into the label we can format that so we select currency standard right and we can change its color height field labels for rows and for the title we have average price in the neighborhoods right here we select neighborhood group and we insert our neighborhood group so just like that put it in italics right and the rest we put it in bold we select all it will be 10 in the middle apply ok now if we select all we have the neighborhood group which is changing right Next, we are going to create a highlight table for the average reviews per month by room type and neighborhood group. A worksheet. So, average reviews per month by room type and neighborhood group. So drag and drop neighborhood group into the columns and the room type into the rows and here we have the reviews per month so we put it in text and we select the average now we select the highlight table select the entire view height field height field and for the color we can change it into red apply ok so like that we get our highlight table for the average reviews per month by room type and neighborhood group next we are going to create four text worksheets and to do that first we have to create four different calculated fields the first one is total hosts so write total hosts So we create a string total hosts, apply OK. Next one, create calculated field. So total neighborhoods in New York City, right? Same thing, we create a string, apply OK. Next one is the average. So average reviews per month same thing create a string and the fourth one is the total reviews so write total reviews apply ok so here we select new worksheet we hide title we set total hosts 
we increase the width right and we drag and drop the host ID into the text we select count the snake right so here we have the total hosts next one we have the total neighborhoods in New York City same thing to text hide title and we drag and drop neighborhood into text we select same thing count distinct and here we have 221 neighborhoods right next one is the average reviews per month same thing we hide title and we drag and drop reviews per month into text and we select the average and the last one is total reviews so we hide the title drag and drop total reviews into text we increase the width right and we drag and drop number of reviews into text here we have 1,138,005 reviews now we will format our worksheets so we start from the map we click on format shading and we select gray same thing for the title select all white apply ok format title and we add the border right next we have the total bookings by month and neighborhood group same thing format shading we choose gray we remove the grid lines so row grid lines none same thing for the font we select white bold 8 we remove count of name we format so format dates we use abbreviation okay and for the border we add the border so we put everything in white white okay same thing for row divider and column divider okay same thing for the title so we put it in white apply okay and we add our border okay and last review height field labels for columns same thing for the axis we remove count of name okay next we have the donut chart so we do the same thing for the title we select everything in white apply okay the border in white also for format shading so worksheet we put this color and same thing for the this one okay the second chart I'm going to remove the title tick marks none same thing for the other axis so title we remove tick marks none and here we remove the zero line okay for the border colon divider we put it to none and for the sheet we select header in white okay for the font same thing it will be white bold right we remove the legend so hide card next we have the top 10 hosts by total reviews same thing for the shading okay for the font we put it bold 8 right for the title same thing so you put everything in white apply okay and for my title we add the border in white for the uh, lines we remove the grid lines okay for the columns okay great and for the shading we have said that for row banding we select here black 
okay and for the header same thing okay and for the level it will be all the row all right so like that we get our rows same thing for the borders we are going to put everything in white white and white same thing here white and also here we have white we'll remove the title so number of reviews we omit that and we get our worksheet with the new formatting right we can also for the alignment we put everything in the center right same thing for the header and here for the average price we can select format and for number we select number custom and we select two decimal places okay next we have the horizontal stacked bar chart same thing we select format shading okay so the worksheet it will be in gray for the font white 8 bold right we remove grid lines for the columns none here we remove the title same thing for the title we double click we put it in white apply ok we add the border ok in white and same thing for the worksheet we are going to add the border so for sheet we select everything in white okay so like that we get our worksheet with the new colors next we have the other bar chart so first we hide field labels right we format the title so we put it in white apply ok we add the border format shading we put it in gray right for the rows we remove grid lines same thing for the title we remove the title and for the font we select everything in bold white and eight and same thing we add the border we put everything in white so white pane white the header we put it in white row divider in white and same thing column divider we put it in white next we have the tree map so same thing shading it will be in gray right and for the font we put it in white bold 8 for the title same thing we put it in white apply ok and for the format we add our border in white okay for the view we select the entire view next we have the horizontal bar chart so same thing for the title we can put it in white okay white apply okay for the border also it will be white for the worksheet shading it will be in gray right the font same thing bold white 8 we remove the title of the axis okay and we add the borders right i put everything in white Okay, same thing for row divider and same thing for the column divider we remove the grid lines for the columns and like that we get our horizontal bar chart with new colors next we have the highlight table same thing shading we put the sheet in gray right for the font it will be bold white 8 for the borders we put everything in white same thing for row divider and column divider for the alignment we put everything in the center and same thing center okay the title we put also the title in white apply okay and we add the border for the title Put it in white just for the price in the previous table okay this one 
uh, so we're going to format that we put it in currency right currency custom okay so we add the currency right now we format the text sheets okay so same thing shading we put it in gray the font it will be bold white and eight or we leave it nine okay and for the alignment it will be in the center same thing so we said the shading will be in gray the alignment to be in the center and worksheet it will be white in bold same thing for the third one we put it in the center and we put it bold white and the last one is the same thing bold white okay so like that we have done with formatting the worksheets now we create our dashboard so we click on new dashboard and here we define our size so for the size it will be 1900 and here it will be 1000 okay dashboard format we put gray so we put the same color and now we drag and drop the sheets so we start by the map then we have the second one which is stacked by chart right we have the donut chart okay then we have the top 10 okay we change it into standard okay that's great same thing here okay we decrease that's great next we have the uh, horizontal stacked by chart same thing we put it here then we have the total reviews okay that's great put this one in here okay All right next we have the tree map so we put it here or for the highlight table we put it here right next here we have the tree map so put it here and for the horizontal by chart we put it here okay so all right so we remove one we keep only one room type same thing here we remove this one remove this one remove this one for the neighborhood we put it here right and we change it into a uh, drop down same thing for the room type we put it here and we change it into drop down okay great this one we turn it into floating and we put it here the room type into floating and we put it inside also the chart we remove this part of the filters so now we have more space and for this one we put it the entire view like that okay that's great we can decrease the size like that all right okay so same thing for this one put this one in here okay and for here we add the logo of the Airbnb right so we double click on image choose so for the logo I want to put it in here like that all 
Okay, that's great. All right. Okay, we'll put it like this. Like that. For the map, we'll increase it. Now I'm going to format this one. Okay, we put it in here. So we don't need the title. And we format legends. So we add the font, it will be white. And the border, it will be white. Same thing. Okay. Do the same thing for the second one. So we don't need we don't need the title, right? And we format. Shading will be in white and same thing the font it will be in white. Now I'm going to format also the filters, so format filter. The, the body it will be white and the border it will be white the alignment it will be in the center and same thing for this one so format center white and here put it in white okay now we select apply to worksheets apply worksheets selected worksheets and here it is uh, it is used only with sheet 8 Whereas for the room type, if we select apply to worksheets, selected worksheets, as you can see here, it is applied in here, in here. Okay, so one, two, right. Okay. As you can see, when we change, it will be changed. Okay. All. So now we need only to add the text, right? So now we add the first one. We hide title, we put it like that. We add the second one, same thing. We hide the title, we add the third one, hide title, and we add the last one, same thing. We hide the title, okay? So, like that. Okay, that's great. Now we can add, so we select floating, blank, double click. And it will be, so layout, background white. Okay, so we decrease dimensions. So copy, pass that three times. And we are going to separate our text, right? All right. So like that, if we select the presentation view, we get our final dashboard. Okay, as you can see here, it is an interactive dashboard and it has all the required charts that will allow us to analyze our data set. So now let's talk about some of the insights that we can get from this dashboard. First of all, in this stacked bar chart, we have the total bookings by month and neighborhood group. And as you can see here, we have 10,000 null values. This means simply that the names selected in here, they do not have a last review date. And last review date is the only date available in the data set. So we can just exclude this value, okay? So we don't have null values. And as you can see here, we have most of the reservations are made in the summer and on June for all neighborhood groups. And in the second position, we have May, then we have January. 
for total reviews by year we can see that most reviews are made in 2019 with more than a million reviews if we use the map and the tree map we can see that manhattan has the highest average price for the rent with a value which is nearly 200 dollars and if we use the same map and the horizontal bar chart we can see that the neighborhood that has the highest average price which is 800 dollars is fort what's worth and it is located in here so we have the group staten island all right and also if we use the donut chart we can observe that most neighborhoods are shared between manhattan and brooklyn so we have manhattan with value of 44.3 percent and brooklyn with 41.12 percent same thing in here for total bookings by neighborhood group and room type we can see that manhattan brooklyn and queens have shared room okay whereas the two other groups they do not have and the same thing for the entire home and apartment we can see that manhattan camps in the first position then brooklyn and queens so these are some insights that we can get from this dashboard In this video, we'll create the following healthcare interactive dashboard, which is about heart failure. We are going to visualize the different features and get the values which may cause heart attacks for individuals. We will start by visualizing the categorical variables using donut charts, then continuous variables using histograms. As you can see here, we'll get two different categories, survived or died. So died in red color and survived in green color. We'll also use sex as filter, for example, for female, get the following, for male, get the following, so we select all. We'll also use box plot and scatter plot for relationship between variables. And finally, we'll create the KPIs. As you can see here, we have total individuals, total deaths, total males, total females, and average age. But first, let's talk about heart failure. So by definition, heart failure is a condition that develops when your heart doesn't pump enough blood for your body needs. The term does not mean that your heart has stopped. However, it is a serious condition that needs medical care. For some statistics, we have more than 6 million adults in the United States have heart failure. And if we click on causes and risk factors, we can see the different causes of heart failure. As you can see here, it is often caused by other medical conditions that damage or overwork your heart. And some examples are given in here. For example, we have high blood pressure and other conditions like obesity and diabetes. They also cause heart failure. For more details, you can find this link in the description if you want to learn more about heart failure. So now let's explore our data set in Excel. As you can see here, we have a data set that contains 12 features and one target. The target is death event, which is binary, which can be zero or one. So zero for survival and one for death. We have also five categorical variables. So we have anemia, we have diabetes, we have high blood pressure, we have sex and we have smoking. So same thing, for example, for zero, we have no smoker. For one, it's smoker. Sex for one, it is male, zero, it is female. One, it is, so we have high blood pressure, zero, it means negative, etc. We are going to use aliases in Tableau in order to place these values. Then we have seven continuous variables. So we have the age, we have creatinine phosphokinase, ejection fraction, platelets, serum creatinine, serum sodium, and we have time. All right. So as you can see, we have 12 features and we have one target variable. So now let's start working with Tableau. As you can see, when we import our data set, by default, all the values are selected as measures. What we are going to do is that we are going to convert our categorical variables into dimensions. So we start by death event. We click on death event, convert to dimension. Same thing for high blood pressure, convert to dimension. Sex, convert to dimension. Smoking, convert to dimension. And same thing for diabetes. Then we are going to right click on that event and we select aliases. So we set for zero, it means survived. 
and for one it is tight okay so for diabetes same thing right click aliases so it is negative right and it is positive okay high blood pressure we do the same thing and positive okay so for sex we have said zero is for female and one is for male okay smoking we have same thing aliases so zero we have no smoker and for one we have smoker and the last one is anemia right so convert to dimension and we are going to select aliases so we have negative and we have positive okay now we create our first donut chart so we drag and drop this event into color and we start by anemia so we drag and drop anemia into detail so we convert this one into pie and we convert anemia into color we increase the width and the height of the chart right same thing we press ctrl key and we drag and drop anemia into the angle we select count measure count and same thing we press ctrl key we drag and drop anemia into label death event into label and the count into the label for the count we are going to select quick table calculation so percent of total and for the color we are going to select summer assign apply okay now we double click on rows we write zero okay press ctrl key and duplicate the value we we'll go to the second chart we remove everything so we decrease its size same thing for the first one so that we will not have issues when creating the dashboard okay and we select dual axis entire view we can also decrease a little bit like that okay and for the color we are going to select black right and we are going to format this sheet because we are going to duplicate it four times okay so to do that we start by the axis so we remove the title we remove the tick marks same thing for the second axis we remove the title and we remove the tick marks all right click on the sheet format and we are going to remove the zero line all right for shading we are going to select black and for the border so i'm going to remove the column divider and we are going to add the header in white all right same thing for the font so we select bold white in eight and same thing for the title so i'm going to select anemia right survival stars so you put it in the middle white bold and we select 11 apply okay format title and we're going to select the border all right so like that we get our first donut chart that we are going to duplicate four times so you right click on sheet one duplicate and we go to the first chart right this one we remove everything about anemia so this one this one this one and this one and we do the same thing so we have diabetes into detail we select color and we press ctrl key diabetes into angle we select count so press ctrl key diabetes into label and count into label so we put diabetes before death event and we are going to select the percent of total for the color we are going to change it into summer sign apply okay i'm going to change the title so write diabetes apply okay 
we hide the cart and like that we get our donut chart for diabetes we do the same thing for high blood pressure so we duplicate this sheet same thing we remove everything related to diabetes do I can drop high blood pressure into detail change it into color high blood pressure into angle and we select measure count so press control key high blood pressure into label and the count into label we put high blood pressure before this and we select percent of total the color it's going to be summer assign apply okay here we are going to change it into high blood pressure apply okay we duplicate one more time duplicate so we remove everything related to high blood pressure we drag and drop sex into detail we convert it into color press control key sex into the angle and you select count all right so press control key sex into label count into label and we put sex before that event and we select percent of total we select the color summer assign apply okay and we change the title so here we have sex survival status right apply okay and the last one is going to be smoking so duplicate i have said smoking right apply okay so I remove everything about six and we drag and drop smoking into detail convert it into color press control key into angle you select count press control key smoking into label same thing for the count smoking before that event and we select percent of total same thing for the color we choose summer assign apply okay so like that you get the five donut charts for the different categorical variables now we are going to create the highest grams for the continuous variables so you click on new worksheet and double click on age you click on show me and you click on histogram we drag and drop death event into the color and we are going to select red for death and green for survival so edit color green and for died we select red apply okay now we are going to format this sheet because the same thing we are going to duplicate it seven times for all the continuous variables we start from this axis we remove count of age so we remove bin okay right click on worksheet format shading it's going to be black and grid lines none for the font same thing bold white eight and for the borders for the pane we select white and for the header we select white same thing for the title i'm going to write age survival status right i put it in the middle bold 11 and white apply okay we add the border for the title so like that we get our first histogram for age and same thing for the remaining we are going to just duplicate this one in order to get our results so right click on sheet 6 duplicate and same thing we remove death event we remove count of age and age bin right you double click on creatinine phosphokinase show me histogram and drag and drop death event into color i'm going to remove the title same thing for bin 
we copy this and we change our title so for age change it like that apply ok and like that we get the second histogram duplicate remove that event so remove both the rows and the columns double click on injection fraction histogram so I can drop that event into color and we do the same thing so remove the title in here double click we remove pin we copy this one and we change our title apply ok so this one we, we hide the card and for the second also we hide the card we let only the legend for the first one okay so that when we create our dashboard we're going to select only one legend same thing duplicate this one so we remove this remove same thing for that event but let's double click show me histogram and drag and drop that event into color we remove this one we remove pin press ctrl key and we are going to change our title put it in the middle apply ok duplicate this one so we remove that event we move the count remove the pins so double click on serum creatinine show me histogram death event into color right we remove the title of this one we are going to remove pin and we copy this one to change our title double click on the title but let's put it in the middle apply ok so duplicate this one duplicate we remove we remove the count, we remove the count, serum sodium, right? Histogram and drag and drop this event into color. So remove this title. We remove bin. We copy and we pass this one in here, right? apply ok and the last one is time so duplicate remove remove and remove double click on time so we have histogram death event into color and we are going to remove the title of this axis and same thing in here we remove pin we copy and paste to change the title okay put it in the middle apply okay so like that we get the seven histograms for the seven continuous variables now we are going to create a scatter plot for age time and survival status so to do that we duplicate this one so duplicate and i think we just change the title here so for the space apply ok I think same thing here just double click on the title remove this space apply ok same thing for this one so remove the space apply ok apply ok alright now we have said age time and survival status so i'm going to change it to age time survival status apply ok so we remove that event we remove the count we remove the count so drag and drop time into the rows age into the columns and we convert both of them into dimension so click on age convert to dimension and same thing we click on sum of time convert it into dimension we drag and drop that event into color and we click on shape we change it into the field circle so like that we get our scatter plot for age and time on the survival status 
Now same thing, we are going to create another relationship chart, which is box plot to show the relationship between age, sex, and survival status. So we are going to duplicate this one. We set age, sex, and survival status, right? Apply, okay. So we remove that event, we remove the time, and we remove the age. So draw can drop age into the rows, sex into columns, and that event into columns. We select the average and we convert it into box plot. So as you can see here, sex is automatically set into detail. So Java can drop sex into the columns, right? And we click on analysis. We deselect aggregate measures. We select the entire view. And like that, we get our box plot. So we can hide field labels for columns. Like that, we get the age, sex, on the survival status, right? Now we can also right click on the axis, edit reference line, and you can change it into blue. Okay. So like that, we get our box plot. We can also decrease the size of the circles. Now we are going to create our text sheets. Click on New Worksheet, and we are going to create five calculated fields, right? So the first one is total individuals, right? Same thing, we copy this one, and we create our string. Apply, okay. Next one is total deaths, right? Same thing, copy this one. Paste, apply, OK. Next, we have total males, right? Copy and create our string. Then we have so total females. Same thing in here, total females. Apply, OK. Then we have the last one, which is average age. Apply, OK. So create the first one, which is total individuals. We drag and drop total individuals into text. So we hide the title. We drag and drop also this event into text. And we select count. So we increase its width. And like that, we get the total individuals. So we have 299. So I'm going to format that. Shading is going to be in black. And it's going to be bold in 11. OK. So we duplicate the sheet. We remove the label. We drag and drop total deaths into the text. And same thing, death event into text. We select count and we drag and drop death event into filter and we select tight. Apply, okay. So we have 96 total deaths. Same thing for the first one format alignment, we put it in the center. Same thing for this one, we put it in the center and we duplicate this one. So duplicate, so we remove everything, remove, remove. Total males. So we select this into text and same thing for sex. We select count. We also select sex as male. Apply. Okay. So we have 194 males, right? Duplicate this one. We select total females into text. Okay. And for the filter, we edit filter into female. Apply. OK. So we have total females 105. And finally, we have the average age. So we remove everything. We drag and drop average age into text. And age also into text. And we select the average. So like that, we have our KPIs. Now create our dashboard. So click on the dashboard. For the size, you can select 1900 
and for the height we have 1050 and we drag and drop our worksheets okay so we have the first one the second one third one okay okay so like that we have all the donut charts okay that's great So remove the legend right okay and we drag and drop the text sheets right so we started from sheet 15 so we put it in here and for dashboard format we put everything in black so high title and I'm going to put it like that okay so we add another one okay same thing high title high title high title and high title right so put it like that okay perfect now we can just put them in the middle like this same thing for this one same thing for this one and also this one okay now we drag and drop the histograms okay so we start from the first one then we have this one okay okay and like that so we decrease the size for the donut charts right okay all right like that like that okay perfect this one we are going to select it as floating right and we put it in the middle in here we remove this one and we add the remaining okay so here we have the other one this one this one and this one right so the box plot we can put it in here so i'm going to drag and drop this one like like that okay perfect so this one here box plots okay perfect can put this So as we have said we're going to put that event as floating and we set it in here right so a high title and we're going to format our legend so format legends font it is white and the border is going to be in white okay same thing here we're going to add the filter so filters sex 
and we select it as floating so select floating and we remove this section so same thing I'm going to put it in here we select single value drop down and we're going to format that border in white apply ok we can decrease its width and you select apply to worksheets so apply to worksheets selected worksheets so we're going to select one all the worksheets except the text worksheets okay okay so we select all and we get our dashboard right now i'm going to add the separator for the kpis so select dashboard floating double click on blank layout background in white and you select it as separated line okay so copy and paste that three times put one in here put another one in here right like that and also like that okay perfect so if we select the presentation view we get our final so we get our final dashboard as you can see here for example if we select diet we get the red color if we select survived same thing we get green color and also if we change sex into female we get our results same thing for male we get our results all in this video we'll create the following interactive dashboard using the earthquake data set that contains all the recorded earthquakes with a magnitude of six or higher from 1900 to 2030 the link to download the data set is available in the description and as you will see we'll create the following two parameters which are start date and end date that will allow us to zoom in and zoom out for better analysis we can do the same thing for end date we'll create the following kpis for example total earthquakes we have the average gap the average depth We'll create histograms, we'll create also stacked bar charts, map, area charts, scatter plots for relationship between depth and magnitude, etc. But first, let's explore our data set in Excel. As you can see here, the first column is time, so the timestamp, which gives us the date and the time. Then we have the date, so we have the different days when the earthquakes happened. We have the time, then we have the latitude, the longitude, which will allow us to create our map for different places we have the depth we have the magnitude the magnitude type we have the nst so to learn more about these parameters you can check out the following link that you can find in the description and here we have the different parameters for example the nst represents the number of seismic stations with reported p and s arrival times for the earthquake we have d min, which is the horizontal distance from the epicenter to the nearest station in kilometers. We have RMS, which is the root mean square travel time residual in seconds using all weights. Same thing, we have seen the depth, which is in kilometers. We have the magnitude, then we have the magnitude type. So earthquakes, depending on the magnitude, will be classified in different types. As you can see here, when 6.3, we have MWP, 6.7, we have WW 6.8 we have MW etc then we said the gap the mean RMS and also we have net 
We have also the ID of each earthquake. We have the updated time. We have the place. So we are going to create our map using the place latitude and longitude. And finally, as you can see here, the last column represents the type. We have only earthquakes. So all the rows are earthquake. Okay. And as you can see here, the column that we have in here, it is an empty column. So we can just remove the column or leave it as it is because we are not going to use it. So now let's import our data set in Tableau and start working on the dashboard. As you can see here, when we import our data set, we have 18 fields. So we have 18 columns and more than 8,000 rows. For this column, it has only null values. So we can click on the down icon in here and select hide column. All right. And we are going to start by creating our parameters. So you click on sheet one. You click on the down icon in here, create parameter, and we call it start date. So we start by start date. Date type, it will be date, range, add values from date. And as you can see here, it automatically selects the minimum and the maximum. So you click on OK. We create another parameter. We call it end date. Same thing, date type, it will be a date, range, and add value from date. Same thing, automatically it will select the minimum and the maximum. Okay. Now we are going to create a calculated field that we are going to name study period. So we say that if date is greater or equal to start date and the date is less or equal than the end date, then give me one, else zero, and apply, okay, we convert it into a dimension, and now we are going to create seven other calculated fields for our text sheets, so same thing, click on down icon, create calculated field, the first one is total earthquakes. Same thing, we create our shrink, apply, okay. Next, we have average dimming, right? Same thing, we copy and paste, apply, okay. Next, we have average depth. Next, average gap, apply, okay. Next, we have average NST, apply, okay. We have also average RMS, right? Apply OK. And finally, we have max gap. Max gap. Apply OK. So, like that, we have created seven calculated fields for the seven KPIs. OK, so we start by total earthquakes. So, we drag and drop total earthquakes into text. We increase the width like that. And we drag and drop the ID into text. We click on the down icon in here and we select measure count. So like that we have total earthquakes. And now I'm going to format this sheet because we are going to duplicate it six times. First thing we remove or we hide the title. We click on format, shading and we select black. For the font it will be bold white in 10. For the alignment, it will be in the center. And now we are going to duplicate it six times. So the first time, duplicate, we have average dimming, right? So average dimming text. And we have here dimming into same thing text. And we select the average. Duplicate, 
average gap same thing gap and we select the average duplicate so we have average NST and here NST same thing we select the average duplicate average depth and same thing we have here the depths as an average duplicate we remove everything average RMS and we drag and drop RMS into text we select the average and finally we have the max gap so duplicate we remove everything from the label we have max gap and we drag and drop gap into the text we select measure the maximum value so like that we have all the text sheets so now we are going to create our area chart which represents total earthquakes by year and type so you click on new worksheet we name it total earthquakes right by year and type and we drag and drop date into the columns we convert it into continuous same thing we drag and drop id into rows and we select the count so measure count we click on automatic and we select area chart right so we drag and drop magnitude type into the color and like that we get the total earthquakes by year and also by type so drag and drop the study period into the filters we select one apply ok we click on start parameter show parameter same thing for the end date and we can select the dates right now we can format our worksheet so first we are going to remove this title same thing for this axis right click format we select shading as black so we remove the grid lines in the rows and for the font it will be bold white and eight and we are going to add our borders so add everything in white we do the same thing for the title so put it in the middle bold and white 11 apply ok right click format title and we select the border as white we can also add a reference line so right click on the axis add reference line and here we select the average the label it will be the value and a line it will be in white okay you right click on the value select format and for the numbers you select number custom with two decimal places so like that we have our area chart with the parameters and also with the reference line next we are going to create total earthquake by month and type which will be a stacked bar chart so we are going to duplicate this one remove reference line for the year we convert it into month and we click on show me we select stacked bars on standard we select the entire view and we right click on the axis format for the dates we are going to select abbreviation we can add the count into the label same thing for magnitude type into the label and we can format the label so click on label the font it will be in black so we remove this one and you right click on date and select height field labels for columns 
So we double click on this title and we remove to, we change year into month. So like that, we get our stacked bar chart, which represents total earthquakes by month and type. Next, we are going to create magnitude histogram. So we select new worksheet. You write magnitude histogram, right? And we double click on magnitude. So we have here magnitude, double click. You go to show me, select histogram. So the null value, we have one null value, click on it and select filter data. So here we see the bins of the magnitude. So you right click on it, edit, and here size of the bins, we select 0 0.25. Okay. So like that, we have from 6 to 6.25, then the magnitude from 6.25 to 6.5, etc. We can also drag and drop the quantity into the colors. So press control key and drag and drop into the color. We can edit the color. So edit colors and we select orange gold. Apply. Okay. Now I'm going to modify our worksheet. So double click on the axis. Write magnitude, right? Double click on this axis, we remove the title. We right click on the sheet format, so the shading it will be black. We remove grid lines, none, same thing for zero lines, none. And for the font, it will be white bold in eight. We add our borders, right? So select everything in white. Okay, like that. And we do the same thing for the title. Put in the middle, white, bold, and 11. Apply, okay. Right click, format title, and we add our border. So like that, you get the magnitude histogram. Next, we'll create depth in kilometers histogram. So you right click on this one, select duplicate. You change its title into depth in kilometers histogram okay so we remove everything and we double click on depth same thing click on show me histogram and here we have the bins so right click on it edit and you select 50 Okay, so like that we have from 0 to 50, from 50 to 100, 100 to 150, etc. Same thing, we press Ctrl key and we drag and drop the count into the color. We edit the color and we select gold, orange gold. Apply, okay. We remove this title. And same thing in here, we remove pin. Same thing, we press Ctrl key and we can add it to the label. We can also do the same thing for the magnitude. Press Ctrl key and drag and drop it into the label. And like that, we get our two histograms. Now I'm going to create our scatter plot for the relationship between depth and magnitude. So to keep the same formatting, we are going to just duplicate this one. And we remove everything. So we remove this one, remove this one remove this one and remove this one we name it relationship between depth and magnitude right okay so drag and drop magnitude into the rows and we convert it into dimension same thing for the depth we drag and drop depth into columns and we convert it into a dimension. So like that to get our scatter plot, we can change its shape into filled circle, right? We decrease its size a little bit. So we can change the title in here, we select magnitude. Okay. 
We can also press Ctrl key and drag and drop magnitude into the color. We edit color and we select orange gold. Apply OK. So we have one null value, we click on it and we select filter data. And like that, we get our scatter plot which shows the relationship between depth and magnitude. Now we can create our map for total earthquakes by places. So you click on new worksheet, you write total earthquakes, right? By places. So double click on latitude, longitude, and we drag and drop place into detail. Same thing, we drag and drop the ID into the color and we select count we change the color into orange gold apply ok same thing we press ctrl key and we select the count into the size and you click on map background maps and you select dark so like that we get our map we can hide this one you click on format shading and it will be in black same thing for the title put it in the center white bolt 11 apply ok and add the border so here we have total earthquakes by places we can increase the size so here we have the highest number of earthquakes and as you can see here we have also in here and in here and also in here in Japan all right now for example we can add the average depth into the tooltip for example select measure average same thing for the gap we can add the average and also the magnitude So like that, we have the average magnitude, we have the average gap, the average depth, all right? Now we create our table for earthquake details with total NST. So you click on your worksheet, earthquake, right? Details with total NST, okay? So drag and drop date into the rows. And we select exact date, right? Which will be discrete. And also, you click on the date, select format, and the date you can put it like this. Okay, so we have the following format. Then we drag and drop place into the rows. Next, we have the magnitude. which will be dimension and also discrete and same thing for the depth so it will be dimension and also discrete then we drag and drop NST into the text we can sort that by date as you can see here there are some rows that don't have nst right and now i'm going to format our table so we increase the width a little bit click on format shading it will be black and for the font it will be bold white 8 and for the alignment it would be in the center same thing for the header right and we add our borders right we put everything in white same thing for row divider and also for column divider for the shading for the header we are going to select gray and same thing for the pane we select also gray and the level it will be all the rows okay we'll also edit our title 
center white bold and 11 apply ok right click on it format title and we add the border so like that you get our table for earthquake details with total nst now i'm going to create our dashboard so we click on new dashboard define the size so i put 850 1050 okay and we drag and drop our sheets into our dashboard so we have here the area chart so we have the map then the relationship okay next we have the histograms okay and for the dashboard we select format we put it in black perfect then we have the stacked bar chart okay so we decrease like that so this is for the map put it as floating and we put it inside the map same thing in here so we put it as floating and we put it inside the area chart we remove this one remove this one remove this one for the parameters we put we put them in the top okay same thing for this one all right you can format directly the parameters so format parameters put borders in white and also the font it is in white same thing okay next we'll add our table to put in here Okay. All right, we put a chart like this, and we put so large items auto arrange. All right, so we decrease this one like this. remove the title and we can put them like that okay so format legends put the border in white and same thing for the font right so like that we have all the charts same thing for this one we put it inside here format title at the border in white okay so same thing hide the title and format legend so at the border in white okay so if we select presentation view all right so we have the map we have the array chart we have the scatter plot the histograms the table so we will add text sheets right so you put sheet one in here second one third one so high title high title high title decrease decrease same thing in here so add another one in here this one and the last one okay so high title high title high title 
so like that we have selected all the worksheets right we decrease this one we have average RMS so we forgot this one okay hi title all right so put this one in here and this one in here so you can arrange them as you like okay All right, you can just increase this one like that, like that. Let's put them in the center. Okay, so like that normally we have everything. We just select, so go to the sheet, the first one, and you click on this filter. So apply to worksheets, all using this data source, all right? So now when we go back to our dashboard, we select the presentation view. So when we change our start date or end date, so everything will be changed, right? Same thing for the end date. Okay, so like that we have our interactive dashboard. So one thing that we can add is the is the lines that will separate our KPIs. So we select flooring, double click on blank, layout, background in white, and you arrange it depending on your size. Okay. So put it like that. Copy, paste that five times so I put this one in here so we'll add this one in here same thing for this one this one So I put it like that and also this one okay so I add one all right so now when we select the presentation view we get our final dashboard okay so we have an interactive dashboard that will depend on start date and our end date so just last touches, I will put this one in here like that and put it inside. Okay. So for my title, we have set the border in white. Okay. Percentage view. If we select the whole period, right? So for example, some of the insights that we can get from this dashboard is that most values of magnitude are between 6 and 6.25. Okay, same thing for depth in kilometers. So we have the highest values are in the range of 0 and 50 kilometers, right? Here, for example, for relationship between depth and magnitude, we can see that 
the deeper we get, the lower the magnitude gets. Okay, for example, here the highest value is recorded for a corresponding depth of 35 kilometers, okay, which is very high value of magnitude and very low value of depth. All right, same thing in the map, for example, we can see that the most active region is here, as you can see here in the east of Asia, here in the ocean. For example, we have Japan, right, as you can see here in Japan. And also we have the west of the United States, right? Mexico, for example, we have Gulf of California. Same thing for South of America, okay? Same thing, so here South of Panama, we have here Bolivia, Argentina. So this, this is the most active region in the world. And also if we see here in the bar chart, for example, we have March, which is the most active month, okay? If we select the total period, you can see also the MS type is the most one recorded. In this video, we will create the following interactive dashboard, which is about Hollywood most profitable stories. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use an image as background. We will create stacked bar charts, donut charts, KPIs, scatter plots, and detailed table for the different films. The link to download the data set is available in the description. And as you can see here, for example, if we select action in this legend, we get the film title in the different charts. Same thing for animation, comedy, drama, fantasy, and romance. Before starting working with Tableau, let's first explore our data set in Excel. As you can see, we don't have a very big data set. We have eight columns and we have 74 rows. Right, so the first column is about the different titles of the films. Then we have the genre, so each film has genre and also lead studio. So we have Fox, Independent, Universal, Disney, Warner Bros., etc. Then we have the audience score. So the audience score is the percentage of users who gave a positive rating for the film. Then we have profitability, which is related to lead studio. We have also Rotten Tomatoes which is the most trusted measurement of quality for movies and TV shows. We have worldwide gross, which is equal to the domestic gross plus the international gross. And we have the year. So here we have different years. So we have one column for the dates. We have four different measures and we have three different categories. So now let's import our data set in Tableau and start creating the dashboard. So as we have said, we have eight fields, so eight columns and 74 rows. And as you can see here, film is automatically selected as text. Same thing for genre, lead studio. And for audience score, we have an integer. Profitability, same thing. Rotten Tomatoes, same thing. Worldwide growth, same thing. And for the year, we are going to convert it into date. So like that, we will not have issues when creating our bar chart. You click on Sheet 1, and the first thing that we are going to do is to create seven different calculated fields. The first one for the title of the dashboard, and six others for the KPIs. So we start by the title. You click on the down icon in here, create calculated field, and we call it title. So you write here your title, call it Hollywood Write Stories. Apply. Okay. We name the sheet one as title. Okay. And we drag and drop the title into text. We hide the title and we increase its width. Right click, format, and we select black bold 28. We increase this one. And you go to alignment. Pane, select center. So like that we have created our first text sheet. Next we are going to create total films. So right, total films. Okay, same thing, create calculated field. We call it total films. Copy and you paste that to your string. Apply, okay. Same thing, we drag and drop into text. High title. We increase its width, oops, too much. 
and you drag and drop film into text you select count distinct measure count distinct now you right click format and you select bold black 10 same thing the alignment it will be in the center now i'm going to duplicate this one and we change the name into total lead studios right copy this one create calculated field name it total studios and you create your string apply okay we remove this one and this one from the text and we drag and drop the calculated field into text and same thing lead studio into text you select count distinct so measure count distinct and you increase its width Okay, so like that we have total lead studios next same thing we duplicate so we have total generous copy down icon create calculated field name it total generous and you create your string apply okay we remove everything from text total generous into text and same thing genera into text you select count distinct measure count distinct so like that we have total of six right same thing duplicate we'll have the average audience score okay same thing we copy create calculated field average audience score and we name it like this we can just abbreviate so we write avg right apply okay so we remove everything from text average audience score and we have here the audience score in percentage we select the average measure average so we increase its width like that we get our average audience score so we duplicate average Rotten. So average rotten tomatoes, right? Same thing, copy and remove everything from text. Create calculated field. Same thing, create our string and we use AVG, right? Apply, okay. We drag and drop the calculated field into text. And same thing rotten tomatoes into the text and we select the average measure average all right and last one it is so duplicate so we have the average worldwide growth right same thing we copy create calculated field paste and we paste that apply okay so we remove everything we drag and drop into text and same thing into text we select the average so like that we have created all the kpis right next we are going to create a stacked bar chart for profitability by lead studio and genera so select new worksheet name it profitability right by lead studio and genera so drag and drop lead studio into rows so we can remove the null values so right click on null and select exclude okay next we drag and drop profitability into text and instead of sum for example we can select the average so we select measure average so like that we get the average we click on show me and you select horizontal bars we can sort that so you right click on lead studio hide field labels of rows so instead of standard we are going to select entire view so close this one and we drag and drop genera into color same thing we press ctrl key and we drag and drop the average into the label we click on color edit colors and we are going to select gray wall sign apply okay we click on one null filter data so double click on 
this axis we remove the title same thing on the title so we'll put it in the center black bold and 11 apply okay and we are going to format so right click on the title format title we add the border in black same thing for the sheet format so we put everything in black bold and 8 so we add our border everything in black black the header same thing black and row divider in black with the column divider in black grid lines we are going to remove column grid lines none same thing for zero lines none and we click on color border we add black borders for the different bars as you can see here for the axis we can select axis rulers and we select black same thing for axis ticks we put it in black okay so like that we have our horizontal stacked bar chart for profitability by lead studio and genera next we are going to create another stacked bar chart for total films by genera and year so you click on your worksheet we name it total films by year and genera so we drag and drop year into the columns and film into the rows we select measure count on automatic we select bar we drag and drop genera into color and we press ctrl key we drag and drop count into the label now i'm going to format our worksheet so right click on the worksheet format select bold black and eight same thing for the borders we select everything in black black same thing in here and row divider in black with column divider in black for grid lines we remove grid lines for the rows select none and for axis rulers on sheet we select black and same thing for axis ticks it will be in black so double click on the count we remove this one same thing year of year we select we remove the title so we do the same thing for the title double click on the title we put it in the center bold black 11 apply ok right click on the title format title and we select our border in black we can also click on year and we convert it into discrete we select the entire view and we increase the size okay so like that we get our stacked bar chart with also the border for the different bars okay right click on year of year and select height field labels for columns next we are going to create a donut chart for total films by genre so you click on your worksheet right total films by genre so we drag and drop genera into color and we select pi right same thing we drag and drop film into angle and we select count we press ctrl key and we drag and drop the count into the label and we select quick table calculation percent of total right we increase its size a little bit we double click on rows we write zero we press ctrl key and we duplicate the value right go to the second one and we remove everything we decrease its size a little bit and we change its color into white so you click on the second one we select dual axis okay and like that we get our donut chart same thing on standard we select entire view you right click on the header and click on show header all right so i'm going to format that you right click on the sheet format and on the lines we remove the zero line and we add the borders so we go to borders row divider in black and column divider in black we can also format our title so double click on the title we put it in the center black bold and 11 
apply ok right click on the title format title and we select border black so like that you get our on a chart for total films by genre now for example if you want the color to depend on the total number of films for example the darker the color the higher the total number of films so you can click in here on the colors for genre and change it into detail and we press ctrl key we drag and drop the count into the color we can change the color for example you click on the down icon in here edit colors and we can select the gray warm color apply ok so like that our color depends on the total number of films we can do the same thing for the previous one we can change the color into detail and we press ctrl key we drag and drop the count into the color and since same thing we have the count of films depending on the genre we can select the same color so edit colors and we select gray wall apply ok for profitability we can do the same thing so we change the color of genre into detail we press ctrl key and we drag and drop the average into the color and since here we have a different measure which is profitability we can for example select another color we can select instead of gray warm we can select gray so you click on apply okay so like that the darker is the color the higher is the number of films or or the higher is the average profitability now we can create another donut chart which will be about total films by lead studio so we duplicate this one and instead of genre we write lead studio right okay and here instead of having genre in detail so we remove genre and we drag and drop lead studio into detail now we can change the color edit colors and we can select red black diverge apply okay so like that we get our donut chart for total films by lead studio and as you can see here we have independent which is the highest value with a value of 25.68 percent now for example for the two donut charts instead for example of having the title in here we can hide this title and for this one we can create new calculated field we call it films by lead studio right we copy this one and we create our string apply okay so we drag and drop this calculated field into a label of the second chart right and we put it in the center we can format that so for label we can select for example bold 10 okay so like that we get our title in the center of the donut chart and we can do the same thing for the first one so instead of having films by genre in here we hide the title we create a new calculated field we name it films by genre and same thing we copy this one and create our string apply okay we select the second one and we drag and drop into the label so label select bold and 10 and we put it in the center so like that we get our donut charts with with the title in the center now before creating our scatter plots we click on color and border black same thing here border black and also here same thing color border and black same thing for the first one border black okay so i'm going to create our first scatter plot so name it audience score and rotten tomatoes right so drag and drop audience score into the rows and we select dimension we do the same thing for rotten tomatoes in the columns and we select dimension for the shape we select filled circle right and we drag and drop film into the label for the color we can change it into black we can also add the genre for example into the tooltip and same thing for the lead studio so like that we have the audience score the film rotten tomatoes genre and lead studio
so we can format our worksheet first we filter the data we right click format and we select everything bold black and eight same thing for the border we select everything in black row divider and column divider right we remove the grid lines so select none same thing for the zero lines none and for the axis rulers we put it in black and same thing for the axis ticks in black we can also format our title so double click on the title we put it in the center bold black and 11 apply ok right click on the title format title and we add our border to create a second scatter plot we are going to duplicate this one duplicate and same thing we remove the audience score and we drag and drop worldwide grows into the rows convert it into dimension and we change our title so remove two and same thing here right worldwide gross so like that we have our scatter plots now we are going to create our table so click on your worksheet and we call it films details right so we drag and drop the film into the rows then we have the genera and we have lead studio so we can put it between film and genera we have also the year so convert it into discrete hide field labels for rows we drag and drop measure names into filter and we select audience score profitability rotten tomatoes and worldwide growth apply ok we press control key and we drag and drop measure names into rows and we drag and drop measure values into the columns we can sort our values we click on five nulls and filter data same thing we press control key and we drag and drop measure names into the color we press control key and we drag and drop measure values into the label and for example here we can also change the color for example edit color and we can select for example orange gold assign apply ok now i'm going to format our worksheet so double click on the access remove value same thing for the details so we put it in the center black bold and 11 apply ok we right click format black bold 8 we put everything in the center center we can increase the width of names same thing for the lead studio right we remove the grid lines so for the columns we select none and we add our borders so for the sheet we select everything in black row divider in black and column divider in black right click on the title format title we add our border in black and same thing for example if you want the colors to depend on the measure values so we change measure names into detail and we press control key we drag and drop measure values into the color edit colors and we select for example orange gold apply ok so like that we get the films details table now i'm going to create our dashboard so you click on new dashboard we define the size so i put 1850 and here 1050 okay and like tiled we select the we double click on image and i will add the background image so you can find the link to download the background image in the description so i have here background.png right fit and center okay it's so like that i have my image right next you select floating and you double click on blank so i'm going to add our first plug in here 
All right, so just put it like that. Like that. Like that. So just it's up to you so you can arrange it as you want. Okay, and we select layout, it will be background white. The border it will be black. Next we are going to add another one. So it will be like that. Same thing, it will be background white, border in black. Okay, so I will just put it like this until here. Okay, next we add another one. So double click on blank. Same thing, you can select the background, the border as black and the background as white, right? And you can add it in here. So you can decrease it like that. And same thing for this one. Okay, so I will add the fourth one. Double click on blank, layout, border black, and background in white. Okay, so we add it in here. Like that, and here we decrease it a little bit. Okay, just decrease it. So like that, we have designed our dashboard. Now let's drag and drop the different sheets. So we start by the text sheets, right? Dashboard. We have total films. So everything will be in flow then, right? High title. And we put it like that. So total film, so you put it here. Then total lead studios, right? Okay, so lead studios, I forgot S. Edit and we add an S. Apply. Okay, so back to our dashboard. Then we add third one total generous. Same thing. High title. Okay. Put it in here. Then we add the title. All right. So high title, and I will put it in the center. Like that. Then we add different averages. So the first one, high title. Okay. Okay, the first one. High title. Okay, I put it like that. And you add the last one. So average worldwide gross. Okay, high title.
and I put it like that okay that's great I can just arrange them to be in the center okay now I will add another blank and I select the background as black okay so we decrease it like this decrease it like this so copy paste that several times first one I put it here second one in here third one like that okay and the last one in here okay so now for example if I select presentation mode so we have our KPIs right now I'm going to add the other sheets so we can start by the uh, films details right put it here we remove major values and we drag drop it in here right all right okay so like that we have the first table next we will have the scatter plot so we put one in here second one in here right so i'm gonna just so like that decrease that's too much all right put it like this and i will add the second one in here okay one so put it like this all right so like that we have the scatter plots next we add profitability right so I put it like that okay next we have total films so I put it like that standard so it will be off it with count remove it okay and we add the donut charts so the first one i will put it like that so i think or we can decrease this one so put it like this this one like this and high title okay So I put it like that and I will add the second one so this one in here same thing high title and we put it like this and like that okay here we can decrease for example we can put it here we can decrease this one all 
All right. Okay, so like that we get our donut charts. So we remove this one. We select standard and we increase its width. Can decrease, get it shorter. Okay. So here for the legends, average profitability, we're going to remove it. And like that, we get our final dashboard. Now, for example, if we want to have the generous in the legend, we can just change the profitability into the genera and we will have the legend as genera. I changed the colors in here to profitability and same thing in here. I added the column. So filters. I can add the filters, right? So I put it in here. We select single value drop down, select all, and I remove the title and put it inside in here. Okay. So this is the filter. And same thing, we can use this one. So worksheets, apply to worksheets, selected worksheets, and for example, we can select two profitability right and also total films by year and genera total films by genera etc right okay so like that if we change to action we get only action if we change it to animation same thing select presentation mode like that if we change it to comedy we get comedy all we get all right so like that we get our final dashboard and some of the insights that we can get from this dashboard is that we have total firms of 74, total lead studios of 13, total generals of 6, the average audience score is 64.14, average Rotten Tomatoes is 47.36, and the average worldwide gross is 136.4. Same thing, here we can see positive correlation between Rotten Tomatoes and the audience score, okay? Whereas for Rotten Tomatoes and Worldwide Gross, it has no impact, right? So we can see most of the movies or most of the films have values between 0 and 200, even though the values of Rotten Tomatoes is increasing. Same thing in here for genre. As you can see, we have comedy for more than 50%. Okay. In second position, we have romance. Then we have drama. Same thing for films by Lead Studio. As you can see here, we have independent which comes in the first position with a percentage of 25.68%. Then we have Warner Bros with 16.22%. Same thing for the total movies. As you can see here, we have 2010 and 2008 have the highest values. All right. Whereas, as we have mentioned, as you can see here for independent, it has the highest percentage, right, for drama general with an average profitability of 17.73%. In this video, we'll create the following interactive Tableau dashboard about Amazon sales in India. As you can see here, we have different charts. We have stacked bar chart, we have area chart, map, a horizontal bar chart, and we have different KPIs. And all of them depend on this filter, which is category. For example, if we select one category, we get different values for each category. Same thing, for example, we select another one. Same thing in here. So as you can see here, we have an interactive Tableau dashboard that will allow us to analyze in depth the different sales of Amazon in India. All right. But before start working with Tableau, let's first explore our data set. Now in the description, you are going to find two different links. The first one is this link, okay, which is the link to Kaggle dataset named e-commerce sales dataset, okay, which contains six different files. You can just click on download in here. And once you extract it in your local working directory, you are going to find six different files. And the file that we are going to use for our dashboard is Amazon sales report. Now here we have different information about the data set. Okay, so here we have about this data set. 
which provides in-depth look at the profitability of e-commerce sales, which contains data on a variety of sales channels. Okay, but as I said, we are only interested in Amazon sales. Same thing here. We have some hints or some recommendations on how to use the data set. Okay, that you can read in here in detail. And you can, for example, modify it or use other files in order to create more customized dashboard. Same thing for research ideas. We have also research ideas. And if we go down here, so we have the different files. So the first one is cloud warehouse comparison chart. Okay. Next, we have sale report P&L March 2021. We have May 2022. And here we have Amazon sales report. So I'm going to create our dashboard using this file. And here we have the color names with descriptions. For example, we have category, which is type of product, and it is string. We have the size of the product, same thing, string. We have date, status, right, which is also a string. Fulfillment, string. Same thing for the style of the product, it is a string. SKU, which is stock keeping unit and ASIN, which is Amazon Standard Identification Number, that you can see here, that is defined as 10-digit alphanumeric code that identifies products on Amazon. Okay, so I'm going to use this code in order to calculate the total products that we have in our data set. We have also courier status, right, which is a string. Then we have the quantity, which is an integer. Same thing for the amount, which is a float. And we have business to business sale, okay, which is Boolean. So we have true or false. Then we have the currency. So here we have the currency that is used for the sale, right? So the currency in our case is Indian rupee, right? So the second link that you will find in the description is directly to my GitHub for this file. So we'll find Amazon sale report.csv that you can download directly for your analysis. So now let's import our file in Tableau and start creating our dashboard. Once we import our CSV file on Tableau, we can see that we have 24 fields, okay, and approximately 130,000 rows. Some columns that we did not see in the description were the order ID, okay, so we have here the order ID. Next, we have here the country, okay, so ship country, we have said it is India. Then we have ship postal code, ship state, and ship city. So I'm going to use these fields in order to create our map. And same thing, we have promotion IDs, which we are not going to use in this dashboard. So you click on sheet one, and we are going to create our map. So I'm going to name it map. So we have quantity by state. Okay. So we double click on ship state, right? And we drag and drop quantity into color. We have 12 unknown, so we click on it and select filter data. We click on map, background maps, and we are going to select outdoors. Same thing for the colors, so we click on the down icon in here, edit colors, and we are going to select gray wall. Apply, OK. So we press on control key and we drag and drop ship state into label. All right, we click on format, shading, and we select orange. Double click, put it in center, bold, white, and it will be 11. Apply, okay. Right click on the title, format title, and we add our border in black. Same thing, we can add the border. So click on color, border, and we select black. And for the opacity, we can change it into 100%. So we can add category into the filters, right? We select, for example, all, apply, okay. We click on the down icon in here for category, and we select apply to worksheets, all using this data source. So when we create new worksheet, this filter will be automatically applied to our worksheet. So click on category, show filter, and we are going to select single value drop down. Okay, so now we have our map. Next, we are going to create stacked bar chart for quantity by week and category. So you click on new worksheet, name it quantity 
by week and category, right? Which I can drop date into columns and quantity into rows. So for the date, we click on the down icon in here and we select week number, right? We click on automatic and we select bar and we drag and drop category into color. So we show the filter, show filter. We have set single value drop down and we select all. Now for the date, we can change it into discrete, all right? We click on standard and we select entire view. And for the color, we click on color, edit color, and we change it into Tableau Classic 20. Assign, apply, OK. We can hide the card, right? Now I want to format our worksheet because we are going to duplicate it to create the other charts. So we start from week of date, we hide the field. Double click on this access and remove quantity. So we remove the title. Right click, format. For the shade, then we are going to select orange, right? For grid lines, we select none. For the same thing for the rows, none. And for the columns, none, right? Same thing for the zero line. And for the sheet, we have access ruler in black and access text in black. For the font, we select bold black 8. And for the borders, we are going to select everything in black, right? Same thing for row divider and column divider. We do the same thing for the title. So double click on the title, select all, center, bold, 11, and we select the color in white, apply, okay. Right click on the title, format title, and we add our border in black. We can also add the borders for the bars. So you click on color, border, and you select black. So like that, we get our stacked bar chart for quantity by week and category. So I'm going to duplicate this sheet in order to create another multiple line chart for amount by week and category. So you right click on the worksheet, duplicate, and we can remove two and change quantity into amount. Okay, so I'm going to remove sum of quantity. We change it into line. And we drag and drop the amount into the rows. Okay, so like that, we get the amount by week and category. So we can remove the title in here, double click on the axis and remove amount. Okay, same thing, we can select markers. So you click on color and select the following markers. Okay, so like that, we get the amount by week and category. So if we change the category, we have the different values by week. All right. Next, we are going to create another horizontal stacked bar chart for quantity by size and category. So same thing, right click, duplicate, and we change the title into quantity by size and category, right? Okay. So we remove the sum and we remove the week. We drag and drop size into the rows and quantity into the columns. For the line, we are going to select bar and we are going to sort that. Same thing, we press control key and we drag and drop some of quantity into the label. We right click on size and we select height field labels for rows. Double click on the axis and we remove quantity. So like that, we get our horizontal stacked bar chart for quantity by size and category. Now I'm going to create a horizontal bar chart for top 10 states by quantity and category and also ship service level. So same thing, we duplicate. We have set top 10 states by quantity right and category for ship service level. So remove everything, remove this one, remove this one. Same thing for the size and also the quantity. So we have said state, so we can drop state into the rows. 
quantity into the columns instead of entire view we select standard right we sort that so press ctrl key and we drag and drop ship state into the filters select top 10 so we have top 10 states by the sum of quantity apply ok we select again entire view and we drag and drop ship service level into the rows we press ctrl key and we drag and drop ship service level into the color and for the color we are going to select gray so we go to gray and for expedited we select this one and start not we select this one apply okay and also we can press ctrl key and we drag and drop the sum into the label we can format the alignment so format alignment for the header we put it in the center all right and like that we get our horizontal bar chart for top 10 states by quantity and category for ship service level next we are going to create another horizontal bar chart for quantity by status and category so duplicate this one all right quantity right by status and category okay so remove everything remove remove and remove so drag and drop status into the rows same thing we are going to sort that and we press ctrl key we drag and drop the status into the color and also the sum of quantity into the label we can adjust the colors okay for example if it is shipped cancelled for example we put it in red and then we put it like in yellow same thing in here shipped put it in green damaged we put it for example this color deliver to buyer same thing we put it in green lost put it like that out for delivery put it in green picked up same thing in green right rejected in red return to seller same thing return to seller same thing and shipping we put it in green apply okay we need just to remove ship state from filters right and like that we get our horizontal bar chart for quantity by status and category next we are going to create a donut chart for quantity by query status and category so same thing we duplicate i have set quantity by query status and category okay same thing we remove everything we remove this one this one and this one so we drag and drop career status into the color and we select by right we drag and drop quantity into the angle and we can adjust the color so edit colors for shipped we put it in green cancelled put it in red and and shipped we put it in yellow right apply okay so we hide the card and we can press ctrl key and we drag and drop query status into the filters and we remove null apply okay same thing we press ctrl key and we drag and drop query status into the label same thing for the quantity and for quantity we click on the sum quick table calculation percent of total right we double click on rows we write zero okay we press ctrl key and we duplicate the value go to the second one we remove everything color we put it in orange and same thing in here we increase the size a little bit right so select dual axis and like that we get our donut chart so right click on the axis and remove the header next we are going to create two highlight tables one is for quantity by sales channel and category and the other one is b2b sales quantity so duplicate this one so we have said quantity by sales channel and category right 
okay remove same thing we remove this one remove everything select automatic right query status we remove it from the filters so drag and drop sales channel into the columns and quantity into the text we click on show me and we select highlight table so we swap we click on standard we select fit width and we can edit the color so we'll go to here for the sum edit colors and we're going to select gray apply okay same thing we right click format and for the alignment we put it in the center okay so like that we get our highlight table for quantity by sales channel and category same thing instead of displaying the value we right click on the sum quick table calculation and we select percent of total we duplicate this worksheet and we change its name into p2b sales quantity right and we remove sales channel from the columns and we replace it by b2b okay so like that we get our highlight table for b2b sales quantity all right next we are going to create our text sheets and to do that we are going to create six different calculated fields so we click on new worksheet and the first one we name it currency so we copy this one click on the down icon create calculated field we paste that we add one because we have here currency so if we write only currency like that apply a field or logical table named currency already exists so we add one apply okay so we drag and drop currency one into text same thing our currency into text we click on the first one we select exclude right and we hide our title and we are going to format this sheet because we are going to duplicate it five times so format shading it will be in orange the font it will be bold then black and for the alignment it will be in the center we increase the width so like that we get our first text sheet next we have total quantity so we duplicate this one we change its name into total quantity right we copy we create calculated field name it total quantity and create our string total quantity apply ok so we remove currency we remove currency one and we remove the filter so drag and drop total quantity into text and same thing we drag and drop quantity into text so like that to get our total quantity next to duplicate this one we'll have total amount same thing we copy create calculated field we name it total amount and we create our string apply okay we remove sum of quantity total quantity and we replace it by total amount same thing we drag and drop amount into text next we have total sizes so duplicate we'll have total sizes right same thing we copy this one create calculated field we paste it and we create our string apply okay so you remove everything total sizes into text and we drag and drop size into text we click on it measure count distinct so we have 11 same thing next we have total categories duplicate we have total categories right so we copy create calculated field name it total categories and we create our string apply okay so you remove everything drag and drop total categories into the text and same thing category into text and we select measure count distinct we increase the width and like that we get the total categories which is nine and the last one is total product so duplicate this one name it total 
products right we copy create calculated field total products and same thing we create our string apply okay so we remove everything from the text total products into text and we drag and drop asin into text same thing measure count distinct it's so like that we get our six text sheets now i'm going to create our dashboard so you click on new dashboard i'm going to define the size so i put 850 and 1050 click on dashboard format and we are going to select orange as sharing right now we are going to drag and drop our worksheets we have the map and we have the quantity right the amount we have also top 10 states so we put it in here next we have quantity by status we put it in here then we have quantity by size so we put it in here like that so we remove this one remove this one and for the map we are going to select it as floating right we put it inside the map for the category put it on the top like that okay next we are going to add our donut chart okay we have two highlight tables we'll put one in here and the second one like that okay then we add our text sheets so we start by currency okay then total quantity then total amount then total sizes right put it like that total categories and total products okay so put like that we hide the titles high title high title high title same thing high title and also in here we hide the title okay so i'm going to increase this one same thing for this one okay that's great put total categories like that same thing for total sizes and we have total products same thing for this one this one in here and we put category in the middle all right format filters right center font in black right same thing for the legend format legend so we add for the title so the border it will be in black but the title we are going to remove the title and we are going to put it inside the map all right same thing in here so format i have set the body it will be in black right and we add our amazon logo so double click on image so all the links for the logos are available in the description right so fit image center image choose so amazon logo apply okay and i'm gonna put it in here okay so like that this one i put it here so increase like this one and same thing okay 
so we put them in the center all right let's put this one in here this one in here and come on to get this one All right, now we are going to add, so float in, double click on blank, layout, background in black. So we decrease it like that. Okay. Copy. So we put one in here. Same thing, we put another one in here one in here and the last one I put it in here right so I'm going just to center text right So, so like that all texts are centered now we we'll add the different logos for the kpis right so to do that we are going to select same thing florin right and we are going to add different images like i said all the links are available in the description okay all right so we have here currency you can put it like that Next, they have total quantity, same thing. Quantity, center, apply, okay. And do I go with same thing to put it in here? Next, total amount. So we have amount, logo, apply, okay. Same thing, we add it in here, right? Total products, products logo, okay. Same thing, we put it in here. Next, we have total sizes, so open, okay. And the last one is total categories, right? Just increase like that. Double click on image. So we have categories logo, apply. And we put it inside the text sheet. Okay. So if we select presentation mode, so like that, we get our interactive dashboard for Amazon sales in India. Now, if we change the categories, you can see that the values are changing. In this video, I will show you how to create the following dashboard, which is about World Cup results between 1930 and 2014. In this tutorial, we are going to analyze data set that contains three different tables in which we are going to extract the different insights about World Cup. We start by the countries that won the World Cup, teams by total finals and semifinals, countries that hosted the World Cup, competition stats by year. We will also create a map about the audience by country and year, the total countries qualified to the World Cup, and also a detailed table about the winners and top teams by World Cup year with the finals study. But before starting working with Tableau, let's first explore our dataset in Excel. As you can see, we have three different tables. 
So we have World Cup matches, World Cup Tableau format, and World Cups. So for World Cups, we have the year. So we have the different years starting from 1930 2014. The country hosted the World Cup. The winner, runners up, right? The third position, fourth position, goals scored within the World Cup, total teams qualified, total matches played, and the attendance. For World Cup tableau format, we have same thing the year, the game number, we have the date, the time, and the round. We have also the stadium, the city, and the country. We have the team, opponent, and the observation, right? So observation after each game. And for World Cup matches, same thing. We have the year, the date, and the time. The round, we have the stadium, the city, the country. Then we have the home team, home goals, then away goals and away team, and also the observation after each game. So now let's import our data set into Tableau and create the relationships between the tables in order to create our data visualizations. So as you can see here, we have our data set with our three tables. First, we drag and drop World Cups in here. Then World Cup matches, right? And here we select the fields. So for World Cup, we select country. And World Cup matches, same thing, we select country. So like that, we created our first relationship between World Cups and World Cup matches. Same thing, we drag and drop World Cup tableau format in here. And we select the fields. So World Cups, we select the country. And World Cup tableau format, same thing, we select the country. So like that, we have created our relationships. Now let's start creating our visualizations. So you click on Sheet 1. And we are going to create the table for the countries that won the World Cup. So we double click, we write countries that won the World Cup, right? Okay. So we go to World Cups table, we drag and drop winner into the columns. Same thing, we drag and drop winner into the text. And we select count, so measure count. Same thing, we press control key and we drag and drop count winner into the detail. And we sort that. So we have Brazil with five and the last one is England with one. We click on standard, we select fit with. We click on winner and height field. We double click on the title. So we put it in the center bold. 11 and we put it in white apply ok we right click on the title format title and for the shading we select green for the border we select white same thing we right click on the table format and we are going to select the shading as black right for the font it will be bold white 8 and we are going to add our borders so we put everything in white Same thing for row divider and column divider. Same thing for the alignment, we put it in the center. Right. And like that, we get our table for countries that won the World Cup. Next, we are going to create a butterfly chart for teams by total finals and total semifinals. We'll just change the border in here. So we put it in white. So you click on your worksheet, double click teams by total finals and semifinals, right? Okay, so I'm going to create three different calculated fields. So the first one we call it finals. So you click on here, round World Cup tableau format, create calculated field, we name it finals. And we say if round equals to final then give me round world cup tableau format then okay and we write end 
so we can paste this one apply okay as you can see here it will appear in here the next one so we click on around same thing create calculated field we name it semi finals and same thing if round equals to semi finals then give me round apply okay I will just modify the name so edit semi finals uh, apply okay and third one we call it zero axis so you write zero axis and you write zero apply okay so drag and drop team into the rows finals into the columns and we select measure count same thing semi-finals into the columns and we select measure count we drag and drop the round into the filters and we select only final and semi-finals apply okay we'll right click on the first axis edit axis and we select reversed we drag and drop the zero axis between the count semifinals and count finals we right click on this axis and we remove the header we click on some zero axis we press control key and we drag and drop the team into the label so double click on the axis we remove zero axis tick marks into none we change it from automatic into text and we right click format so we are going to remove the zero line same thing for the columns we remove the grid line and the rows same thing here we are going to change the title so we write semi-finals and here we will have the finals right okay we can sort that and same thing for semi-finals we press ctrl key and we drag the count into the label same thing for the finals we press ctrl key and we drag the count of finals into the label now we can format our worksheet so we start by the title format title so the border it will be white and the shading will be in green we double click put it in the center white bold and 11 apply okay so for the colors we can change it into gold or orange right and we right click format so the shading it will be in black the font will be bold white and eight and same thing for the borders we add everything in white like that we get our butterfly chart for teams by total finals and semi-finals next we are going to create a horizontal bar chart for the countries that hosted the world cup so you click on new worksheet countries that hosted the world cup world cup right so go to world cups table and we drag and drop country into the rows we press ctrl key and we drag and drop country into the columns and we select count we can order that right click on country hide field labels double click on the axis we remove the title we can also change the type of year into date and we drag and drop it into the label so you click on the label format and for the alignment it will be in the center right we can also change the color into gold and we can format our worksheet so right click format shaded it will be in black right for the alignment it will be for the header in the center for the font it will be bold white and eight 
and same thing for the border so we add everything in white we double click on the title put it in the center white bold and 11 apply ok right click for my title and for the border it will be in white for the shading it will be in green we can also edit the label so you click in here and select format for the font we can put it in black right and same thing we can add white borders to our bars so like that we get our horizontal bar chart for countries that hosted the world cup same thing we can create another horizontal bar chart for countries qualified to the world cup so duplicate this one right click duplicate and name it countries qualified to the world cup okay so remove everything remove this one and remove this one so go to world cup tableau format drag and drop team into rows we drag and drop year into the columns and we count distinct so measure count distinct we can sort that we press control key and we drag and drop count distinct into the label same thing we right click format for the columns for the grid lines we remove it from so none for the rows same thing okay So remove the grid lines and the zero lines and for the label label alignment it will be on the right and with a big click on the axis we remove the title so like that we get our horizontal bar chart for the number of times each country qualified to the world cup next we are going to create a stacked bar chart so click on your worksheet and we name it competitions stats by year so go to world caps table drag and drop year into the columns and measure names into filters so select none and we are going to select three so we have matches played qualified teams and goals scored apply ok so drag and drop the measure values into the rows we press control key and we drag and drop measure names into the color we click on automatic and we select bar we click on year and we select discrete so like that we have the different years with different stats we click on year of year and we hide the field we click on measure names edit colors so goal squad we put it in orange matches played in yellow and qualified teams we put it for example in this color apply ok same thing we double click on the axis and we remove the title we click on standard fit width right and we are going to format our worksheet so right click format for the shading it will be black for grid lines we have none same thing for columns we remove also the zero lines and also for the rows for the font bold white and eight and same thing we are going to add the borders in white so put everything in white 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 and white we do the same thing for the title so double click put it in the center in white bold and 11 apply ok we right click for my title shading will be in green and the border in white so like that we get our stacked bar chart for competition stats by year next we are going to create a detailed table for winners and top teams by world cup year with the finals stadium so you click on your worksheet so we write winners and top teams by world cup year and finals study okay 
So go to World Cups table and we drag and drop winner into the rows. Same thing for the year. And we convert it into discrete. Then we have the runners up, the third position, the fourth position. And we drag and drop round into filters. We select final, apply OK. And we drag and drop the stadium into the text. So like that, we have the winner. We have also the year. And we can also add the hosting country. So drag and drop country into the rows, same thing. And we can change, for example, its name. So we'll go to country, we we'll click on it, rename. And for example, we name it hosting country, right? Okay. So we increase the width. All right. So now I'm going to format our table. So right click format, put everything in white and eight. The shading it will be in black, right? And the borders we put everything in white. White and here also in white. For the alignment we put everything in the center, right? And also for the shading, for row banding, we select orange, right? Same thing for the header, and we put it like that. We can do the same thing for the title, so double click, put it in the center in white, bold, and 11. Apply OK, right click, format, we add the border in white and the shading in green. So, like that, we have our detailed table for winners and top teams by World Cup year and final study. Next, we are going to create a map for the audience by country and year. So click on your worksheet, write map audience by country and year. Okay. So we go to World Cups table with a big click on hosting country. We drag and drop the audience into the color. We click on automatic and we select map. Here we have two unknown edit locations. So for England, I'm going to select United Kingdom. And for Korea or Japan, we are going to select one of them. So for example, we can select here uh, we have Japan, right? Okay. Okay. We click on color, edit color, and we change it, for example, into orange gold, sign. Here for the lowest values, we are going to select all of them, put them in this color. Same thing for these values, we are going to put it in this color. So apply, okay. Same thing, we drag and drop here into the tooltip, right? So like that, we have the year, the country, and the attendance, right? Same thing for the color, we can increase opacity into 100%. The border, we put them in black. And we click on map, background maps, put dark. Same thing for the title. So we put it in the center, white bold and 11 apply ok right click format title and the shading will be in green the border in white same thing we can also put the worksheet in black so shading worksheet in black like that we get our map for the audience by country and the we can also remove the legend next we are going to create our title so new worksheet, the first one we name it title one, okay. And we create new calculated field, we name it title one. And it will be World Cup results. Apply, okay. So we hide title, we drag and drop title one into text. We increase its width, we right click, format, 
and the worksheet we select bold white and 20 the shading it will be in black we increase its width and the alignment it will be in the center okay duplicate this worksheet so name it title 2 okay same thing we create another calculated field we name it title 2 right and we add our years so we have 930 to 2014 apply okay so we remove title 1 and we put title 2 so like that we have created all the worksheets now we are going to create our dashboard so you click on new dashboard and we select the size so here we put 1850 and here we put 1050 we click on dashboard format and we select black right now we drag and drop our sheets so here we have the countries we put it on the top so here we have the teams okay just like that then we have countries that hosted the world cup next we have the stacked bar chart right put it in here then we have the map next we have countries and the detail table okay now i'm going to import our world cup logo so you double click on image and all the links are available in the description okay so fit image center image we have here world cup logo okay and we put it in the center like that okay so this one same thing put it as thing put it inside the stacked bar chart we remove this okay that's great this one we put it entire view right we remove the title and we format our legends so format legends and the border we put it in white okay next we are going to add our titles right to select floating and we add the first title then the second title so high title high title and we put it like that okay like that second one same thing put it in here then we also double click on blank layout background in white and we add our lines okay copy paste put one in here second one like that all right now I'm going to add the flags for the countries okay so same thing select floating and also all the links are available in the description so start by the flag of Brazil okay so I put it inside like that next we have Italy same thing okay Next we have Germany. 
Okay. So we copy that, paste it. Because we have two. So we put one in here. Second one in here. Then we have okay. So double click on image. Then Argentina. And Spain. France. And finally we have England. So double click. All right. So like that we get our final dashboard for World Cup results between 1930 and 2040. In this video, we'll create the following interactive dashboard about customer personality analysis. Customer personality analysis is mainly about collecting information from customers by a business in order to modify its products based on its target customers. It is based on what we call in marketing the four P's, which are product, place, price, and promotion. As you can see, we'll create the different charts like horizontal bar chart, donut charts, histograms, bar charts, and density charts based on data that we have in our data set. We'll also add two highlighters, which are marital status and education, which will allow us to analyze deeply our dashboard. For marital status, we can change the different categories, right? As you can see here. And same thing for education. So we have two charts that depend on education highlight. But before start working with Tableau, let's first explore our data set. So you can find the link to this data set in the description. And as you can see here about the data set, so we have customer personality analysis is a detailed analysis of a company's ideal customers, right? It helps a business to better understand its customers and it makes it easier for them to modify products according to specific needs, behaviors and concerns of different types of customers. So here we have an example. Instead of spending money to market new product to every customer in the company's database, a company can analyze which customer segment is most likely to buy the product and then market the product only on that particular segment. So mainly the target or the objective of this data set is to perform clustering to summarize customer segments. But in our case, we are going to use Tableau in order to analyze our data set and to create our dashboard. So for the content, as we have said, it is based on what you call in marketing the four P's, so which are people, products, promotion, and place. Here we have the different colors. So we have the ID, which is customer's unique identifier, year of birth. We have the education, which is customer's education level. Then we have the marital status, the income, so customer's yearly household income. Then we have the number of children at home. Same thing, we have number of teenagers. Then we have DT customer, which is date of customer's enrollment with the company. We have recency and we have complaint. So one, if the customer complained in the last two years, zero otherwise. Next for products, we have six different columns. So we have the amount spent on wine in the last two years. Same thing on fruits, 
meat, fish, sweets, and gold, right? So everything is based on the last two years. So for promotion, we have the first one, which is number of purchases made with a discount. Then we have six different campaigns. And the type of data is Boolean. So one, if the customer accepted the offer in the first campaign, zero otherwise. And for the response, same thing. It is the last campaign. And one, if the customer accepted the offer, zero otherwise. Next for the place, we have four different columns. So we have number of purchases made through the company's website, then using the catalog, directly in stores, and the last one is number of visits to company's website in the last month. As I said, the target is to perform class train, but we are going to use it in order to create our dashboard. So now let's import our file in Tableau and start creating our dashboard. Once we have imported our file, which is marketing campaign, we can see that we have 29 columns or 29 fields and 2,240 rows. So here we have all the different columns that we have just seen, right? Now we are going to create our first worksheet. So we click on sheet one and we name it place with marital stars, right? Okay. So Java can drop major names into the filters. We select none and we are going to create a horizontal bar chart for the different places. So we have number of catalog purchases, number of store purchases, and number of web purchases. We select apply. Okay. We press control key and we drag and drop major names into the rows. Same thing, we drag and drop major values into the columns. We can sort that. We select entire view and we drag and drop my status into the color. We can change the color, so we click on color, edit color, and we are going to select jewel bright. Assign, apply, OK. Same thing, we press Ctrl key and we drag and drop your values into the label. And like that, we get our horizontal stacked bar chart for different places and marital stars. Now we are going to format our worksheet because we are going to duplicate that several times and we are not going to format that every time. So we start from workbook. You click on format workbook and we define here our fonts so for the worksheets we define bold black 8 for the titles we define bold black 11 we click on more so we remove all the grid lines we select off same thing for zero lines we select off for the axis rulers, we select black, and same thing for axis text, we select black. So like that, when we create new worksheet, these different options will be applied automatically. Same thing, we are going to format our worksheet. As we have said, we are going to duplicate that several times. So we double click on the axis, we remove the title. We click on color and we define the border as black. Same thing, we right click format for the header we select the alignment in the center we add our borders so we put everything in black same thing for our divider and column divider right we double click on our title we put it in the center apply ok we right click on the title format title border in black and the shading in white. We add our highlighter. To do that, we click on analysis, highlighters, and we add marital stars. So click on the down icon in here, edit title, and we remove highlight. Okay. So like that, we get our worksheet formatted, and we are going just to duplicate that. We remove different fields, and we create all the other worksheets. Next, we are going to create another stacked bar chart for number of customers enrollment per month. So we duplicate this worksheet and we name it number of customers enrollment per month. Okay. So we remove everything.
So Jura can drop date customer into the column and we select month. We right click hide field. We drag and drop the ID into the rows and we select count. We click on automatic and we select bar. And we drag and drop the marital status into the color. We double click on this axis. We remove the title. We press control key and we drag the count into the label. We right click on the axis format and for the dates we select abbreviation so like that we get our bar chart for number of customers enrollment per month and marital status same thing we are going to create another stacked bar chart for number web visits per month and marital status so we duplicate this one All right number web visits Per month, marital status. Okay, so we remove the month from the columns and we drag and drop number web visits month into the columns and we get our stacked bar chart. So here we have number web visits per month and marital status in the colors. Same thing, we create another horizontal bar chart for the products and marital status. So same thing, right click, duplicate, we name it products, marital status. So same thing, we remove the number of visits per month from the columns. We drag and drop major names into the filters. We select none and here we select our products. So we have the amount fish products, fruits, gold products, meat, and sweet, with also the wine. So we have six, apply, okay. So we remove the count, same thing in here, we remove the count. We press control key and we drag and drop measure names into the rows and measure values into the columns. We can sort that. We press control key and we drag and drop measure values into the label. We double click on the axis and we remove value. And like that, we get our horizontal stacked bar chart for different products and marital status. Next, we are going to create our donut charts. So, duplicate this to have the same formatting, right? The first one we call it complaints. Okay. So, we remove everything. We create the calculated field, we name it total customers. So we are going to use LOD, what we call level of detail, and we are going to use fixed count ID. So what this means is that we are going to display the total customers, whatever we put, for example, in the filters. As you will see, if we use only count ID and we change our filters, so the value will change. But when we define fixed count ID, even though we use filters, the value stays the same. So I write apply, okay. We create another calculated field, we call it label. And it will be string, you write total of. Apply, okay. So we are going to convert complaint into a dimension. You click on complain, aliases. So as we have said, if it is zero, it means no. If it is one, it means yes. Okay. We drag and drop complaint into the color. Instead of bar, we select pie. We drag and drop the ID into the angle. And we select count. Same thing, we press control key, we drag and drop complaint into text and the count into label. Same thing. We click on count 
quick table calculation and we select percent of total now we edit our colors so if it is yes we put it in red if it is no we put it in green apply okay so we double click on the rows we write zero okay press control key and we duplicate we we'll go to the second one we we'll remove everything we we'll click on color and we we'll put it in white we we'll go to the first one we we'll increase the size we we'll click on the second sum and we select dual axis so like that we get our donut chart we can right click on this axis we we'll remove the header now what we are going to do is that we are going to duplicate this seven times in order to create the remaining donut charts but first let's convert our measures into dimensions so this one convert to dimension same thing convert to dimension convert to dimension fourth one the fifth and the last one which is response let me just add a t in here now when we add total of as we have said we have created total customers we'll get the total customers even though if we change the filters but in the next donut charts as you will see when we change the filters the count id will change so here we drag and drop the label that we have created into the label of the inner circle and same thing total customers into the label so we are going to put it like that in the center And now we are going to duplicate our sheet. So right click duplicate. We call it first campaign, right? And yes. So we select only yes. So we drag and drop accepted campaign one into the filters. We select one. Apply. Okay. So we remove some of total customers. And we drag and drop the ID into the label. We select count as you can see here we have the value changed because we have selected our filter now what we are going to do is that we remove complain from the color complain from text and we drag and drop my status into the color we press control key and we drag and drop my status into the label and we put the count after the marital status so like that to get our donut chart for the first campaign for people who said yes all right and we are going to do the same thing for the remaining campaigns so duplicate this one we rename it instead of first we'll have second okay so remove our filter and we add the second one apply ok we'll do the same thing for the third so duplicate we remove our filter we add the third one apply ok as you see the total is changing because we have not used fixed right we duplicate so we have the fourth campaign right we remove the third and we add the fourth apply ok duplicate so here we have the fifth we remove this one and we add the fifth one apply ok and the last one duplicate so we call it last which is response so we drag and drop response so we remove the first one and we drag and drop response we put it to one apply ok so like that we have created the donut charts for the campaigns now we create our last donut chart which is for purchases with discount so we duplicate right purchase with discount right okay so we remove the filter we remove the count same thing here 
and we drag and drop number of tiers purchases into the angle. We press Ctrl key and we add it to the label. We click on it, quick table calculation percent of total, and same thing, we remove count ID from the second one and we drag and drop number of deals purchases into the label. So we have total of 5208. So like that we have created all the donut charts. Next we are going to create two horizontal bar charts. One for the average income by market status and the second one the average income by education. So we duplicate this worksheet and we write average income and first one is marital status. Okay, so we remove everything. Remove, same thing we remove. We drag and drop marital status into the rows. Income into the column and we select the average. We click on buy, we select bar. We can sort that. We press control key and we drag and drop the average into the label. Right click, hide field label for rows. Double click on the axis, we remove the title. We can decrease the size. So we click on the label format and on numbers we select currency custom okay we click on color and we select this color so here we have average income by marital status we duplicate this one and we will have the average income by education okay so we remove marital status from the rows and we add education into the rows. Same thing, we can decrease the size a little bit. And we change its color into green. We can sort that and we get our final horizontal bar chart. Next, we are going to create two histograms. One for people and age with marital status. And the second one is also for people and age with education. So we duplicate this one. We name it people by age and marital status, right? So we remove everything. We create a calculated field, we name it age, and it will be 2023 minus year of birth. Apply, okay. So we double click on age, we click on show me and we select histogram. As you can see here, automatically the bins are created. We click on age bin, edit, and the size it will be five. Okay. Now we are going to edit our axis. So we remove bin. And as you can see here, we have only two values for 120 and the other one 130 so we can define fixed axis let's say it starts from 20 and it ends at 90 okay so we double click on this axis we remove the title okay and we drag and drop marital status into the colors so here we have marital status into color so like that, we have our first histogram for people by age and marital status. We can duplicate this. We will have people by age and education. Okay. So we remove marital status from the color and we add education. We can change its color. So edit colors and we put winter. Assign, apply, okay. Same thing, we are going to add a highlighter that depends on education. We click on the highlighter, edit title, and we remove highlights. Okay, 
So like that, we have our histograms. Next, we're going to create two density charts. The first one is the number of kids at home and the marital status, and the second one, number of teenagers at home and the marital status. So duplicate this one. We name it kids at home and the marital status. Okay, so we remove the count of age, we remove education, we drag and drop marital status into the rows. We select the entire view. We click on automatic and we select density and we drag and drop kid home into the color. So we increase its size and we change its color into, let's say, density multicolor light. Okay, we can increase its intensity into 70% and like that we get our first density chart. We can duplicate this one and we will have teenagers at home, right? Okay, so we remove the sum of the kids and we replace it by teen home. Okay, so like that we get our second density chart. Now like that we have created all the worksheets. Let's create our dashboard. Let me just change the title in here. So, there is same thing in here. So we are going to remove the legends from the different charts. So we keep this one and the remaining we are going to remove that. Hide. Same thing in here, we hide. This one also. Same thing for this one. Average income, average income. This one also. For education, we keep it. And like that, we click on new dashboard. We define our size. So 1850 and 1050. Okay. We click on dashboard format. We define it as yellow with intensity of 50%. Okay, and now we drag and drop our sheets. So we start from the place, then we have the number, right? After that, we have the products, and here we have web visits, right? Next, we will have the on the charts, right? So one first. Wait a second, third, so I have here fourth, fifth, last, and purchases, right? Okay, so for the highlighter, so for the legend, I will put it in floating, and the highlighter, I put it here on the top, all right. Well, the status I put it inside here. For the remaining, I put them like that. Same thing for this, and also for this one. Then we are going to add the average income in here. Same thing for this one. Then we have the histograms, and we have the density charts. Okay, so like that we have added all the worksheets. Now I'm going to adjust the sizes, right? This one, same thing, we put it as floating, put it inside this histogram. Okay, 
key so the highlighter put it like that this one in the center okay this all right so here this one I will put it like that same thing for this one like this Okay. This so one like this in here. Same thing for this one. And also just want to put it in the center like that. I want to decrease this one. And same thing in here. Okay, so just move this one in the center. All right, so for this one, I will remove the title, put it inside. Format, so the border it will be in black. Okay, same thing for this one, I remove the title, put it in the center. format and the border same thing in black okay so like that we have all our charts now what we are going to do is that we are going to add the padding and also the borders okay so you select for example first one layout and the padding we put it as six same thing we add border for the highlighter we put the same thing border and padding we put it also as six and we are going to do that for all the charts right six and border in black same thing for this one and the border the padding it will be six so we are going just to format the highlighters so the alignment in the center and the border in black same thing for this one so it will be in the center and the border in black okay now we continue with the borders and the padding same thing six for this one border six border and six so continue with all the charts We add also for the donut charts, same thing. So we have border and also padding, right? Padding six. Have the padding, right? black and six and the last one border and padding we have six 
Okay. Now, if we select presentation view, we get our final dashboard. So, if we use highlighter, we get the different values. And same thing for education. In this video, I will show you how to create the following interactive dashboard, which is about stock market analysis. The data set that we are going to use is available on Kaggle and it contains data for about 6,000 companies. To create our dashboard, we are going to pick six files for six different companies, which are Apple, Facebook, Google, Nvidia, Tesla, and Twitter. And also, we are going to use Pandas with its built in functions to manipulate our data and create new columns that we will use in our analysis. Like for example, moving average and person change, which are mainly used for comparison. As you can see here, we are going to create different KPIs. We'll have also a highlighter for different companies. As you can see here, for example, if we choose the company, we can see the different values. We're going to create a multiple line chart for different volumes, and different companies. Same thing, we are going to create a detailed table for close price and volume. Another multiple line chart for moving average and the open price and also a histogram for different companies which represent percent change in price. So now let's explore our data set. So here we have stock market data set, which represents the historical daily prices of NASDAQ traded stocks and ETFs. We can find this link in the description. And as you can see here, it is a huge data set, which is more than 500 megabytes. So you can either choose to download this data set or you can find also the links to my GitHub repository where you can download the six files that we are going to use to create our dashboard. As we have said, this data set contains historical data prices for all tickers currently trading on NASDAQ. And it contains prices for up to April 1st, 2020. And if you need more up-to-date data, you can fork and rerun data collection script also available from Kaggle. For data structure, we have mainly seven columns, right? So we have the date, specifies trading date, we have opening price, the maximum price during the day, the minimum price during the day, close price adjusted for splits, for both dividends and splits, and also we have the volume, which represents the number of shares that change the hands during a given day. But as I said, we are not going to use directly these files and upward them to Tableau, but we are going first to use pandas in order to create new columns that we are going to use in our analysis. So you open your Jupyter notebook, and if you are not familiar with pandas, then you can find the links to the resulting files that we are going to create using pandas, and you can use them directly to create the dashboard. So first we import pandas as PD, right? Next we are going to import our CSV files. So the first one is Apple pd.readcsv, right? And its name is aapl.csv. Next, we have Facebook. So it is pd.readcsv. This fb.csv. Next, we have Google. pd.readcsv. And it is Google CSV. Next we have NVIDIA, right? PD dot NVDA dot CSV. Next we have Tesla. TSLA dot CSV. And the last one is Twitter. The same thing, pt.readcsv, and it is twtr.csv. We execute that. If we write apple.head, so we get the first file. Same thing for Facebook. Google.head I 
NVIDIA, we have Tesla, and finally we have Twitter. Okay, so like that we have all the files that we need. And the second thing that we are going to do is to create a list of data frames. So we call it DFS, which will contain all the data frames. So we have Apple, then we have Facebook, Google, Nvidia, Tesla, and Twitter. The reason to create our list is rather than applying the same function six times, we are going to use a for loop and apply the same function to our list. The first thing that we are going to do is to create the moving average. So to do that, we write for df in our list, dfs. So for each data frame, we are going to add a column, which is moving average 50, which is equal to df dot we take the close price and we use a rolling built-in function 50 dot mean All right so we copy that and we do the same thing for moving average 200 so 200 and here same thing 200 so if we run that and we, for example we select apple dot head we get our two new columns as you can see here we have not a number for the first rows because for the first one it starts from 50 for the second one it starts from 200 so if we write 50 run we get our value starting from 50 same thing if we write 200 run as you can see here it starts from this row okay Next, we are going to create another column which is named previous day close price. So, I'm going to use this column in order to calculate the daily change regarding the close price. Okay, so to do that, we write for df in dfs. So, df, we name it previous day close price. It is equal to df dot, we set close price. And we are going to use the shift built-in function one run that same thing if we take apple dot head so we have previous day close price this one it is not a number because it is the first one but for the second one for example if we take the date which is this one the previous close price is this one and it is the same in here same thing for 17th before we have this price and it is the same in here okay now i'm going to create another column that we will name change in price okay so same thing for df in dfs df we said change in price it is equal to df close price minus df the column that we have created so previous day close price so if we run that, same thing, apple.head, we get our change in price, okay? So if it is negative, it means it decreased. If it is positive, it increased. So we add new cells. Next, we calculate the percent change or the return. And to do that, we are going to use PCT change or person change built in function. Same thing, write for DF in DFS df we call it percent change in price right it is equal to df dot close dot pct change or percent change if we execute that same thing we write apple dot head get our percent change so it is the close price minus previous day close price so it is change in price divided by previous day close price okay so this is the return now i'm going to create three more columns and this time i'm going to create that using the volume so we write for df in dfs df 
so we said previous day volume right it is equal to df dot volume dot shift and we write one so if we write apple dot head we get the previous day volume as you can see here we have the following volume the previous day volume is this one and it is equal to this value same thing we calculate change in volume right so for df in dfs df change in volume it is equal to df volume right minus df previous day volume okay same thing apple dot head and here we have the change okay same thing it can be negative or it can be positive and the last column is person change in volume okay so for df in dfs so df percent change in volume it is equal to df dot volume dot percent change okay and volume v it is capital case right so apple dot head and we get our percent change in volume okay now what we are going to do is that we are going to save our data frames as csv files that we are going to use to create our dashboard to do that we write for the first one apple dot to csv and we give it a name so we write apple dot csv okay so by default it will be stored or it will be it will be saved in the same place where i have the jupyter notebook but you can choose any location you want okay next one we have facebook dot to csv and we write the same thing facebook dot csv next we have google dot csv it will be google dot csv same thing for nvidia right to csv dot to csv right and it is the same name so nvidia dot csv next we have tesla right dot to csv it is tesla dot csv and the last one it will be twitter dot to csv and same thing we write twitter dot csv if we execute that so we get our files so here we have our list of the csv files and when we drag apple and drop it in here we can see the following table now what we are going to do since all the tables have the same data structure and all the columns have the same data types so we click on the down icon in here convert to union we drag and drop all the files into our union right facebook google nvidia tesla and twitter apply okay and as you can see here a new column will be appeared which is table name so here we have one single table and we can distinguish between data from one table to another using this column which is table name so we are going to change its name into company so you click on the icon in here rename and you name it company okay same thing you click one more time aliases and we remove dot csv for all the files okay same thing for facebook for google nvidia tesla and twitter okay so like that we get the name of the companies next to make our analysis much simpler we are going to add what we call data source filter so you click on add 
add date okay years next and here we select the last five years so 2020 19 18 17 and 16 okay okay so like that we have only the last five years in the data set so you click on your worksheet and we are going to create two parameters so you click on the down icon in here create parameter we name it start date data type it will be a date range fixed add values from date okay same thing create another parameter and date data type it will be date range fixed add values from date okay next we create a calculated field so you click on the down icon in here create calculated field and we name it study period so we say if date is greater or equal then start date and date is less or equal than and date give me one else zero and apply okay and we convert it to a dimension so we click convert to dimension so you click in here show parameter same thing for the end date show parameter so you can decrease to the minimum right for start date and for maximum for end date what we are going to do is that we are going to visualize the volume for different companies depending on the date so we drag and drop date into column and we select exact date same thing we drag and drop the volume into the rows we drag and drop company into color and as you can see here we have the volume for different companies we drag and drop study period into the filter we select one apply ok we double click on this axis we remove the title same thing for the date we remove the title and as you can see here if we change the date we can see our charts are changing we can also modify the colors so edit colors for apple which is gray facebook blue google yellow nvidia green tesla red and twitter choose this color apply okay so we name the sheet volume okay and we click on format workbook and we format our workbook so for worksheets we select bold black eight for the titles we select bold black 11 grid lines off zero lines same thing off and axis text in black axis rulers in black okay we double click on the title and we put it in the center apply okay so like that we get our multiple line chart for the volume of different companies depending on the date next we are going to create a histogram for price person change so you click on new worksheet we name it price percent change all right we double click on percent change in price we click on show more histogram we remove this one we drag and drop company into color study period into filters we select one apply ok we click on the bins edit and we select 0 0.0025 ok we double click on the axis so we remove bin and we select fixed so we select minus 0 0.1 to 0 0.1 okay so like that we get our histogram for price person change double click on the axis we remove the title we double click on the title and we put it in the center 
apply ok and like that we get our histogram for percent change in price next we are going to create multiple line chart for moving average and open price so new worksheet right moving average and open price so drag and drop measure names into the filters none we select ma200 ma50 and open apply ok we drag and drop the date into the columns we select the exact date same thing we drag and drop measure values into the rows we press on control key and we drag and drop measure names into the color we can edit the colors for example you click in here edit colors you can select for example winter right for ma200 we can select this color ma50 this color and for open we can select this color apply ok we drag and drop company into filters we select one apply ok we show the filter and we select custom remove all and single value drop down double click on the axis we remove the title same thing for the date we double click on the title and we put it in the center apply ok we right click on the axis format and we select numbers currency custom and we select zero decimal places ok so like that we get our multiple line chart for moving average and open price next we are going to create detailed price table the worksheet so we name it detailed price table so we have company then we have close price it will be discrete next we have previous day close price same thing it will be discrete then we have change in price same thing discrete and person change in price we put it in text same thing it will be discrete but what we want really to do is to display the close price of the last day and we want to control this last day so to do that we are going to create calculated field we name it last day only and we say if date equals to max since we want to control this last day we are going to put end date then one else zero end but as you can see here we have an error it says that cannot mix aggregate and no aggregate arguments with this function so what we are going to do is that we are going to add LOD right so we write fixed max and date then one else zero so here we have last day only apply ok we convert it to dimension and we drag and drop it into the filters we select one apply ok so as you can see here we have last day only and we can control it using the end date so we can show the start date show end date right and like that it is changing right but as you can see here we don't have a name for this column since we put it in text what we are going to do is that we drag and drop measure names into columns we right click edit aliases and we put change in percentage okay we click on it format pane and it will be percentage okay same thing for the remaining so right click format header numbers it will be custom number custom to decimal places same thing for this one 
number custom and for close number custom okay so like that we get our table we can also add study period to the filters you select one apply okay we can increase the width all right now we need to create the arrows right so you click on down icon in here create calculated field the first one we call it upper price so we say if person change in price is positive right then so we copy and paste the upper arrow so same thing you can find the link in the description to this file right so we copy the upper row we put it in here and so this is upper price apply okay we create another calculated field we name it down price same thing if person change in price is negative right then so same thing we copy and paste the down arrow and apply okay so draw can drop upper price into text same thing down price into text we click on text we click on three dots and we rearrange that right so we cut put it in here same thing for down price we put it in here so upper price we put it in green and down price we put it in red put it in the center apply okay so like that we have our rows so if we select another date where we have both positive and negative so as you can see here if it is positive then it will be green if it is negative it will be red now we are going to format our sheet double click put it in the center apply okay for the price we are going to add the so format it will be currency custom same thing for this one currency custom change in price same thing currency custom okay it will be in the center same thing for the header in the center and we add our borders put everything in black so just for change in price we have to put it as currency standard right so like that we get our detail table for the price next we are going to add another detail table for the volume so click on your worksheet we name it detailed volume table okay so drag and drop the company into the rows next we have volume it will be discrete next we have previous day volume same thing it will be discrete then we have change in volume discrete and person change in volume we put it in text same thing it will be discrete so we increase the size and we put major names into the colors now we select last day only one apply okay so show parameter show parameter study period we put it as one apply okay convert it into a percentage format pane it will be percentage so right click format we put everything in the center right and now we'll add the arrows 
so for down price we duplicate this one and edit we name it down volume right and same thing person change in value apply okay same thing for upper price so duplicate edit and it will be upper volume and same thing we change the price into volume apply okay so draw can drop upper volume into text same thing for down volume we click on text three dots and where we arrange so we cut paste same thing cut paste so upper we put it in green and down we put it in red in the center apply okay now we can format that so format we add the borders and put everything in black Can increase the width and like that we get our detailed volume table we just put the title in the center apply okay and now I'm going to create our text sheets so click on your sheet the first one we name it last day To create one calculated field and we name it last day text and it will be last day apply okay we create another one create calculated field we name it last day and it will be max and date apply okay so we drag and drop last day text into text same thing last day into text so we hide title and we are going to format that we select pane and we select this format so like that we get a clear idea about the day that we are selecting as last day because as you know on saturday and sunday we don't have data all right so here we know exactly which day of the week we are selecting we're going to format that so we put it in the center we click on text so the first one we put it in 10 and the second one we put it in 9 apply okay so here we have our last day so duplicate this we create another one we call it last day total volume right so we copy we create calculated field we name it last day total volume and we add our text apply okay so we remove this we remove this we drag and drop last day total volume into text we drag and drop last day only into the filters and we select one apply okay and we drag and drop the volume into text so here we have last day total volume same thing we click on text we put the first one in 10 and the second one in nine apply okay so same thing we duplicate this one and we name it lowest price in the period okay so remove everything we drag and drop study period into the filters we select one apply okay we create calculated field we name it 
lowest price in the period same thing we add our text apply okay drag and drop lowest price into text and same thing we have here the low price into text we select minimum we can also format that and it will be currency custom all right same thing we click on text push the first one in 10 and the second one in 9 apply okay increase a little bit all right duplicate this one so now we select the highest price in the period right and as you know the period depends on the start date and end date so we keep the study period and we remove that we create another calculated field we name it highest price in the period same thing the string highest price in the period apply ok drag and drop it into text and also we drag and drop here high into text and we select the maximum same thing we format that and it will be custom currency we click on text we put this as 10 and this one as 9 apply ok so duplicate this one we'll have total volume in the period right we create another calculated field we name it total volume in the period and the string it will be the same apply ok so remove the two we drag and drop total volume into text and same thing we drag and drop the volume into text we click on it so the first one it will be 10 and the second one it will be 9 apply ok now create our title ok so new worksheet we name it title ok and we create calculated field we name it title and it's gonna be stock market right dashboard apply ok so you put it in text we hide this title right click format and we put it as 48 and it will be in the center so like that we have created all the text sheets next we are going to create our dashboard so we click on new dashboard we define our size so we have 1850 and 1050 okay now we are going to add blanks right so first one have here second one third one fourth fifth okay another one in here so like that we have for the four okay we add another one on the top like that and we add the remaining for the kpi so one blank another blank another blank another blank and another blank okay next we click on dashboard format we select the following color right next for the first one which is for the title background we select the third one 70 percent okay 
we add the outer padding right put it as 15 for the remaining we are going to add the background as white so for this one it will be white and then same thing 15 same thing for the others so here 15 and it will be white same thing for this one put it to white background white fifteen borders none and background white same thing for this one background white fifteen white Fifteen, same thing. Fifteen, white. White. Fifteen. Okay, and the last one, we put it same thing as fifteen and background white all right so now we have to rearrange the sizes okay and here same thing we increase a little bit like that Okay, so now we have our design. Next, we are going to drag and drop our sheets. So we select floating, right? And we start by volume, right? So here we have the end date. Put it like that. And edit title, we put it in the center. Okay. Same thing, start date. Put it in here and in the title in the center All right we add our highlighters so company we put it in here right in the title remove highlight put it in the center okay next here we remove the title and we put it in here right now we increase our size okay so we have our volume Next, we have the price person change. I right? to put it in here, same thing. So we we'll put it like that. Increase. Put it in here. Can also add the legend, but it's the same. Okay. So remove the title. I put it like that okay next we add the moving average and the open price right so we put it like that so here we have our legend we remove the title put it in here like that a 
for the company same thing we remove the title and we put it in here so we can change the company okay that's great for the highlighter also it is applied on the histogram next we are going to add our tables so detailed price so we hide the title same thing for the volume we hide the title and also we hide the header right so we put it as entire view same thing for this one as entire view and we are going to rearrange that so for the first one put it in here like that and we add this one so decrease decrease same thing for this one can decrease okay all right so like that we have our detail table okay for both close price and volume okay and as you can see here when we select the highlighter it is applied on the tables and also the histogram with the multiple line chart next we are going to add our kpis right so we have last day we hide the title and we put it in here all right okay next we have last day total volume same thing we hide the title put it like that lowest price High title put it inside okay highest price same thing high title it inside like that and the last one is total volume high title same thing we put it inside okay now we add our title same thing high title increase it like that like that format for the shading we select none and we put it inside okay just put it in the center and now we add the logos for the companies so same thing floating we click on double click on image first one is apple logo okay so 
So you put it like that. All right. Same thing. Double click. Facebook. All right. We have Google. Put it like that. Next we have Nvidia. Same thing, we put it in here. Then we have Tesla. So the links to download these logos are available in the description. Okay. And now we'll add the last one, which is Twitter. So now if we select the presentation mode and like that we get our final stock market dashboard. In this video I'm going to create the following dashboard which is about Breaking Bad series. As you can see here I'm going to create different charts like Lollipop chart, Word Cloud, Sunburst chart, Area chart, box plot and different text sheets. Also as you can see here on the top of this dashboard we have the different titles of the episodes and each time we select a title it will give us the season, the episode, the IMDB rating, the date of release, duration in minutes and US views. On the right we have the description of the series, on the left we have the title, but before creating our different charts let's first explore our dataset. So we import our file which is breakingbaddataset.csv and you can find the link in the description in order to download the dataset. We have 8 fields and 62 rows. The first column is about the release date of each episode. Then we have the season, so each season contains a given number of episodes and in total we have 5 seasons. Next we have the title of each episode, the duration in minutes of each episode, we have the US viewers in millions, IMDB rating, and the director. So here for each episode we have a director. Now let's create our first sheet. So click on sheet 1. We change the release date into date. Okay. US viewers in millions into number decimal. And we convert it into measure. For the season we convert it to dimension. And same thing for the episode we convert it to dimension. The first chart that we are going to create is the area chart for the viewers by year. So draw and drop release date into the columns. We select the entire view. We drag and drop US viewers in millions into the rows. And we get our line chart. So click on automatic and we select the area chart. And we are going to format our worksheet. So double click on the axis. We cut the title. And we rename the sheet US viewers in millions by year. Okay. We right click on the release date height field labels. We click on format workbook. And here we are going to select grid lines as off. And same thing, zero lines as off. We right click format. For the shading, we select green. And if you want to get the exact color, you can find the code in here. All right. Okay. For the color of the area chart, we select white. And same thing for the font, we are going to select everything in white. So bold, nine, white. For the borders, we select everything in white. Okay. White. White. 
same thing for row divider and column divider and same thing for the title double click you put it in the center bold white apply ok right click format title and we add the border in white it's so like that you get our first sheet which represents the US viewers in millions by year next we are going to create the word cloud for different characters so right click duplicate double click on the title change it to characters right we remove everything from the rows and the columns we close this one and we drag and drop the director into label we click we select text and we drag and drop episode into the size and we select measure count so like that the bigger is the name the higher is the number of episodes for example for the biggest word we have count of episode is 11 for michael mclaren then we have adam bernstein we have eight etc so like that we get our word cloud for the different directors by the number of episodes next we are going to create lollipop for the episodes by seasons same thing we duplicate this one we rename it into episodes by season right okay so we remove everything we drag and drop season into the columns the episode into the rows and we select the count so measure count and here we select automatic right we press control key and we duplicate the value so we click on the first one and we select circle we decrease the size of the second one we click on the second one and we select dual axis bar and we increase the size of the circles okay we right click we hide the header same thing we double click and we remove the title we press ctrl key and we drag and drop the count of episode into the label we click on label for the font we select black and it will be in the middle and center so like that to get the different episodes by season next we are going to create the box plot for the imdb rating by season so same thing right click duplicate and write the imdb rating by season okay so we remove everything from the rows and we keep season in columns and the imdb rating into the rows so click on box plots we drag and drop season into the columns we select the entire view we click on analysis and we click on aggregate measures we double click so remove the title and we do not want to include zero like that we get our box plots you can also change the colors of the box so you right click on the axis and edit reference line and here you can select the color that you want for example we select this one dark gray and we click on ok we get the following box plot we can also drag and drop episode into the detail and for example you can see here the episode number six has the highest rating which is 9.3 and the episode number four has the least or the lowest value of the imdb rating which is 8.3 and for the highest rating we have the episode number 14 which has rating of 10. next we are going to create the sun burst chart for the episodes by season and minutes so same thing right click duplicate we change the title into set episodes by season and minutes okay so we remove everything same thing for the season and the episode we click on analysis we click one more time on aggregate measures 
we click on the down icon in here create calculated field we we'll name it point and we are going to use make point built-in function to create our point zero zero apply okay so drag and draw point into detail we have the first layer next we add layer and we add one more layer same thing we click on season hierarchy create hierarchy name it season and we click on episode hierarchy and add to hierarchy season we can also change the name of the marks so the first one is the center then we have the seasons and finally we have the episodes okay so remove the latitude and longitude from the columns and the rows we click on circle we select by same thing for the remaining by chart and for the color we select white we decrease its size okay for the second one we drag and drop season into the color and episode into the angle and we select count first one has 7 13 13 13 and the last one 16 for the last one same thing we drag and drop the hierarchy season into the color we click on the plus and we click in here we select color we can increase its size And like that we get the different episodes for each season but we have said that we want minutes so height card height card so we drag and drop duration in minutes into the detail so like that we get the different episodes in each season with the duration in minutes now we have to change the colors okay so to do that we click on analysis and we display the legend right we click on edit colors for blue we have blue for the red we are going to change it into green apply for this one we change it into its color apply and same thing for the green we change it into the corresponding color apply okay and like that we get our final sample chart for the episodes by season and minutes we can also create one more calculated field and we name it total episodes right and we name it dot episodes right apply okay so we click on center the first one we drag and drop the calculated field into the label and same thing episode into the label we select measure count click on label we put it in the center and we put it in black okay so like that we have our final sunburst chart next we are going to create our text sheet for description so right click duplicate so remove this one don't need it same thing for this one and here we remove everything so we hide the title so create calculated field description right and we copy and paste the content of this following file same thing you can find the link to download this file in the description so we copy everything and we paste it into our calculated field apply okay so here we select automatic and we drag and drop the description into text so like that we get our description for the size we can increase it and same thing for tooltip we can remove the description okay so like that we have our description just need to change the name of the sheet into description right
Next, we are going to create six text sheets. As we have said, we want to select a title, and for each title, we will have the season, the episode, the IMDb rating, the date, duration in minutes, and US viewers. So we duplicate the director sheet and we put it in here. So we name it season. Okay. So we remove everything. Hide the title. So drag and drop the title into the filters. Select one, apply OK. So show filter. And format to select the font in black. Customize, we remove all and single value drop down. We drag and drop the season into text. So click. Automatic, we select the center. And in here, we are going to write season. OK. Apply. OK. So like that, we have the season. Now, we duplicate. We need the episode number. So we remove season, drag and drop the episode. Same thing, we click and we add the episode. Apply. OK. Next, to want the IMDB rating. So we copy that. Same thing, we remove and we select the IMDB rating. We click and we paste IMDB rating. Select everything, center, apply, OK. We can also format that. So number, custom, and we select one decimal place. Next, we want the release date, so name it date or release date. So, we remove this one. We want the date, we click and we paste in the center. Apply OK and we want to format the date. So we click on Format and so we want to exact date and we click Format. We select the date. All right. So duplicate duration in minutes. We copy, so we remove, we drag and drop duration in minutes into text, we click, put everything in the center, apply, OK. And the last one is the US viewers, so duplicate, US viewers. Copy, OK. So you remove this one. We drag and drop US viewers into text. We click. Put it in the center. Apply, OK. And we can also add M in front of the number. Apply OK. So like that, we get our text sheets for the different titles. Now we are going to create our dashboard. So we click on New Dashboard. We define our size. So we put 1850 and 1050, right? And we drag and drop our sheets. So start by the area chart. 
and we click on dashboard format and we select green next we have the word cloud after that we have the lollipop next we are going to add an image okay so here we have the title of the series you can also find the link to download the images in the description and we are going to put it in here like that all right so center and fit image okay next we add the description in here then we have the box plots after that we have the samples chart and also I'm going to add another image so double click on image fit image center image and same thing you can find the link to download the image in description and we put it in our dashboard so now I'm going to just readjust the worksheets okay like that same thing in here okay now we go to the sheet and we decrease size of the bars right okay so same thing in here we go to the label and we decrease it to 8 okay Increase this one a little bit. Same thing in here. All right. Now I'm going to add the text sheets. Okay. Very nice. Okay. So we start by the season. Put it in here. Then we will have the episode and the IMDb rating. Release date duration and us viewers so high title same thing high title high title high title okay just like that all right and for the filters so we keep only one like that and we put it in here so format for the font it will be white same thing for the body it will be white and in the center for the border it will be white same thing and apply to worksheets selected worksheets and we select our worksheets okay now I'm going to put it like that okay same thing in here okay
all right like that to get our final dashboard so you can see when we change the title we get the episode the season the i am debating etc so this is our final interactive dashboard that depends on the different filters and parameters for example if we select the global sales north america sales Europe sales starting for example from 1990 or 1992 up to 2013 for example hey, hello guys and welcome to this tutorial about creating video game sales dashboard using tableau so first we are going to import our csv file to do that we click on tour file more you look for the folder where you have put the csv file and you double click on it in order to put it in tableau the link to download the csv file is available in the description so first let's see what we have in our data set as i said it is about video games sales so we have 11 fields so 11 columns and nearly 70k rows we have the rank for each name of the video game we have the platform the year the genre the publisher and we do have the total sales which are divided into five different columns we have north america sales europe sales japan sales other sales and global sales so let's go to worksheet and create our first graph so we click on sheet one for example if we want to create the total sales by year okay so we can do for example one graph for europe sales another worksheet for global sales another worksheet for japan sales and north america sales etc so this will take a lot of time and a lot of space in our dashboard so to work in a smarter way we are going to create a parameter and a calculated field which we will use as a filter in order to have all the sales in one graph so we will only need to play on the filter so to do that we create we click on create parameter we call it zone cells so the data type it will be string and allowable values it will be a list so we put our values here so we put eu cells we write global sales japan sales we have north america sales and finally we have other sales okay so you click on okay right so we have here our parameter now we create a calculated field so create calculated field we call it same thing zone sales okay and we use case statement so we have case right zone sales so right when we have europe sales no put it like a string u sales then we will have Europe sales okay when we have for example global sales then select for me global sales right when Japan sales same thing G GP sales okay then select for me Japan sales Okay, when we have North America sales, then select for me North America sales. Okay, and finally, when other sales, then select for me other sales. All right, and apply. Okay, now we start our visualization. We said we put the year in the columns okay so we have the different years right and we want to visualize the zone cells okay as we have said we can visualize Europe cells for example and then we do another worksheet for global cells as you are about here what we are going to do is that we are going to visualize the, the sum of zone cells okay and here we filter data right 
so we don't want to have null values and then you click on show parameter okay here you can change for example we have global sales we have other sales and we have for example North America sales okay so it is much better than having five worksheets so we can rename the worksheet as sales by years okay and for example we can uh, duplicate that so we click on we press on control key you put the sum in here the first one we are going to make it in black okay not this one so the first one it is in black and the second one it will be an area chart okay and we put it for example in blue or we click on more colors and we select another for example this one okay so just to uh, change the color uh, we, we click on dual access to create our graph okay so here we have our uh, graph and for example we can add uh, for example genera into the colors for example where we have put the area chart okay so we can drag and drop genera into the colors thus we will have the different uh, area charts for each genera depending on the years okay we can also put the genera into the filters for example show filter right and we change it into uh, multiple value drop down this will allow us to compare the different cells for example in North America okay so we have selected North America cells we can for example compare the genre let's say we compare action and racing okay for example action and racing between 1980 and the uh, and 2020 okay for example if you want to create and to zoom into the years using a filter we can create another parameter okay we call it create parameter right and we we'll put it start date it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be an integer right and we put it a range so select values from we put year so this is the start date okay and we create another parameter okay create parameter call it end date same thing as an integer and it will be a range select add values from the year okay we put it okay then we create another calculated field so create calculated field study period okay if year okay is greater or equal than start date and year is less or equal than the end date so the different parameters that we have created then give me one okay else give me zero so end apply okay so we, got, we are going to convert it into a dimension first okay convert to dimension and then we put it into the filters we select one so we want our period to be between start date and end date apply okay then we click on show parameter and show parameter right so here we can drag and drop the legend into the bottom and we can move and play with our date okay so for example we want to compare in the sales in europe for adventure and fighting between 1996 and 2013 okay so here we have our data we can also select all and select all the period okay so here we have dynamic and an interactive chart and it is better than having multiple worksheets to create chart for Europe global uh, North America other cells and other for genera etc okay so it is much much better to have this uh, these parameters that help us to create an interactive plot okay so here we have our legend the blue is action for example if you click on action adventure 
right misc etc now we are going to to do some modifications so edit axis right so we remove the year we know that it is year we do the same thing for the other axis so we put we remove the titles and this also will help us to gain space okay as you can see here we can change the name so we have by years and genre okay we double click on the title we select we put it in the middle in bold and we change it into black apply okay we are going to format our worksheet okay so here we do have we put it in black and bold right uh, we put the okay so we add the border so for the cell it will be in black for the plane same thing and for the header okay we can also format the title okay format title and we put for example shading we put this color right okay so here we have our first chart okay we can also edit the titles and uh, the filters and the parameters but we are going to do that when we uh, create our dashboard so this is the sales by years and genre so we have the the sales and the genre we can also play with the years right same thing so we have created the genre we have created the year now for example we can uh, create the different now we can show the different sales by for example name let's say the top 10 names by by sales okay so we create for example top 10 names by sales okay so we do the same thing we use the created calculated field okay uh, we put it in the rows right and or in the columns then we put the names in the rows okay so we are going to uh, sort that and we create a filter so we said top 10 names okay so it's top by field so top 10 by the uh, zone sales okay apply okay we convert it to the entire view and we can add for example you click on control you press on control key you put the sum in the labels right we can change the color it will be in blue right we can edit the axis axis so here we have Pokemon we have uh, same thing and we have the different names up, up to the tenth this is for as we can see here we can show the parameter right show parameter so here we are in Japan we go into to North America it will directly change to Wii Sports Super Mario etc if we go for example to uh, Europe same thing okay it will change we can do the same thing for the uh, the date for example start date and the end date we need to uh, put the study period into the filters one apply okay so we show the parameters show parameter and same thing show parameter right so we can play with different years right you can see too much tension here but starting from 2009 there is there is change okay Now this is for the filter, right? And we do the same thing. We do some modifications. So set by top ten names by sales, okay? Top ten name by sales. We do the same thing. So we are going to put it in the middle, in bold, right? In black, apply, okay? We remove or hide field labels for rows, and we format our worksheet, okay? So it will be in black and bold and the same thing for the title so we are going to format title and we put a sharing like blue or this one okay so here we have the top 10 names by sales we can just duplicate that 
okay and we for, for example here we have the publisher okay so we have the name now now we can visualize the platform so we put platform in the rows we sort same thing and we are going to create the top 10 show filter right no not show filter but filter top by field we have the top 10 apply okay so here we do have the top 10 we change the name okay so top 10 platforms by sales okay so the applicating is much much better to avoid doing the same modifications okay since here we only want to change the name and here we have the sum of the cells by uh, the zone okay if we change for example to Japan it will be changed okay for example if we go to North America same thing all right so we have top 10 platforms by sales we have the platforms in the rows the sum in the calendars and we change we remove the name okay so we don't label the name in the filters right and here we are going to have the top 10 okay top 10 sales or top 10 platforms by sales okay we have the zone of sales and we have the study period okay so here we have the top 10 platforms here we have the top 10 names as you can see here we have name in the filter and here we do have platform in the filter right we can duplicate that and do the same thing for the publisher right we can also change the type of the graph for example if we want to uh, have for example a uh, tree map or we do have uh, if you want to have for example a bubble chart for example okay and for example we can change here uh, the color so we add the sum into the label so can we see the the, the sum and we can change the color right edit color for example we can put it in blue sign palette apply okay but when we change it into uh, this it will be so the color will depend on the platform but we want the color that we depend on the uh, the sum okay so the darker is the uh, the color the more cells we have in the zone so we change we put the platform as detail and we change we press control key and we change the same into the colors right we do the same thing for the label okay so the darker the bigger is the circle the more cells we do have okay so we have the entire view right if we change it to uh, Europe okay same thing but we do have the name the sum of cells in detail and we change it into color right okay so here we have changed the uh, the color will depend on the sum the size the same thing it will depend on the sum and we have the labels okay so we have the platform and the total sales if we change it for example to Japan okay if we change it to North America right so we have uh, the different values we can uh, leave it as it is okay so the sum of the zone cells will depend on the color so the darker the color the more cells we have and we can do the same thing for the publisher so click it we click in here duplicate so top 10 cells or top 10 publishers by cells okay right so we have top 10 publishers by sales and here as we have said we remove the name we remove the name we put the publisher in the rows we sort that we click on filter top 10 okay apply all right so here we have the publisher top 10 publishers by sales and we have the sum and we have also the date so we can change it into Europe we can change it into global change it to uh, North America but if we remove the year as you can see here okay 
so Nintendo uh, has uh, before 2007 it was in the in the top okay it was the first or the second okay but starting from 2010 okay it has lost one place okay and in 2016 you know we have Ubisoft to have electronic arts that took the uh, the first position and second position in North America okay so we have we have used all the, the genre the names the platforms and the publishers all right for example same thing in here we can change it into a, another chart for example we can use stream map right and we can have we can add the sum into the labels so here we can we can see the total sales okay same thing when we change it to Europe change it to global sales okay so we have the sales by years right top 10 names by sales top 10 publishers by sales top 10 platforms by sales okay so we have used all these uh, terms we can also create another KPIs for example total names total platforms total total publishers and total genre okay so we write total names in the data set all right okay, we press ok to do that we put name in text and we put count d okay so we measure count d right same thing we put it in the entire view we format that okay so the alignment it will be in the middle right we put it in black bold for example in 10 right we can change the title so we can put it for example here in 12 and in black apply okay we can also format the title okay if we, if we put another shading for example we put this color and we have the total names in the data set right we can also so we'll duplicate that and we can see the total platforms okay so we have platform in text and we put count d right so we have 31 platforms we change it to total platforms in the data set total platforms okay can do the same thing for the publisher so we'll duplicate that duplicate we change it to publishers right publishers right and we put here publishers in count the right text and we change the measure into count distinct okay so we put the measure in count distinct so we have 579 publishers and finally we have the so we created the platforms the names the publishers and we have genre okay so we duplicate that duplicate total genres okay so we change the title into total genres right genre and we put here genre right so we have the count measure we select count D. we have 12 okay so this is for the different so this is for the different charts and graphs that we have created in our data set so we have here the dimensions and we have the measures we have created our parameters and our calculated fields right so we have the names the publishers platforms and the names so we have total names total uh, general platforms and so what we can create also we can create another uh, chart okay so for example create new worksheet okay since it is very important to know the total sales by genera so we create total sales by genera right so we put the genera into the columns right and we put the total sales so zone sales into the rows right so we order that 
and we select the entire view we can change the color into the blue right and we put the we press control key we put it into the label right we select the study period right one apply okay and we select our zone so show parameter right local cells europe cells and north america cells that will depend on the date so start date and end date okay so as you can see here it will change depending on the year and it is an interactive chart right so total sales by genera you can change the title so we do some modifications we will hide the field and same thing we edit the access right and we format our chart so click it on format so it will be bold in black right we change it into uh, black black same thing for the header and you can rotate for example our label okay so it will be action sports shooter etc right we can also change our title so it will be bold in black apply and we can format our title right so we select the shading the same thing as the first ones okay so this is for the different worksheets that we have created now we will create our dashboard okay so select here new dashboard and you define your size okay so first to define the size okay so for example i can increase the width okay all right uh, the height for example all right and we start importing our worksheets okay so we start by the first one which is sales by year then uh, we have sales by genera okay then we can add the top 10 by or uh, top 10 here so okay top 10 publisher by sales and we select entire view same thing in here same thing in here we add the top 10 here so the top 10 names and we have also the top 10 platforms okay so you can rearrange them as you want we can add the uh, the zone cells so we put it here we have the start date and we do have the end date okay so we are going to put and date we put them in here okay all right the zone cells we don't need that and we can change for example our dimensions okay so we are going to put that in here same thing for the map right we can increase the height okay if you want to you have okay then we do have our filters or our parameters right okay for the genera it is we can put it in flooring okay flooring and we can put it in here right we can also format the uh, parameters okay so click on format parameters right so the parameters be in the center and for the sharing for example you can choose this one or this color okay so this is for the parameters then we can change or edit our legend so format legend it will be in the center okay border we can be in black 
same thing for the genera so format filters and set controls it will be in the center okay and for the border it will be in black so this is for the genera and as you can see here if we change the zone it will be changed in all the uh, different graphs right so the top 10 publisher top 10 platforms top 10 names okay so you can rearrange them as you like okay so here we have the different names and the top 10 platforms the top 10 publishers Okay, as you can see here, if we change the end date, it will change in all the platforms. Okay, same thing for the start date, we change in all the charts. Same thing for the sales, for Japan sales, for example. Okay, so we have our interactive dashboard. Now we can add the KPIs, which represent the totals. Okay, so we have the total names. We have the total generas, we have the total platforms, and we have the final, which is total publishers. Okay, all right, now we can rearrange that. For example, total platforms, total publishers, right, and finally, total names. Okay. So you can just rearrange. All right, we can increase this one a little bit and put them in here. If you want, for example, we can we can leave it as it is for the titles, okay? And here we have our final dashboard, okay? So we can change that a little bit in here so here we do have our final dashboard for the video games sales and you can save that for example as an image so you can create on export dashboard export image and you can save it as an image where you can see all the different KPIs and the different graphs that you have created. In this video, I'm going to create the following dashboard, which is about friends series. As you can see here, we are going to create different charts starting from horizontal bar chart, vertical stacked bar chart, box plots, word cloud, and different text sheets, which will give us details for each episode. But before start creating our different charts, let's first explore our data set. As you can see here, when we import our CSV file, which is named friends data set, we have nine fields and 236 rows. The link to download this data set is available in description. And for the fields, the first one is the episode title. Next, we have description. So both of them have strings data type. Then we have the season number, the episode number, duration in minutes, the year, the director of the episode, total stars, and finally we have total votes. In this dashboard we are going to focus on three details. So the first one is the shading, the second one is the font, and the third one is the colors that we are going to use for different charts. So right click format. For the shading we are going to use the following color, which has the following code. So we have 743A37. This is for the shading. Okay. For the font, we are going to select ink free. And it will have the following color. Same thing, it has the following code. So we have F8E7D8. Okay. And we are going to use the same color for our charts, which is this color. So the first sheet will be about directors. So I'm going to name it directors. Okay. Same thing for the title 
I'm going to use the same color this color put it in the center bold italic and we select ink free apply ok so we drag and drop director into text for the episode we are going first to convert it to dimension same thing for the season we drag and drop episode into the size and we select measure count on automatic we select text and we get our word cloud the bigger is the word the higher is the number of the episodes so we are going to format format title we add the border in the same color and same thing for the paint we add the border in the same color and we can select the entire view so like that we get our word cloud for different directors next we are going to create a horizontal bar chart for total episodes by season so duplicate this one we remove everything we change the name to total episodes by season okay so drag and drop season into the rows episode into the columns and we select the count so here we change it to automatic and for the color select our color we press ctrl key we drag and drop the total into the label same thing for the label we are going to change it into ink free apply ok now I want to format our sheet so format for the workbook we remove the grid lines and zero lines double click we remove the title right click on season height field labels and we add our border so right click format and we add the borders in our color same thing for the header row divider and the column divider so like that we get the total episodes by season so same thing for the font in the worksheets so it will have the following color and we can put it for example in 10 all right next we are going to create the vertical stacked bar chart for total votes by season and episode so duplicate this one we name it total votes by season and episode right okay so you remove everything we drag and drop episode into the columns total votes into the rows and episode into the color we can press ctrl key and drag and drop the season into the label we can hide the field labels double click on the axis and we remove the title so we have the episodes from 1 to 25 and we have the seasons from 1 up to 10 we can increase the width a little bit and like that we get our final chart next we are going to create the box plots for total stars by season and episode so duplicate this one and we just remove two and we replace votes by stars okay so remove everything remove this one remove this one so drag and drop season into the columns total stars into the rows we can select box plots we click on analysis and we disaggregate measures we drag and drop the season into the columns we select the entire view so hide this one we'll double click on the axis so we remove the title 
and we don't want to include zero right click edit reference lines so the borders we put them in our color and same thing in our color we're going to fill it with brown okay and same thing we can drag and drop the episode into the detail for the colors same thing we select our color so for example when you go here we have the episode 14 season 2 it has 9.4 same thing in here season 4 episode 21 and we have the total stars one more thing that we can do is to drag and drop the episode title into the detail so like that we'll get both the episode number and the title with the total stars next we are going to create the text sheets so right click duplicate we remove everything so we start by description drag and drop description into the label episode title into the filters we select one apply ok show filter customize we remove all single value drop down here we select automatic we click on text so we write here this description right and it will be 12 bolt apply ok same thing for the text it will be in the center and like that we get our description we can also change the name in here to this description ok so duplicate this one we select the season so copy ok so remove description we hide the cart we drag and drop season into text we click on text we paste season we select everything in the center and we put it in 12 apply ok we can also put it in bold apply ok so duplicate we will have the episode right copy so remove season we put the episode number we click on text we paste the episode center bold 12 apply ok next we have the year so duplicate we will have the year copy remove episode we have year same thing click on text we paste put it in the center bold and 12 apply ok then we have duration in minutes so duration in minutes ok remove the year duration in minutes paste in the center bold and 12 apply ok then we have total stars so remove total stars so we name it total stars ok click on text we paste in the center bold and we select 12 apply ok and the last one is total votes so we have total votes copy remove total votes click paste center bold and 12 apply ok 
just like that we have our text sheets next we are going to create our dashboard so click on new dashboard for the size it will be 1850 and for the height 1050 okay click on dashboard format and for the shading it will be in brown for the font we select our color okay now we drag and drop the different sheets we have directors total episodes in here total votes in here box plots in here next we add our image same thing you can find the link in the description just double click so fit image center image apply okay so put it like this same thing for this one put it like that okay now I'm going to add our text sheets so start from description put it in here we hide the title and for the filter we put it in here so format center and for the border it will be in our color you can decrease description like this okay all right now we add the remaining so we have the season then we have the episode the year duration in minutes total stars and total votes so i'm going to readjust that to a high title high title same thing in here same thing same thing and same thing we arrange the size same thing for this one and kind of put it like that same thing for this one put it in here and we change the size okay all right one more thing that we can do is apply to worksheets selected worksheets and we are going to select all the text sheets season okay so now when we select the presentation mode we get our final dashboard for friend series and when we change our title we can see that different text sheets are changing depending on the title In this video, I'm going to create the following dashboard, which is about UEFA Champions League. As you can see, we are going to create different charts. I'm going to start from a map for total titles by country. I'm going to create a horizontal bar charts for all-time winners ranking and top 10 players by goals. We're going to create two butterfly charts for top clubs by played games and by scored goals. We have also two text sheets and finally we are going to create two radial bar charts for top 10 players by total appearances and top 10 coaches by total appearances. But before start working with Tableau, let's first explore our data set. So here we have our data set and you can find the link to this data set in the description. You can also find the different links of the CSV file that we are going to use in our dashboard. So as you can see here, we have this data includes statistics up to the group stage of 21-22 season. So here we have the context, but also we have that this data set doesn't have any information about the European Cup competition from 1950 to 1992, and it starts from 92-93 season. 
So basically we have data from 92-93 season up to the group stage of 21-22 season. Here we have the content. So this data contains each club's participation record in the competition, each country's club competition records in the competition, top player appearances by club, top player appearances total games, top goal score by club, top goal score totals. We have also top coach appearances by club, top coach appearances total games, top goal score of each season in the competition with a number of appearances, and the number of goals scored per round per group in each season. Here we have our files. So the first one is all time ranking by club. As you can see here we have position, we have the club, the country, participated, the titles, so number of times won the competition. Next we have played, so number of games played in competition. We have number of games won, number of games drawn, lost, and goals scored. We have also other columns, which are goals against, points, and goal difference. For the second one, we have all time ranking by country. Same thing in here, we have 12 columns, so same thing, country, participated, titles, played, win, draw and loss, goals for, goals against, points, goal difference. Then we have coaches appearances details, here we have only 4 columns, we have the coach, the club and the total appearances. Here same thing, we have only the total, so we have only the coach and the number of times coached in competition. Next we have goal stats per group round. So here we have 17 columns, so you can see here we have the season, the goals, and here we have the different groups, right, until the final. So semi-final, quarter-final, round of 16, and here we have the different groups. The next file is about player appearance details. So same thing in here, we have only four columns, the player, the club, and total appearances. The next one is the total, so here we don't have the clubs we have only the player and the total number of appearances in competition here same thing player goal details we have four columns so we have the player the club and total goals here we have the total so without the club and the last one is top goal score as you can see here this file is about top goal scorer for each season in the competition with number of appearances same thing we have six columns so we have the year the player, the club, the goals, and the appearances. So now let's start creating our different sheets. So the first file that we are going to use is all time ranking by club.csv. As you can see here, we have 13 fields and 530 rows. For the position, it is a number, the club, it is a string, country, we have countries, participated, same thing, numbers, and all of them are numbers. So you click on sheet one. So the first thing that we are going to do is to format our workbook. So right click, format. For the shading, we are going to use the following color. So it has the following code. So we have 000431. Okay. We click on format workbook. For the grid lines, we put them off. Zero lines. Off worksheets, we put them in eight in the following color. Same thing, we have the code which is D7DCEC, right? Okay, same thing for the titles, we put them in 12 bold and in the same color. Just for the worksheets, we put them in bold also. Okay. And now I'm going to create our map for the total titles by country. So double click on country. We click on automatic, we select map. We go to map, we click background maps, we select dark. We have five unknown. So for the first one, it is United Kingdom. Here we have Portugal. 
and for the remaining tableau does not recognize these countries so click on ok or right click hide indicator so drag and drop titles into the color and you press ctrl key we drag and drop it to the filters and we select the sum from one up to the maximum apply ok so press ctrl key we drag and drop country into the label and for the colors so i'm going to edit the colors for the maximum we're going to put the following code 000431 ok apply ok so like that we get our map for the total titles by country as you can see here spain has the highest value with 19 then we have italy with 12 then united kingdom or england with 14 then we have germany 8 netherlands 6 portugal 4 and the remaining have only one title so double click on the title we put it in center apply ok right click format and we add our border in our color which has the following code ok so we can hide the card and like that to get our final map next we are going to use the same file in order to create our horizontal bar chart for all time winners ranking so we duplicate this one remove everything so we name it all time winners ranking okay so drag and drop club into the rows title into the columns and we select automatic we sort so press ctrl key we drag and drop the sum into the filters sum next starting from one apply okay for the color we are going to select our color and now I'm going to format our sheet. So right click, height field labels. So right click, remove the header. We press control key with drag and drop the sum into the label. So click on label, put it in black and it will be in the center. Right click, format. So I'm going to add our borders in the same color. So like that we get our horizontal bar chart for all time winners ranking and as you can see here we have the first one which is Real Madrid with 14 titles next we are going to create the two butterfly charts using the same CSV file so close this one right click duplicate the first one will be top clubs by scored goals so we said at least 300 ok so remove everything we're going to create calculated field name it 0 axis and it will have 0 apply ok so drag and drop goals against the columns then goals four on the right, the zero axis in between them, club into the rows, and goals four we said at least three hundred. Next, come to select three hundred, apply. Okay. So we select the entire view, double click on goals against, we select reversed. And we're going to sort that using goals for on zero axis we click on automatic and we select text so we press ctrl key we drag and drop club into text right click on this axis we remove the header double click so tick marks none 
and for the title we put club now for the colors on the left we keep the same color for goals 4 we are going to select the following color so it has the following code 7C 9 ED 0 okay we can also for the zero axis we can drag and drop the goal difference into the detail and here on all for the tooltip we can remove the zero axis okay so as you can see here we have the club the goal difference goals for and goals against now we click on goals against we press control key we drag and drop the sum of goals against into the label for the label we're going to put them so click on automatic and for the color we're going to select our color same thing for goals 4 we press control key we drag and drop sum of goals 4 into the label and it will have the same color okay now again we just to format goals against so click format for the numbers we select number custom and we select two zero decimal places okay so like that we have our first butterfly chart now i'm going to create the second one which is about top clubs by played games so we duplicate this one and we have said top clubs by played games at least 200 okay now i'm going to remove everything So drag and drop win into the columns, loss into the columns on the left, zero access between the two, club into the rows, and we have said at least 200. So played into the filters, sum, next, and we have said at least 200. Apply. Okay. So we're going to sort that by the wins double click on loss and we click on reversed double click on the axis tick marks none and for the title it will be the club same thing for loss the color it will be the following color with the following code okay for zero axis, we select text. We press Control key. We drag and drop the club into the text. Same thing for the loss. We press Control key. We drag and drop the total into the label. And same thing for the win. So one thing that we can do is that we click on all. So we drag and drop plate into the detail and draw into the detail so we select tooltip and here tooltip we click on tooltip so we remove the two and we add the draw and also the total game so here we say draw right and here we say plate so put everything black bold ok so like that we get total games played draw and we have also the club next we are going to create another horizontal bar chart for top 10 players by goals so right click duplicate we say top 10 players by goals okay we remove everything but here we are going to use another file which is 
player goal total so click on data data resource and here we have our file okay but as you can see here if we check the original file and this file i change the name ronaldo to cristiano ronaldo to get the right chart so we go to our sheet which is top 10 players by course we drag and drop player into the rows goals into the columns we press control key we drag and drop player into the filters and we select top 10 by sum of course apply ok so we can select standard and for the color we select the following color with the following code ok we can sort that we press control key we drag and drop the sum of course into the label we click on label put it in the center and the color it will be and the color it will be black we right click and we remove the header next we are going to import another file which is top goal scorer and we are going to create two text sheets one is top goal scorer in one season and the second one is most appearances in one season so duplicate this one and we name it top goal score in one season okay so remove everything we click on data new data source and here we get our file okay so as you can see here goals and appearances are selected as string so what we are going to do is that we click in here we select split so we get our goals in here right same thing for appearances split and same thing in here we get one text and one number so here we are going to hide it we don't need that one same thing for this one we don't need this one and for goals height we change the name so rename we say total goals same thing in here rename total okay so we change total goals into number hole right we drag and drop total goals into the filters and we select the maximum value which is 17 apply okay we drag and drop the player into the text we select the entire view and total goals into the text we have 70 so double click we copy go to text and we add our line select everything in the center put them in 10 apply ok and here we have top goal scorer in one season we have cristiano ronaldo with 17 goals one thing that we can do is that we can drag and drop the year into the detail and the club into the detail we click on tooltip so remove this one remove everything insert we add the club we add the year so put it in black okay and here we have the club which is real madrid in 2013 and 2014 season we can also modify the tip for example we can add here club and here season okay okay so like that we have all the details duplicate this one again I want to use the same file and now for total appearances filter select the maximum apply ok we drag and drop the player into the text and the total into the text so we change the title we name it most appearances in one season we copy ok 
text and we add it in here in the center put it in 10 apply ok so same thing we can add the club into the detail and also the season click on tooltip so the club we add the club and the season we add the year ok so same thing we have Real Madrid and we have 1999 and 2000 so this is about text sheets next we are going to create the two radial bar charts so duplicate this one we start by top 10 coaches by total appearances right so remove everything and we click on data new data source and here we have our new file which is coaches appearances details okay so you click on the file open and we add radial bar chart values same thing you can find the link to download this file in description and this file contains two values that you are going to use in order to create our radial bar chart so create join calculation one apply okay same thing in here one apply okay so as you can see here for each row we have one value for zero and one for 270 okay so go to our worksheet and we start by creating our path so you click on value create pins we name it path so we start from zero to 270 and the size it will be one okay next name it my index it will be index minus one apply okay next we'll have my total right which will be window max the sum of appearances right apply okay next we will have my rank and it will be rank unique of my total in the ascending order apply okay next to duplicate my total and we rename it to my total max create new calculated field we name it percentage which will be my total divided by my total max apply okay create calculated field name it x and it will be the cosine in radians of my index multiplied by the percentage multiplied by my rank we select everything we copy apply ok create calculated field y and it will be the sign so you can find in the description the link to the tutorial where I explained in detail the different calculated fields that we need in our radial bar chart so apply ok now draw can drop x into the rows y into the columns path into detail we click on automatic and we select line the path to convert it to the path and coach into the color so here we have set the top 10 so drag and drop coach to the filters top by field and top 10 by sum of appearances apply okay so edit table calculations for my index it will be along the path my total same thing my total max 
along the path and coach and for my rank along the coach we do the same thing for the y so my rank for different coaches my total max both coach and path for my total along the path and same thing my index along the path so we hide the card hide header hide the header and for the color edit colors we press control key we select everything we double click on the last one and we select our color so we have d7 dc ec okay apply okay and we can increase the size a little bit you can select standard so press control key we drag and drop coach into the label same thing we drag and drop the sum of appearances into the label click on label line ends we don't want them at the end so it will be on the left and for the color we select our color right we click on text and we put them like this apply ok so here we have top 10 coaches by total appearances now I'm going to create the second radial bar chart where we are going to follow exactly the same steps using the other file which is players appearances details so duplicate here top 10 players and we remove the two okay so we remove everything data your data source so here we have our file which is player appearances details we open so I can drop the second file okay so we go to our worksheet and we are going to create exactly the same fields as the previous one so click on value create pins we name it path the size which will be one okay so my index it will be index minus one apply okay next we have my total which will be window max of the sum of the appearances apply ok next we have my rank rank unique of my total same thing send in order apply ok duplicate this one rename it will be my total max ok and you create our percentage which will be my total divided by my total max apply ok so create calculated field we name it x same thing in the radians of my index multiplied by percentage everything multiplied by my rank apply ok and we create y which will be exactly the same one using the sign okay apply okay draw and drop x into the rows y into the columns path into detail here the player into the color 
and for the pass convert it to pass and for the player it will be the top 10 by total appearances apply ok so hide the card and now edit table calculations for my index along the path my total my total max and finally we have my rank do the same thing for y so my rank for the players my total max along both player and pass my total along the pass and my index along the pass ok same thing for the color edit color we press control key we select everything double click and we use the same code ok apply ok right click remove the header right click remove the header press ctrl key we drag and drop player into the label and same thing we drag and drop total appearances into the label click text apply ok and like that we get our final radial bar chart for top 10 players by total appearances so now let's create our dashboard so we click on new dashboard for the size we are going to put 2000 1050 click on dashboard format for the shading we are going to select the following color with the following code ok now I'm going to drag and drop the different sheets. So start from the map. Next we have the butterfly charts. And put it in here. Alright. Next we have top 10 players in here top 10 coaches in here right next we have text sheets so the first one we put it in here the second one in here so high title same thing high title next we have top 10 players put it in here all time winners ranking in here Okay. And now I'm going to add our logo. Same thing, you can find the link in the description. Double click on image to so have Champions League logo. Apply. OK. And we put it in here. One thing that we will change is this one. So we go to the worksheet. We copy. So we go to text. And that's that. 
apply ok we can for example change the size ok so if you put 1850 ok and now if we select the presentation mode we get our final dashboard for UEFA Champions League In this video, I'm going to create the following dashboard, which is about top 1000 movies by IMDb rating. As you can see here, I'm going to create different charts. I'm going to start by horizontal bar charts for top 10 movies by total votes and certificates by total movies. We have area charts for gross by year and movies by your release year. We have word cloud, we have box plots, and also we have different text sheets, which will give us details about each movie. But before start creating our charts, let's first explore our dataset. Here we have the IMDb movies dataset. You can find the link in the description to download directly the dataset from Kaggle. And also you can find the second link to download the same dataset from my GitHub repository. As you can see here, the dataset contains the top 1000 movies. And here we have 16 columns. So for the content, we have poster link series title or movie title release year certificate runtime or duration in minutes we have the genre the imdb rating the overview or description of the movie we have the mirror score the director and the stars so we have star one star two star three and star four so name of the stars number of votes and finally we have money earned by that movie so now let's import our CSV file in Tableau and start creating our charts. Here we have our CSV file. So for the first column, poster link, as you can see, it has a string data type. Same thing for the title. Then we have the release year, which is an integer. For the certificate, string. Runtime or duration in minutes, same thing, string, because it contains minutes, right? We have the genre, which is string data type. The IMDB rating, same thing, an integer. The overview, string same thing for meta score we have integer director string for the stars we have string number of votes we have an integer and finally we have gross which is an integer so you click on sheet one so the first thing that we are going to do is to format right click format and we are going to use the following shading which has the following code so you can write this code right and you will get exactly the same color okay next you click on format workbook and for worksheets bold 8 black for the titles we have 12 black bold for grid lines off zero lines off for axis rulers in black and axis text in black now we are going to create our first horizontal bar chart for top 10 movies by number of votes so drag and drop series title into the rows number of votes into the columns we sort we select our color as black we press ctrl key drag and drop the title into the filters we select top 10 by number of votes apply ok select the entire view right click height field labels we we'll rename it to top 10 movies by number of votes right ok double click on the axis remove the title we press Ctrl key and drag and drop the sum into the label. We can even hide the header, right? Double click on the title, we put it in the center. Apply OK. Right click Format to add the border in black. And same thing, we are going to add the borders for our sheet. So put everything in black. Black. Same thing here, row divider, and finally we have the column divider. So like that, we get our horizontal bar chart for top 10 movies by number of votes. 
next we have certificates by total movies so right click duplicate we we'll rename it to certificates right by total movies okay so remove everything which I can drop certificate into the rows series title into the columns and we select the count we sort so remove the null values right click exclude we press ctrl key we drag and drop the count into the label we right click hide the header and like that we get our second horizontal bar chart for certificates by total movies next we are going to create the word cloud for the genera so right click duplicate we remove everything we drag and drop the genera into the text series title into the size and we select measure count we click automatic and we select text we can even filter the total movies so press ctrl key drag and drop the count into the filters and for example we are going to start the count from 5 up to the maximum apply ok so we change the title into genre ok and like that we get our word cloud and just one more thing for the horizontal bar charts so right click format for the header the alignment it will be in the center and same thing for the second one so alignment right click format alignment in the center okay now i'm going to create the two area charts right so duplicate this one we remove everything so the first one is total movies by release year okay so drag and drop the release year into the columns the title into the rows and we select the count select automatic as you can see here we get automatically aligned but in our case we are going to select an area chart with color black and opacity of 100 percent okay so we click on this axis we remove the title and we double click on the second one we remove the title right click hide indicator so here we have total movies by release year as you can see here we can also define the size so double click we select fixed from 1920 up to 2020 all right since we only have one field for the years so i'm going to use the same field in order to create our second area chart for growth by year so right click duplicate and we select grows by year right okay so remove the count and we replace it with the grows all right so double click on the axis and we remove the title and like that we get our area charts next we are going to create the box plots so right click duplicate remove everything but as you can see here we have a lot of genres right so if we select the title as count measure count we sort that and we select standard automatic so you can see here we have a very long list right so what we are going to do is that we are going to select the top 10 genera and we are going to create our box plots for the imdb rating and meta score 
for the top 10 generals all right so we remove everything we convert the rating into dimension same thing formula score converted to dimension which I can drop the general into the filters top top 10 so we select here series title and we select the count apply okay so press ctrl key with drag and drop the genera into the columns we select the entire view we drag and drop the imdb rating into the rows we select the average so measure we have here the average click on show me and we select box plots we drag and drop the genera into the columns we select the entire view we click on analysis click on aggregate measures to disaggregate the measures close this one height field labels we double click we remove the title we don't want to include zero right click edit the reference lines we select very dark gray and for the borders it will be black black and for the opacity it will be 100 percent okay same thing for the circle it will be in black and we decrease the size a little bit all right so we name it we have the imdb rating by top 10 general all right now we can do the same thing for the second one which is meta score so right click duplicate so we remove the imdb rating and we replace it with meta score we select the average show me box plots we select the entire view right click in the reference lines so we put it dark gray 100 percent we put everything in black okay double click we remove the title and we don't want to include zero for the color we select black and we decrease the size a little bit okay we can just change the title it will be meta score okay so like that we get our box plots one thing that we can do is that for example we can drag and drop the release year into the detail and the title into the detail for example for the outliers we can know exactly the title and also the release year for example same thing in here same thing in here we can do the same thing for the second one so we have release year and we have the title now i'm going to create text sheets so right click on general duplicate so we put it at the end and we name it description okay so we remove everything which work and drop the overview into the title series title into the filters we select one apply ok show filter so we remove all and we select single value drop down we can edit the title we select only title ok for the alignment it will be in the center right we click on text and we add description apply ok i'm going to duplicate this one and we create another one for the genera so we rename it genera and we add an s because we have already worksheet named genera ok so remove overview we hide the card we drag and drop the genera into the text 
same thing we click on text and here we add genoa apply ok next one is release here so duplicate we name it here we remove genoa and we add release here we click and we paste that apply ok next we have the imdb writing so duplicate i have imdb writing we copy we remove this one imdb and we paste that apply ok next we have meta score so duplicate meta score ok we remove we add the meta score text and we paste apply ok duplicate now we have gross We remove we add gross paste apply okay so we can format that put it currency with zero decimal places right next we have number of votes so duplicate have and be vote of votes we remove we add number of votes okay we paste apply okay next we have runtime or duration in minutes so duplicate duration in minutes okay we remove this one we add runtime into text duration in minutes apply okay we add the last one which is the stars okay so remove this one we add the stars star one star two three and four we click so we paste the title right put it in the center now put them like this apply ok and like that we get our text sheets now i'm going to create our dashboard so you click on new dashboard we define the size so write 1850 and 1050 we click on dashboard format and we add our shading okay so we start by the box plots okay second one in here then we have the area charts second one in here okay next we have the genera so we'll put it between the area charts like that Then we add the horizontal bar charts, right? So top 10 movies, then certificates in here. We add the logo. So same thing, you can find the link in the description to download the logo. So fit 
center apply okay now I'm going to add the text sheets we'll just rearrange the different sheets like that okay this one this one and this one to be like that all right we start by the description put it in here so we hide the title and we put the title in here like that we format the title so add the border in black okay now I'm going to add the text sheets so we start from the year we put it in here then we have the genera we have the stars duration in minutes and we add the others on the right so we have here the meta score the IMDB rating number of votes and the gross okay so high title height height high title for the filter so apply to worksheet we select all text sheets okay now i'm going to rearrange everything all right let's put it small in here same thing in here okay for the title format alignment in the center and now if we select the presentation view we get our final dashboard so as you can see here when we change the title the text sheets will change and will give us the details for each title In this video, I'm going to create the following dashboard, which is about Goodreads. Goodreads is the world's largest site for readers and book recommendations, with a mission of helping people to find and share books they love. As you can see here, we are going to create different charts. I'm going to start by horizontal bar charts for authors by total books, publishers by total books, and titles by rating count. Next, we are going to create an area chart for books by publication date. After that, we have a radial bar chart for top 10 language codes, and we are going to create eight text sheets, which will depend on one filter, which is the title of each book, and will provide us for the detailed information about the book selected. But before start working with Tableau, let's first explore our data set. So here we have our data set. You can find the link in the description to download directly the data set from Kaggle. And you can also find the second link to download the same file from my GitHub repository. So as we have said, we have a comprehensive list of books listed in Goodreads. And if we go down here, we have a table which contains 12 columns. We have the book ID, a unique identification number for each book. We have the title of the book, the authors, the average rating. We have another unique number to identify the book, the international standard book number. Next, we have also 13 digit ISBN to identify the book. Then we have the language code, number of pages. We have also ratings count, total number of ratings the book received. Text reviews count, which is the total number of written text reviews the book received. And we have two more columns, which are publication date and the publisher. So now let's start creating our charts using Tableau. So here we have imported our CSV file. 
we click on it open and we are going to join it with radial bar chart values text file we are going to use this file in order to create our radial bar chart and same thing you can find the link in the description to download the text file from my github repository so click on create join calculation one apply okay same thing in here one apply okay as you can see here all the rows are duplicated we close this one we click on sheet one we click on format workbook so for the worksheet we are going to use the following color as you can see here it has the following code right 46 30 20 okay and you put them in 8 bold same thing for the titles bold same color 12 we remove the grid lines same thing for the zero lines and for axis rulers we put them in the same color same thing for axis sticks in the same color we close right click format and for the shading we are going to use also another color which has the following code so we have f4 f2 e9 okay we are going to create our first horizontal bar chart which is authors by total books so all right authors by total books okay we close this one we drag and drop authors into the rows book id into the columns and we select measure count distinct we sort that we change our color into the following color as we have said it has the following code right we press on control key shift and we click on b three or four more times to increase the size as you can see here we press control key we drag and drop the count into the label right click we hide the header right click hide field labels for rows double click put it in the center and we are going to format the title by putting the borders in the same color I'm going to format our worksheet so format to add the borders all right same thing for row divider and the column divider for the alignment for the header we put it in the center okay so like that we get our first horizontal bar chart for authors by total books next we have publishers by total books so right click duplicate this one so instead of authors we're going to put publisher same thing we sort that and we get our second chart which is publishers by total books okay next we have another horizontal bar chart for titles by rating count the same thing duplicate we have titles by rating count okay so as we have said all the rows are duplicated and for the measures we are not going to use count distinct so what we are going to do is that we are going to create for each measure another calculated field and emit my ratings count which will be rating count divided by two apply okay so we remove everything we drag and drop the title into the rows and my rating count into the columns we sort same thing we press control key we drag and drop the sum into the label and we hide the header so like that to get titles by rating count next we are going to create the area chart for books by publication date 
so right click duplicate we name it books publication date okay so remove everything remove this one this one we we'll drag and drop publication date into the columns we we'll click we we'll select continuous we we'll drag and drop book id into the rows and we select count distinct right click hide indicator we select area chart and we select the same color double click on this axis we remove the title and same thing for this axis remove the title all right for the colors we can increase opacity to 100 percent all right now i'm going to create our radial bar chart so duplicate this one we remove everything we click on value create pins so name it path size of pins one from zero to 270 okay next create my index right which is index minus one apply okay next we have my total which will be window max of count distinct of book id apply okay next we have the rank so it's my rank which is rank unique of my total in the ascending order apply okay so duplicate my total rename it will be my total max and you create the percentage so percentage which is my total divided by my total max apply okay now create the x and y coordinates so we have x which is the cosine in radians of my index multiplied by percentage everything multiplied by my rank we select everything copy apply okay we have y which is equal to the sign of the same formula apply ok now draw and drop x into the rows y into the columns path into detail and language code into the color ok so press ctrl key will drag and drop language code into the filters select top by field we have book id count distinct apply ok and the title will be top 10 language codes ok so here we select line and we convert the path into the path so for x in the table calculations for my index along the path for my total same thing along the path my total max along the path and language code and for rank along the language code which is the same thing for y so for my index path my total same thing path my total max both path and language code and for my rank for the language code all right so we hide this one right click remove the header same thing in here for the color edit colors 
we press control key we select everything So I've said 46, 30, 20. Okay. Apply. Okay. We can increase the size. All right. We press Control key with drag and drop language code into the label. And same thing, we have my total into the label. So click on labels, line ends. We don't want label end of line, right? We click on label and we put it in the following order. Apply, OK. So like that, we get our radial bar chart for top 10 language codes. Next, we are going to create our text sheets. So duplicate this one. We remove everything. For the size, we decrease it like that. And the first one, it will be the authors. So authors, we can be, okay. So draw and drop title into the filters. Select one, apply, okay. Show filter, customize, we remove all, and single value drop down. We drag and drop authors into the labels. Select the entire view and will be automatic. So for text alignment in the center, click on text and we paste authors. In the center, apply, OK. Next we have language code, so duplicate. We remove the authors, we hide the cart, draw and drop language code into the text. Click, paste, apply, OK. Next we have publication date. We remove we add the publication date, paste, apply, OK. Next, we have the publisher. Remove, publisher, paste. Apply OK. After that, we have rating counts. So, ratings count. We remove this one and we use the calculated field. My ratings count. Click on text. Apply OK. And for the remaining three measures, average rating, number of pages, and text reviews count, we are going to create all the calculated fields and divide them by two. So click create calculated field, my average rating, which is average rating divided by two, apply, OK. Next we have create name it number of pages will be the number divided by two and text reviews so create name it text reviews same thing divided by two apply okay so duplicate this one a number of pages OK, we remove this one, use this one. Apply, OK, can format that. 
numbers custom zero decimal places okay next we have average rating we remove this one we use the calculated field paste apply okay and the final one is text reviews okay so remove this one we have text reviews paste apply okay format and custom zero decimal places right for average rating same thing it will be custom two decimal places all right it's so like that we have our text sheets next we are going to create our dashboard so you click on new dashboard or the size it will be 1850 1050 we click on dashboard format for the shading we select the following color which has the following code okay now we drag and drop the different sheets all right so we start from the authors publishers and titles like that okay All right, next we have the area chart and the radial bar chart. Next, we are going to add the two images, right? Same thing, you can find the link in the description. Double click on image, fit and center. So the first one is book, apply, okay. And we add another one. So we'll just put it in here double click apply okay and we put it on the top like that all right center decrease like that Okay, now we are going to add the text sheets. So start from the authors, put it in here, the title in the center like that. Format, center, and we add the border. okay high title and we add the remaining text sheets so we have language code publication date high title high title publisher high title we add the other ones in here okay high title and high title one last thing apply to worksheets select worksheets and we select all the text sheets okay all right now if we select the presentation view as you can see here when we change the title the text sheets will change right we just need to hide the title in here 
and like that to get our final dashboard.